Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're here to play more ISS Vanguard, published by Awakened Realms. If you haven't seen episodes one through five, I think this is six, uh, you can find out by checking the <laughs> playlist down below in the video description. Uh, thank you to everyone who supports the channel, allowing us to do this. Uh, I appreciate you allowing me to do this as my job, as work. Uh, today we are working, it's a Sunday. And without the support from these people, and Awaken Realms providing this game, I guess. Uh, well, no, we'd still be playing a different game, but uh, it's really these people right here who make it happen. But Definitely. thanks to Awaken Realms for providing the game, of course. But uh, not like we're in shortage of games to play. That's definitely not the problem here on the channel. But uh, there is a cost to that, of course. Uh, Rabbit Hole Podcast says good morning. Good morning. Super chat. Oh, speaking of those people, we just added another person to the uh, list. Uh, Chris, uh, I've, I'm not going to say this right. I'm going to say Ratter, Chris Ratter. Chris. That's how I would say it, reading it. Maybe that's not how you pronounce it. But from this moment forward, you'll just be Chris. Chris, thank Chris, you. Chris, thank you for being thank a producer you, you. and clicking that join button down below and supporting the channel. And I'll get your name in those credits uh, when I feel like it, okay? <laughs> Being honest here, we're we're open and honest here. No, I'll, I'll do it ASAP. But uh, thank, thank you so you. much for supporting the channel, uh, allowing the channel to keep going, keep improving. Not just rad, radder. Yes, yes. Pontus. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ronnie's here. Hello, everyone. Yes, Eagle, and I have rated old games or games I not played or games that have tokens for things. Yeah, if ever you get a game and you're just like, man, this game doesn't have, it doesn't have the tokens it needs. They're trying to be cheap or they're trying to fit it in a box. I guess they're trying to be cheap or efficient. You know, they're, they're trying to think of, you got to think they need to fit a certain amount of boxes and a certain amount of containers. And in that box size, they got to fit a certain amount of components. And they're usually... Some more uh, evolved game producers, uh, publishers, I should say, kind of like start with the box and go backwards or start with the price point and go backwards. Um, but that's where the Kickstarters get into trouble, right? The, the smaller publishers are like, I have an idea. I'm going to make this board game and I'm not going to think about all the costs and the shipping and everything involved in adding three extra tokens to the box and one extra miniature. So then they like, keep making up stretch goals, adding things. That's why those projects get way out of control. They run out of money, they get canceled, they have to ask for funding from a different publisher, they have to, looks like they stole everyone's money, just because they didn't plan, like, we need, this is the final product no matter what, and then work backwards, you know, sometimes you got to do that, but because of that, sometimes there'll be less components, but you can always steal components from other games you have, um, or games you're never going to play again, or legacy games that are just like, you know, done. Yeah. I like stealing the components from those, throw them in a baggie, and then using them when I need stuff, especially on stream, just to show things. Um, or when a component is too big, like yesterday we were playing Marvel Champions on the channel, oh, yeah. and the villain dial is just huge, right? So for a little extra table space, we can zoom in a little closer so you can see the cards. We use dice, and they're easier to manage than tokens. You can see on stream at a glance the value of tokens that are on something because we're using dice pips on big dice. Um, but yeah, I just decided to use red dice for the villain's health instead of using the dial like we usually do because I was like, no thanks, it's just too much. So things like that also replacing components from one game to another just because to save table space or to help all the players around the table quickly see something at a glance that's more obvious than the craptastic components that came in the game because mm -hmm. they didn't reach their 17th stretch goal or whatever. Yeah, anyways. Hello, happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. We are live. We are live. Um, are for we? those watching later. No, no I'm, just I'm just kidding. letting people know we're commenting later. <laughs> like, just letting you know. We Maybe we're not. <laughs> by now on episode six, I hope you understand how live streams work. And uh, yeah, we're good. Um, we are doing something cool today. We are doing something cool today. Finally. I know I've said we would do it. We're finally going to do it. Should we let them guess? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to wear probably. pants during the stream. There you go. I'm, wearing, I'm actually wearing pants today. I'm kidding. I'm not wearing any. <laughs> it is chilly down here, though. It's a little draft, I feel. Um, but anyways, beyond that. <laughs> That's not what we're doing. We're going to play all four characters, assuming, assuming we actually successfully land on a planet and don't get eaten by some space monster on the way, uh, you know, or a ship runs out of gas or, you know, 
the brake line's broken and we don't hit the brakes in time and we smash into the planet and we all burn and die. But, you know, if, if we make it to the planet, okay, again, we don't know, we're playing this blind, we're not, you know, experts with the game by any means. Uh, I'm looking at you guys for help, okay? I'm fully open, okay? We are playing blind, but if you play this game and you know what you're doing, we've been having comments about, like, you guys should probably play four characters, you're just, you're just making it harder on yourselves. And you guys know that all of a sudden makes my shoulders tense up when someone says something like that about a board game, where they're like basically saying we're playing it wrong. And then I just want to say, I'm not mad at the person saying that, but it automatically makes me look at the publishers and the designers who put one to four players on the box or put the rules in the book that says you can grab one for each section and just play it whatever player count you want. I look at those guys and I say, you guys are effing scumbags and you're probably lying and you just want to sell more copies and you want to get people to buy it who play solo, who might run one or two handed or a husband and wife who just want to play it casually and don't want to have double the table space from having multiple sections on the board or a guy who wants to stream it and wants you to be able to see what's happening on the table and doesn't have to zoom out so far because he's playing four players worth of components. So it just, and if it's not balanced, if it's not balanced, and, and we had a comment where somebody said, uh, right here. Right here. We had a comment right here. Uh, this is not the only one, but Tolbold said, I feel like playing ISS Vanguard with just two sections is a bit like playing Familiar Tales, or Mansions of Madness, or Aftermath, or whatever, with just two decks, or two characters. It technically works, you know, so they can sell more copies of the game and make you feel like it's a two-player game, but it's really a four-player game but that limits your chances of success in the harder sections of the game. So it's working right now, but yeah. as we progress into the game... It's... Well, no, it's already punishing us because people are saying that they were further ahead, they got more done, mm. they could specialize characters. It's been dropped throughout by in, in comments and in the chat by players that we should really play with four. It's just better that way. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's truly better that way, then this game is like, it's not that great. It's great, then there should be an asterisk beside it. You know, but there shouldn't have to be. It should be on the effing box. This is a four-player only game, but then they know they wouldn't sell as many. So then they scumbag it and, and try to balance it then. But I could be wrong. I haven't played a four-player to know if this is true or just some people's interpretation. You know, just guessing, right? Like, who knows? Who knows? Also, Jacko made a nice comment here, a funny one. The Space Ranger is kind of like my 76 Gremlin. Not pretty, but it gets you there. <laughs> this one is kind of a slog, but I'm still watching and enjoying the stream. Keep up the good work. Yes. Oh, the one above is nice too. Gaming table. Is, okay, we were not YouTube here. Channel. We were not here for those comments. Okay, <laughs> we we're only here for toll bones. Okay, we're not here to like build me up or build us up. Okay. Yeah, but it is nice. It says it's refreshing to watch a gaming channel where the opinions are honest and it's not always about what's hot. Yeah. Which that's you. Yeah. I mean, this game yeah. is cool. But it, it bugs me when I see things like that, where there's a solo mode jammed in a game and it sucks, and it's obviously an afterthought or it wasn't play tested, or like in Mansion of Madness Second Edition, where you technically can play two players, but like you'll never win in most scenarios, and you you just add a third player, all of a sudden the game's like more now reasonable, feels a little more fair. Yeah. And it's like what what like how did you not mathematically figure it out? Like you know, reduce a few tiles on the board, reduce a few things you need to do in the game if you have less players, you know, increase the timer, like do something properly, you know? So I feel like this game might have that because of the comments that are made. I don't know personally, but if it does, instantly I start getting pissed. And I'm like, why is this still happening in board gaming? All oh, right, because money, money drives everything, right? So it's like, it's still a scumbag move and I don't care what publisher and designer it is. It's like, it needs to stop, right? Like do it properly or put an asterisk in it. Like if you're going to play less than four uh sections the game has not been play tested properly the difficulty will increase take these extra cards to help you you know or you get one free get out of jail injury card, something you know add something to then help the player you know yes they can technically get through the game and maybe only play 20 hours instead of 60 and see it technically an ending whatever it is right mm -hmm. but i keep having comments like we're getting wrecked on certain things we're not getting as much done uh, we spend too much time in the binder. We're not actually playing on the planet long enough because we don't have the enough characters and all this stuff. And it's like, okay, well, that's good that we're playing it and showing that then. So some people who might only want to play one or two sections, avoid this game. Don't play it. Don't play it and avoid it based on those people's opinions and what they're saying. So hopefully that helps somebody. 
But to me, it's like bothers me very much when games do this. Because I get them in our two-player count. If we're playing two or three-player, we're playing it at the recommended configuration. And if it's not playing properly, then I'm glad it's being found out. You know? Because most reviews won't tell you that, right? Mm -hmm. They play only one scenario, they get the review out, they dump it, and they move on, right? And everyone buys it and thinks it's the greatest thing ever, and then they play it, and they're like, oh... Well, I guess I just have to play all four sections and manage more stuff and play with more bits. Hmm, okay, some people that's fine. Some people didn't want to do that. Either way, there's some sketchy, shady business practices going on there. And I don't know how to put my finger on it, but not a fan of it. But anyways, we're going to try with all four sections today. Just to see. Okay. And we'll have more information. It's, but it's still not a good scientific apples and apples comparison because we're definitely not doing the same planet or the same thing right. that we've done before with only two sections. Right. We also didn't upgrade our dice, maybe, and like thinking that we're going to play four sections and all that stuff. So we're just going to play it like this. Again, there's just a handful of people on the channel in the chat and comments who say, like, you know, this kind of stuff. So maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's not. But I just want to get it out there and make people think about it and just a piece of information you know when you're looking at purchasing a game like this. And in games in general, look it up. For your configuration right i buy games blindly sometimes where like people in the chat are saying it's awesome it's got great kickstarter funding i like the theme whatever and i buy it then i get it and the first thing people are telling me rob you shouldn't play this true solo like what are you doing it's just known not to play true solo you need to run two-handed like when i went to press the buy button right beside it it told me one to three players or one to four players so like i had to dig in more and find out more and i had to wait for the community to test it and try it out and like then tell me that little sub thing like that's scummy. That's super scummy. Like, not a fan of that. So I like pointing that out when it happens. Because it happens more than it should. So anyways. D -d -d Rob rant done, I think. And I'll read the chat and see if it fires me up even more. But anyway. <laughs> I think you're fine. Eagle Land. On a lot of the forums, players seem to uh, be split between those who say always for and those who don't think it matters. Yeah, see, it could be either way. That's what I'm saying. It might be just some people's opinions. They might be wrong. Again, unless you play through the whole thing with two or three or one and then play it again with four, you know? Like, how does it work out? But then again, on your second play, you're going to know more and you're going to play a little different, you know? Right. So it's like, I don't know. It's like, can you truly find that out? I don't know. The only way you can really is if you play, like, yeah, you can't. Because even if we played a scenario where we're like, oh, man, we got wrecked. Let's reset everything the way it was and try it again with full four. Right, you have the knowledge. But then now you have knowledge, so it might all of a sudden seem easier because we're like, oh, I know to take this section over to that area that needs this skill check. Duh. But like, yeah, I just don't know. Anyways, Edgar says, in my opinion, having to play forehand is more fun. Prolonged playthrough. That's True. fair, yeah. And that's why I said some people don't care. They play a game solo or they have the friends that don't care. If they run two-handed, three-handed, one person playing four. If they have a giant table, if they leave it set up, if they like managing it, if they can walk away from the game, go sleep, come back and continue it. But most board gaming I know is like, I mean, yes, I've set games up on table and played them over multiple days when it's really should be a three-hour session sitting down, but I just, I walk away and do other stuff. It just happens. I'm, I'm lucky. I have two spare tables that I can just set up a board game on and leave it inf infinitely, which is kind of neat. I mean, sometimes I gotta clean them up for painting or priming or learning another game or unboxing or whatever, but... But for the most part. Yeah, not everyone has more than a tiny... I've seen it on, on the forums. Not Some people just literally have like a tiny table, like three by five or less, and that's it for gaming, eating, uh, work from home, whatever. So they have to clean up games. They can't have them sitting there for so long. They can't have large player groups. They can't have the game spread out so much. So they look for these games that say solo and they go, oh, I can play it true solo? That means I only need one little player area and an area for the board. I'm good. But then you get it and you're like, man, this is rough. I'm getting wrecked. This is not as fun. This is like, it's better to have all four on the board. Then and it's like they got screwed kind of, right? Now they're looking at buying tables for hundreds of dollars. Like what is, well, I guess you can get a used table, I'm sure, for nothing if you just go pick it up, but. On um, someone's front lawn. Yeah, on someone's front lawn. <laughs> uh, but anyways, it, it's like, yes, some people, it doesn't matter, but you're in the major, major, minority, right? You're in the minority. Not everyone has those situations, or not everyone likes that. But either way, they should be truthful about it, like, and just kind of say that. Unless they didn't play test and understood that that's how it worked. But you assume they play test this at all player counts, and they have play testers try it before they click the print button. All the way through, though? I don't know. I don't know. 
I bet not. Yeah. But some people like the four-handed stuff. Some people don't mind playing solo for four people and taking their time. And some people like that big brain play of like a lot going on. It's really crunchy. That's fun. That, it is fun to do that. I'll admit it. Just for me, playing on video and trying to pay attention to stream or play with another player, it's like, I like the game not to take so much cognitive load because I'm playing for multiple players, right? Sometimes I just like that. Or I like the game to be able to fit on stream so I can get tighter to the game, you know, so you guys can actually see what we're doing. So it's like, eh. But anyways. <laughs> so Ariel says, note to myself, play four section when this game arrives. <laughs> yeah, try it out from the start. See how it works. Try it. You can, you can go back and forth, which is, I have to give props for that. You could try true solo. Then the next planet, bring three. Then the next planet, bring four. Then go back to two. Do one. You can jump back and forth, which is what we're doing, which I love the flexibility because then that shows you players can show up, players can leave. You know, you could play three player one week, you, you know, your fourth guy doesn't show and you could just run his character or not run him at all and, and just leave his section out. You do whatever you want. I love that. The flexibility is awesome. But if it doesn't scale properly and you have a worse experience, I find the game fine. But it's just uh, like, I wouldn't know any better if nobody told me, right? If we were just playing this and some of the planets we went to a little bit and we had to leave because it just was dangerous or we didn't get things done or we're dying a lot or we're, our ship got boarded and we got destroyed and almost lost the campaign, it feels like. I know it's scripted, but um, we wouldn't know any better. Right. But it's the people in the chat going or the comments saying, oh, I got it was way easier for me, but we had all four sections or we went further because, you know, we were playing with four people or we had four characters on the board. It was just easier, you know, then it's like, ah. huh. but it's good information to have. It's good information to have. But some people that's the positive and some people that's the negative and some people don't care. But it's information to help make purchasing decisions because there's a bajillion amazing games to play that are released every two seconds and that there's thousands and thousands in the back catalog that are in print that you can go find at your board game store, you know. So it's like, sometimes you just got to make the decision. Like, you know, I, I sometimes it's that is the decision. It's like, I don't want to, I want to play true soul with one character. There are a lot of great games that let you do that. So why suffer through a game that doesn't, you know, don't reward that kind of shady marketing to sell an extra copy of the game. You know, that's yeah, not, not a fan. Anyways, not saying this game does that for sure. It seems fine, but just about games in general. All right, uh, but more importantly, the real information you need to know, the reason why everyone came to this video. Oh. It is now ranked 667 overall on BoardGameGeek, 9.0, thematic 68. Wait, I don't know if the weight's been changing, but it's 3.45. I also, I think it was, was it not 9.2 Oh no. It's going Somebody down Somebody can correct in the ratings. me, but oh. I thought it was 9.2, but that might be another oh, no. game, I don't remember. Oh no, it's going down. 667. 667 is pretty good. That's good. I, again, I don't remember what it was last time, but thematic 68. Hmm. Interesting. So it's still on its way up, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't remember what it was last time. I know, I don't either. <laughs> but those watching this in order, like, you know, recently, we'll go, oh, I remember what it was mm -hmm. at the start of last episode. Mm -hmm. But whatever. Been a, been a couple weeks for us, right? Yep. Okay. Um, all right, let's play this Are we game. doing this? I guess we are. I should, could I put a poll up and see oh, if we see. should play should it today play or? Today? I mean, you can. Mm -hmm. What What would be the option if we said no? I don't we know, we like just end, end the stream. Or we just chat? <laughs> we just end the stream. No, I'm sure people want to see this experiment of playing with all four yeah. sections, seeing how it works. I want to. Now I, we've teased I want it. We to see it. To do I it. know. I want to see it. I want. To, I'm just kidding. I want to see it. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Take all the bridge cards. Uh, objective, secondary objective, te uh, tech level, bridge upgrade. I kind of just have everything laid out so I can easily get to it, and I'll just do this because I can't reach. Okay, so we're getting a new objective. Here, I'll give that to you first. That's our new objective. Good info in the chat, I see. That's good. 
you're watching this later and you want to add into the discussion, open the chat archive, read, and also drop comments down below. I'm curious. Um, either thoughts either way in ge on general in games. But if you have more information on this game, that's good too. And those who are watching later, go check the comments. There might be some good info there beyond what my, uh, you know, meaningless opinion. You get, you get more opinions will help, you know, better information, I think. The more information you have, the better you can make a decision. Oh, sorry. Edgar, Edgar's got us here. On episode four, it was 737. 79 and 9.0. Oh, it was 9.0. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. Matthew says down to a 9.0. This game is clearly trash now. Well, As, sorry. Garbage. My bad. It was oh, always 9.0. So it didn't. Well, didn't... no, it was last time. Last time. But that's episode four. What about episode five, Edgar? I'm waiting. 737. Edgar, let's go. I'm waiting. And episode <laughs> Just four. And now 630 or 667. Oh, but wow. we're on episode six, right? Or are we on five? No, we're know. on six. I don't know. I Edgar's just, probably getting the info, though. I just I'm just messing around, Edgar. Take your time. Oh, this is six. Yeah, this is six. But I'll tell you this. This does not feel like episode six. It, no. It feels like we've played, like, 12 episodes of this game. I agree. Maybe because it's long. Maybe because some of it feels a little workish with the whole sorting and organizing and a lot of bookkeeping. I don't know. But <laughs> it feels like we have spent way more episodes or hours in this game than we probably have but maybe it's because episodes are long maybe that's part I don't of it no it still does feel like we played i think last time yeah, when, when we I... sat down for five i was like what are we on like seven yeah yeah He's like I, no I we're on way. five yeah we're still early in this game like what? story wise and 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 mission wise we're still noobs to this game this game is long it's deep there's a lot here for your money for sure and we've barely scratched the surface uh that's nuts also, Matthew does say, well, every episode is like 14 hours. <laughs> but other games are like that, too, we play, and they don't feel that no, way. No, this like, feels know. like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> feels like we've been playing forever. <laughs> Could be because we're not the hugest sci-fi fans, maybe. It just feels a little less. Could be. A little, a little less, uh, a, little, a little longer, more drawn out than it is. I don't know. All right, so this is Trail of the Ancients. Our objective, uh, find information about visitors or arrogate Arrogators? While exploring nearby worlds, golf ball, golf ball okay, in LCS seventeen system, Muspelheim in Mulibroi system, cousin in HR five seven three zero system, and Ognir in GJ one one six four system. All right. Uh, two races sought the steels or steelies, depending on which narrator reads from the app, uh, before us, mysterious visitors and hostile arrogators. We must learn about them. So this is three command and three situations. Three situations, that's uh, no fun. Yep. But three command points, okay, that's good. And then what's this one? This one's our tech level. So we're going from tech level zero to tech level four. That was in my bag. Is that correct? I have no idea it was in my bag. We did do well. I don't know. I never feel like we do well in this game. Oh, Edgar has episode five was 722, 78, and a 9.0. Was hard to find because you checked more stuff. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, we're like clicking around <laughs> through BGG all over the place. Sorry, Edgar. Sorry. Oh, but Bob Bell says the rating was 9.1 in episode uh, one. I oh, knew so it was it higher. I thought it was higher too. Yeah, I thought it was a 9.1 or 9.2, I was thinking. So it's fallen. It's like dropping like a rock. Watch out. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, tech level four from the improved engines, the ship's quantum AI. Almost all the Vanguard's elements are now vastly superior to its original design. I don't know if that's right. That I feel was like in... you're cheating. You just grabbed random cards from the box between this was, playthroughs. This is in my bag. If anybody thinks that's incorrect, Mel please... manages the cards in this game, so I, I don't double check. Who knows what she's doing over there? She may she may have a hunger for winning that's uh, beyond what I. <laughs> I don't even I can know what any of these do. <laughs> but... <laughs> Anyways, let's carry on. That's a travel upgrade. So that's Reinforced be hull. Okay. Uh, the Vanguard may now fly to dangerous systems or destinations. Yellow outbound options. We got that back, right? Yeah. Or was it a different color we had before? I don't know. No, we have yellow back. We, we got one and then we lost it. And then we saw there's like red, I think, travel stuff that's dangerous. Okay, those are all there. So now after Bob generate... says, odd how the ratings started dropping after Mel and Rob started playing a game. <laughs> all right, we were the ones. I put a big fat zero. I made a fake account and I put a big fat zero in there, all right? <laughs> it's me. It's me. No, I'm just joking. I don't do that stuff. I make fun of that stuff. No. Oh, no, no. I stopped rating board games on, on BGG. I just stopped. I can't. 
like I, I just don't have time to manage it so it gets out of date and then my opinion on games changes as we play through them or as time passes and then I go back I look at my ratings for games I'm like I rated that like a nine Ugh. like but at the time it was a nine because there was no other games that like I played that competed within my mind you know so like I don't need to manage data on that website but you know but I like seeing how it changes and, and what people think and stuff. I think it's fun. All right, we're getting three situations. <laughs> Does Mel need an audit? <laughs> <laughs> the, it was in the bag. I have no idea if it's wrong. You're going to tell me. <laughs> Hands off the cards, Mel. We're looking through everything. But you know what? I, after that one mistake that I made that you guys caught, I've been saying, like, okay, I'm taking this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm afraid I'm going to take the wrong one. I worry you just rush and clean up, and you're like, yep, this goes here, this goes there, and you're just not, like, you know, carefully no, checking. No. Things, things don't get put away during the stream, so you're like, I'll put this way after, but then they get put in the same pile of something else that should go in a different place. No, that is... IRS, Internal Rule Service, yes. Yeah, right, eh? Three of these, please. Pick some good ones. Uh, this one, I like this one. There is no good ones, probably. I All don't right. know. Here we go. Situations. Tension. Small-scale quarrels boil over into heated online discussions. That feels uh, like it hits the right on the nose. Um, <laughs> got some some heated heated rants to start the So wait, when solved, you may assign one crew member to raise morale. Our morale I like is raising morale. medium. Okay, yep. okay. Maybe we can raise Shuffle morale. it back. We got unfinished business. Again, hit right on the nose. Let's, let's find out what this uh, playing four players in this campaign has to go. We've, we've not finished the business here. All investigations of the cases are accumulating a frightening, frightening pace. Security has to spend a full week solving them all at once. This is super good. It says, if morale is medium or high, take one crew member from resting crew into the corresponding section's player hand, otherwise shuffle it. That's good because we are at medium. So oh, cool. solving could just get somebody back. Actually, do we have any? We only have medium or high. Take one. one crew member from resting crew into the corresponding section player's hand. So it's one less person will get back, right? Well, you get them back now. You get them back in situations versus having to yeah. wait till the end. Okay. We have one that's sitting in there, okay. so that's not bad either. I'm not even looking at what the effect is if we don't solve. Uh, Probably should. Humanites Game says asks in the chat. Feel free to answer. Anyone watching, feel free to answer. How's this compared to other Awaken Realms titles? We've only played like a very small amount of Awaken Realms titles. We're not experts. Mm -hmm. I think the only ones from Awaken Realms we played were like we played a prototype of Great Wall. Mm -hmm. We played um Tina Grail. Grail, the very or like first printing copy. So again, there's been rad and fixes since. Um there's like a second edition coming. So we played first edition of uh Tina Grail. Can we play one more? No, we didn't play uh, I don't know. We didn't play there's so many we haven't played that I, I know of. Um, so yeah, we're not the best experts. So no. I'm probably not even going to answer that question. It's definitely quality. There's yeah. quality here. They definitely did a better job with the rules than they normally do. The English translation seems pretty good. The app is phenomenal. The voice acting is amazing. Mm. Um, the story is cool so far. But they're, they're good with the story stuff. Um, yeah, like components are what you expect. Uh, it's interesting. Playing from a book. And the way they did the book mechanic with the binder sheets and stuff, it's different mm -hmm. from board games in general that I've played. But they did it very cool and interesting. But it is very nerdy and bookkeeping-ish. That might turn some off. Got the minis. I, I don't know. I think they're always in every copy. But the, so. the engineer minis were my favorite of all of them. But anyways, them uh, yeah. How does it compare to others? I'm not an expert. But if yeah. Sajat rolled in here, uh, has played all of them, I'm pretty sure... I think so. So check the comments later when Sajat watches this episode <laughs> and then drops down below how, how they feel it, it ranks. But uh, I don't know. Anyone else play more than like two other Wake Realms games? At least five. And if you can rank them for a human humanite scheme, that, that might be helpful. But again, like just for me, Tainer Grail will always wreck this game in my opinion because I like the theme of Tainer Grail of fantasy. Mm. In general, I love fantasy over sci-fi. And that also has the adventure mechanic, but it has the more combat kind of stuff that I like and the resource management too, I love. And, and the survival aspect and just the dark survival feeling. I like that a lot. But is Tina Grail the one of the top games I've ever played? No, probably not. I, I've never really put it, I think, on any of my top lists. I wouldn't. 
it has too many flaws over other games that I'd rather play, but it's still a cool game in its own, like in its own vacuum, it's still pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And I like the way Awakened Realms seems to experiment and try to do things a little different, whether it's for good or worse. Um, but they always try to do something different that makes them different from other publishers that just make the Kickstarter big box games full of more components than you could ever play with and really focus heavily on the miniatures. They make a cool game on the back end, but they, they, they take risks in the experiment. It's interesting. And they, they like working with the community during the campaign and getting feedback and actually altering the game based on the prototype. They'll take feedback during the campaign and people have played it on TTS and stuff and, then, and then adapt the game during development. Um, to give you something a little different when it releases. But this one actually feels like the int the teaching, the tutorial system, they even said in a little letter they gave us with this copy, it was like, they hope we like it. They said they spent the most time on the rule book and the tutorial system and stuff that they've ever done in a game, and they try to take it serious, and they hope that people can get into this game easy and like all the complex systems like kind of make sense and it all flows through all the books and the rules and, you know, and yeah, there's not much we have to look up in the rule book. Yeah, it's all digestible. It's all, there. it's all here, which is very neat. More companies need to try this, but it's crazy that they experiment on something that's so big and expensive to see if it works. Right. After getting everyone's money. Uh, I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate that. They take the complaints from their other games about how, like, poor translation, bad rule books, no tutorial, nothing's explained. You need a big FAQ after. I like the way this, they kind of like, all right, let's try to fix that about our games. So I'll, I'll give him a shot on that one, or, or a prop there on that one. Uh, Mini number Q says, by the way, Mel, I checked episode five, and the story did say to put tech level four in the awaiting envelope, but you're good. I can't believe you checked that that fast and you figured out where that was in that episode. But thank you so much for validating that I am right. You guys are tech wizards. <laughs> yeah, I don't even, like, I wouldn't even know. You YouTube scrubbing wizards. <laughs> but, like, I wouldn't even know when it would have told us we got that. Probably, yeah, near the end. Probably just when we finish the planet. You can probably see, like, when we switch to, like, the after stuff. Yeah, I guess. On the table, you can probably just rewind a bit and watch. Yeah, I Minion, guess. Minion, thank you so much. All right. And our last one. Michael, I don't think I posted the photos of these in the Discord. I can. After the, after the video, or after we stream, I can. The engineer ones were my favorite. Oh, we got a new subscriber, Paul Stimak. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome, Paul. Hope to see you in the chat. Hello, hello. Actually, yeah, we can actually turn off the member-only chat thing, right? I want to try it again today. Oh, yeah. Or the oh, Yogi member posted, only. Yogi posted the link that he was talking about to the article, but I didn't get to read it yesterday. Oh, I, I didn't see it. It was in the Discord. All right, I'm going to try it again today. Let's see what happens. Hopefully no... Porn bots show up, but yeah. So if you're watching and want to chat, but you don't want to subscribe because you just you know don't want to see our logo in your subscription feed, I can totally understand. Mm -hmm. It's just like some games I see on the shelf; they tense me up and make me pissed and angry, uh, and start my day off wrong. You might not want to see us in your YouTube subscription feed, but if you do, hit that subscribe button because then if we do play a game you're interested in uh, and you want to come and hang out and play with us and support that game, so we play it longer or more or keep it coming back to the table, and you can hit the like button, all that stuff, uh, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and, and all that stuff. But yeah, I put on subscriber only on mode chat, because it's a way to fight off those stupid spam bots, but then they still snuck through a little bit, but very, very rare. Oh, we've but, heard that they've The whole thing YouTube has fixed all that, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, feel free to get involved in the chat, even though you're not subscribed, and... You know, test the waters, hang out with the community. I apologize for some of them, um, but most of them are awesome. And then, uh, yeah, if you want to come out and hang out with us permanently, subscribe. And then if you want to talk after the stream in our Discord, uh, you would have to support the channel. And then you can hang out with others that support the channel are passionate and want to see us continue. Um, by clicking the Join button down below is probably the best way to do that. And then linking your YouTube account in your Discord. And then you'll get pulled in if you're a producer of the channel. And uh, you'll be able to chat with other producers and us and share things there. Like Mel and her, uh, her uh, miniatures. Just use some speed paints on these them. Were, these were they were very quick. Okay, you say just use some speed paints like it's kind of like a negative thing. No, no, you, no. No, to stop it. Sorry. Okay. You're right. Remember, we could be playing with gray, boring plastic where you can't tell one miniature from the other based on the view of the table. Like, who's, That's true. Who's, who's from there, it looks great when obviously, you're holding it like obviously that. Obviously, <laughs> we, we could be snapping on the colored bases, you know. 
We could just do this and be playing with... We don't even need the miniatures, right? We could just be playing with colored <laughs> rings. Seriously. We could. Okay? Yeah. So the fact that even speed paints were able to you to get this game painted quickly mm -hmm. in, in relative time uh, and make them look like this, okay? They're just speed paints. No, like compared to gray boring plastic with You're a right. ring on the bottom, it's like, man, it looks great. Yes, you could do regular paints and you could take more time and do techniques and layers and all that crazy stuff. But this is just a freaking board game component. You play through the game like one time realistically, if you even get through it. And then you throw it on your shelf or you sell it or you get rid of it. So like, who cares? Speed paints are like the freaking savior to board game miniature painting. I love them, actually. Like, like everything I, I'm now using yes, them for. Yes. So yes, they might not look at uh, so I, I trophy award-winning at, yeah. at a freaking miniature painting competition, but we're not doing that. We're painting stuff to be visible on the table, to be functional, add theme, You're right. and then throw them in a box and not care about them anymore. So yes, they were painted with speed paints because you should be spending more time playing the game and not painting the game. Right. If you're a board gamer. If you're a hobby painter, yeah, go away. This We're board gamers. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But. Yeah. But I just want to say that for people that are... The way you say it, like, I oh, know. it's just speed paints. Man, when those were introduced, I was like, yes. Like, I could even slap on some coats and make something look way better than the garbage that comes out of the box. It's just like a blob of plastic, you know? Um, so, yeah. Yes, they are Army Painter Speed Paints, yes. Yeah, Army Painter Speed Paints. Yeah. I, know, I know there's, like, Sorry. other companies that do, like, uh, you know, that kind of... Um, the same kind of paint. But they're the original speed paints. I know they've changed the formula recently to improve them. Um, and they're doing like a second uh, wave of them and they're adding more colors and stuff. A lot of a lot of these... But you've done like regular metals too, right? And then yes. like, and like washed over yeah, them, speed painted over Yeah, it. speed paint over them, yeah. Um, yeah. I tried to use a lot of the colors that were relevant to yeah, the faction. So that, yeah, so that it kind of stood out. Because a lot of these guys are like like metal and mech-like. Yeah, and they'd all look the same. They'd all look like just like silver yeah. blobs if I yeah, yeah. didn't. So I tried to um, use like <laughs> similar colors. I don't mean if you're a hobby painter, get out. I mean if you're a hobby painter, you're judging these and like... Oh yeah, oh, that's man. why I say it before we hand... Maybe that's yeah, why yeah. I say it so that I'm... That yes. people know like... Yeah. Again, our purpose is to get them table ready. But yes, if we want to take more time paint, we already get in trouble. Like, we haven't played Skyrim yet. We're getting comments going, please play Skyrim. What is taking so long? And it's like, Mel's painting it. Like, she just started painting it yesterday, yeah. really. Yeah, I But just it's like laughing. in her queue of many miniatures to paint. I'm not going to rush her. I want her to play with me games that are already painted. So we're going to play those games. Or we're going to do other stuff, you know? She's got a life. She's got a job. So she's going to do those things, you know? Um, but yeah. So speed paints allow us to get the games a few days earlier to be playable yep. than if she took her sweet time trying to be super perfect. Mind you, I do I do love doing that, but it, yeah, you're right. It does take a again, long time. And I keep telling Mel, I'm like, Mel, just table ready. Like, think about it. So you guys are watching. This is the miniature on the board. Can you tell if Mel painted that or I painted that? You know? Can you tell if, if Matthew in the chat painted that? No, you can't. You just see that it's orange and it's like got a yellowish base maybe and it's kind of like a blob of color instead of a blob of gray. That's true. And it's more functional for us to just know where people are on the planet. Like realistically, we're never playing like this with a macro camera like right up to the stream. I'm, you'll never see it like this usually, right? Right, and so maybe that's why I say it because we if anybody's put, judging me. <laughs> yeah, we don't put these in glass cases after and stare at them. We throw them in a box and they sit in the dark, lonely and crying in their little holders. Mind you, I'm not embarrassed of that one. Yeah. I like that one. Oh, let's find one you are then. I'm just kidding. No, I like the two. These ones were my favorite ones. These two I did first, the two engineer ones. I just thought they were cool looking and fun. The... So much for trying to get through today's playthrough in like a reasonable time. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, I mean, it's game related, but we are definitely getting off the rails here. I like this guy's stance. Yeah. He's uh, John Wick ready to go. John Wick in space right there. Plow. And this one's uh, a pole dancing or something. I don't know what's happening here. What's uh, this one doing? Some of them have like smoke coming out of their jet engine pack. Oh, and stuff I see. That they're, or it's like leaning on something. I don't know. Yeah, I like the way you did the purple like in, in the armor, but also purple on like the little uh, rocks or whatever. So, you know, it's like the purple character. Yeah, that's what I try to do. That's cool. Uh, the ship's upstairs, but 
because you don't really need it. No, I, I wish we knew. So like you didn't paint the chip and you didn't paint four of these miniatures. Like it was kind of dumb. That's like a waste well, of time. Well, I just painted the like the twos together. I know. So it was fine. But if we had read ahead and figured out that, oh, we were only really playing with two miniatures at a time. Like we just paint one of each color and you don't even need to paint the ship. Yeah. That would have saved time. We would have probably played it two weeks earlier than we did. But hey. But you whatever. know what? Part of me always hates having uh, unpainted minis. I, know. In the, I like having it's it awkward, complete. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> just me. Maybe it's a Michael problem. Michael I just ordered through Late Pledge. I passed on the sun drop and we'll do the same on the painting. I like the section color idea. Yeah, yes. that's, that's what I did. Table ready and gameplay focused, right? Is like they're, they're a piece and a function, not like art. Right. But they are art. Like they can be art if you yeah. want to display them and... You want to look at them and you think they're all pretty but like even when you have buddies come over they might pick them up once and go oh cool but the whole time they're just literally they're a pawn you're just moving them around like they're just a piece that is true so and speed paints yes i would never pay for sun drop ever not anymore now knowing speed paints or contrast paints or whatever there's another company that's trying to do them too um any of those kind of things and the speed paints from army painter they've improved the formula too so like they're they supposed to work even better and they the um what was the thing they changed they made them remember the um reactivation oh yeah they supposedly changed it so that they don't reactivate as much when you like paint on top of them or whatever right which is a problem but again right now, i, I want to get some so you can test that theory but oh yeah. they're from vallejo express paints that's what they're called oh okay yeah so the fact that those are out there they're easy to get and multiple companies make them there's like kind of no excuse that somebody can't buy a couple brushes from like literally dollar store or the craft store, buy a, a bottle of primer, you know, wash the mini with some warm soap and water, make sure you rinse it off good. Then you could paint on primer if you want, mm -hmm. or buy a spray can of primer if you live in like a decent climate. Don't do it out in the cold, I've learned, or the paint can will explode. Um, you got to keep it in a consistent temperature, but prime the mini. Let it dry and then literally speed paint. You just slap it on and like it will look a thousand times better than sun drop or no paint at all. Even a solid speed paint color. Yeah. And there's yeah. little sets of speed paints. You can get tiny little starter sets. So you just have a few colors to work with. Cheap investment. Just try it out. I'm and excited too because Army Painter is coming out with 90 more colors. No, they're going to have a, a or like a line of 90. a line of 90 total. Yeah. So they're adding colors. They're working with content creators trying to create more cool colors. That would be interesting to uh tabletop gamers basically and they're coming up with a whole line so you could yes if you're like balling you could buy a whole mega super duper set of probably like 90 different colors and go crazy mm -hmm. but yeah they're, they're adding tons like obviously that line is doing very well for them so uh as a board gamer not wanting to play with boxes or, or tons of plastic gray miniatures on a board and and not spend money on sun drop you know which is just like literally like a wash put on them um yeah I, I appreciate that as a board gamer, that it's like, it's affordable and it's quick and uh, it gets things table ready nice. Oh, and we miss Matthews. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Matthew. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. You're Matthew, fine. I'm sorry. Oh, it's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Matthew says, I always thought Rob was a blob of plastic until Mel got a hold of him. <laughs> By the way, you look great now. <laughs> hey, sailor. How you doing? <laughs> that's right. You added some color to my life. <laughs> Aww. Aww. You mushy. Um, and then another Matthew says, oh, sorry, where did it go? Oh, I appreciate the commitment to painted minis on the table for sure. Yeah. yeah now we can't go back, right? I just like it's, it. For, it's uh, hard. As, as the streamer <laughs> and producing a stream and, and, and knowing as a viewer of playthrough streams and, and, and watching my own work, I just love how you can tell where things are easier on the table. Mm -hmm. Ever since the beginning, I always used to be frustrated when we played with just gray plastic. I would, we would be sitting there painting the bases of miniatures just so you as a viewer had an easier time following along. So once the speed paints became a thing, I was like, okay, Mel, like I know you can paint miniatures. And yes, I know you do an amazing job. It takes a long time to make them perfect, picture perfect. But it's like, man, now you just kind of slap on paint and then you're like in the middle. So they're not like award winning, but they're not garb they're not gray garbage you're playing with on the board. Yeah, I'm still happy with them. And they look awesome. And uh, people who come and play with us always make comments like, oh, this looks cool. Mm -hmm. and it's like, yeah, she literally just slapped on the orange and let it dry. And it's like, that's what you got, like with um, highlights and, and uh, shadows just from literally one layer, pretty much, of speed paint. Yeah. And then do some, add some metal on it after or whatever, and you're good to go. Uh, Eglin says, have you ever done painting uh, videos, Mel? I have. I've done a few. 
Yeah, Mel's live stream painting a few different games. Yeah. She doesn't do it for every game. No, um, I don't have time. I wish I it could. Takes, it takes longer, obviously, when she's streaming it because she's like chatting and like organizing it. But when she can paint not on stream, she can paint like when she has a break at work, during her lunch. Like while know. I'm making dinner. Yeah, like while, while she's making are dinner. Cooking, you know. But she can't, I mean, yes, you can stream everything. We know if you go on Twitch, people stream like everything. Like, yeah, Mel could have a camera in the kitchen of the painting area that she's doing. And she could literally just, oh, one sec, guys. I got to go stir. I got to go stir or dinner. flip the something. Yeah, I got to flip something. <laughs> I'll be right back, you know. And uh, she could stream everything and have a, a little live stream going every time she paints. But if she doesn't, it just painting takes so much longer. Right. So there have been a few games like Lord of the Rings, there's Middle Earth, Mel's Paint, done some live stream painting of that. Yeah. I painted all the way through. Uh, um, Nemesis, did you do on stream maybe? Nemesis, no. no Nemesis, oh. I did not do on stream. Oh, Nemesis is Awakened Realms game we played. Oh, yeah, we did play that. Also, This War of Mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, this war of mine. Also, this war this of mine. This war of mine is, like, my number one. Yeah. Uh, this war of mine is better than this game. Yeah. Uh, Nemesis is better than this game. Yes. For our group. But again, all these games are apples and oranges. I would never... I forgot that that was Awaken Realms. Again, when people always compare to other Awaken Realms games, it's funny. Or, like, the Chip Theory games. Oh, Rob, is this game better than Too Many Bones? It's like, who cares? This game should be its own thing and judge it on its own merits. And is it something you need in your collection? Mm -hmm. So the whole question of like, how does this game compare to other Wake Realms games? Like, why? You can only buy one? And you're deciding which one to buy? Or which one to spend your time on? No, just look at this game. Does the game look good to you? Is it something you want to play? Mm -hmm. But yes, I forgot about those games. Yeah, that's funny that you just said that. Even yeah, though I, I like those games better, I just forgot. Like, I, yeah. I, I can't remember yesterday. So I anyway. painted Nemesis, but I didn't paint it on stream. But right. the most recent, I did paint the... Uh, the Spreading War I painted on stream, I think the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings, uh, Journey of the Miller, Spreading War. You and the, the Scourges tunes. of the Waste pack. And you did other called? streams of like um, uh, Massive Darkness 2. Oh yeah, Massive Darkness 2 I painted a lot on stream. Yeah. I'm trying to think of recent. I don't know. A lot of, a lot of Lord of the Rings, I think, because I was trying to catch up on some of that. Massive Darkness 2, yeah. I didn't paint Familiar Tales on stream, did I? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I can't remember, but Hold you can on. just look up Mel's what? mini painting and you should Well, no, them. they're not all titled that way. Oh. I didn't because uh, I was experimenting. Oh. But. Like, I'm not logged in here. So let's see just from someone not even logged in on YouTube. Oh, we should join this channel. <laughs> yeah, Click it's a fun to place unlock. to be. Oh, yeah. Join it. Yeah, yeah. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Uh, if you go to... Oh, you know what other game I think I did? Um, Here. Can I do Legend Descent Legends of the Dark? We'll find out. So let's let's try this out. So we're at Rob's Gaming Table. So youtube.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table or click the name down below or the logo, I think. Then scroll over or if you're not zoomed in like I am here so you guys can actually read this, click this little search. I'm going to try just paint and see what happens. Let's test this YouTube search business. This is YouTube is run by Google. So let's hope the search works, right? Uh, yeah, Massive Darkness 2, Painting the Mobs. Massive Darkness 2, Painting the Bosses. Mini Painting with Mel. There's oh. 12 videos Oh, that's... There. Oh, there's some Mini Lord Painting with Mel, Army Painter Speed Paints for Lord of the Rings, Journey Middle Earth. Massive Darkness 2, Unboxing and Painting. Oh, we probably put them together. Yeah, so there's Unboxing. Don't watch that. I mean, you kind of are, are a snooze fest. Um, but I might do one tomorrow. Um, and then Massive Darkness 2, Painting <laughs> the Heroes. Oh, Sky Terror. I Sky Terror, yeah, yeah. They had okay. some cool miniatures in that game, for sure. Oh, and then, I don't know if I painted these on stream or oh, you just Uthia, made the videos. Look at this. Oh, Uthia. Uthia. Yeah, I did Uthia. There's Mel painting. Look, oh, Osworn. <laughs> Never heard of it. Is I that did, good? I did some of the Osworn. Osworn doesn't have cool miniatures. The, Why would you paint those? I think I did some of the characters and the um, Broodmother. So there yeah. you go. Just type in the word paint in the search box. I did quite a few. Not, not the top search box. The little tiny beside the spyglass search box on the same line with all the 65 sections. That YouTube has made my channel now. <laughs> so we got home, we got videos. It's not in there. Okay. It's not in shorts. It's not in live. It's not in playlists. Okay. That's not confusing at all. It's not in community. It's not in channels and it's not in about. You can find them in the live tab. You just have to scroll for 65 years to find them all. And they're all jumbled in with everything else. But if you search the word paint, because they all should have painting or paint in the title, right? Yeah. I did more than I thought I did. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. You've been, wow. And, and the speed paints. Started, I think, with some Lord of the Rings stuff. And I yeah. try to put it in the video description if you want to see Mel painting with speed paints or not painting with speed paints. And Mel is a journey on discovering oh speed painting and learning techniques and 
the chat telling her about new techniques and how to paint certain things and recommending colors and her referencing material online. Oh, there's all these shorts of her descent painting stuff. That was fun. Those ones yeah. I had, I love. Best miniatures in a board game. Love painting those. The Scent Legend of the Dark. Best I, miniatures in a board game. I probably spent way too much time painting them as well. Uh, for some reason, now we're into. Now we're just into crap. Yeah, this there should not be paint. What? what, what <laughs> okay, Google, relax. <laughs> all right, there you go. That's yeah. probably all of them. Not a lot, but if you want to see Mel painting on stream, there you go. Yep. All right. Thank you so much for that plug. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Same channel, so. I know. Plug for my stuff too, I know. technically. Which is all good. Our stuff. I don't know. Yeah. All right. We're only 51 minutes into the stream. Really? Well, since we clicked the intro, so. Okay. Um, We still can kill more time. I'm just kidding. Let's play the game, please. Looking forward to more, Matthew says. Okay, I'll get on it. Bob Bell says, why do I envision a cooking show that is melting minis in a pot? Hey, hey, those are million dollar content ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Will it melt? <laughs> then we can mold it after into like our own monster blob mini, make big Cthulhu's mm -hmm. of all the little minis being melted together. Okay, sorry. You were... Uh... Were you done with those cards? I don't there? know what I'm doing. Those are our situations. We're playing a game today, supposedly, at some point. Uh, intrusive organism is the other one. Vertigo, hair loss, and a bleeding rash. These are just some results of the away team's selfish decision to return aboard with a parasite clinging to their exosuits. Oh, no. They got a hugger. When solved, shuffle this card in a possible situation. So this will come back over and over. Uh, that's and important over. to do because that says... Each section moves two available crew members to resting crew. Move this card to the waiting envelope. Oh. So it just like eats up crew members. Over and over. Wow. Okay. Let's just put those here for now. Uh, let's just put those here for now. So I remember. <laughs> okay. And. Bells melts. All right. <laughs> Return the landing card and the planetary scanner to the landing cards. Why do I have to do that now and not at the end? That's so weird. Uh, I need to do it this way. So weird. <laughs> the boil water trick to straighten your droopy spears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bob Bell just... says, hey, keep the channel clean. <laughs> <laughs> Done that before. <laughs> Matthew, sometimes we all get droopy spears, but uh, we, we shouldn't discuss that on stream. It's not re not really relevant, but uh, <laughs> hope you get hope you get over it. <laughs> just... <laughs> No, I hate that when miniatures have like bent swords and stuff. And then it's like, all right, drop them in the boiling water. Let's get it done. <laughs> Does everyone know about that? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like a thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why SSS Vanguard to new places? <laughs> Open the system maps. This is you. Right. Open the system map books to the page identified by the current system map bookmark. During this step, you may perform any of the following tasks in whatever order you want, as many times as you want. The step ends once you have placed a landing. Da, da, da. Fly to a new planet. Visit a destination. If it depicts a lander. Okay, that's fine. And then scan. So we can... We have six energy to spend here. All I don't right. know what we're doing or where we even are. Those who have played the game, what are we doing? What are we doing to do this game properly what are we doing? to get the best stuff? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yes, Hold we on. can fly around blind. We can do a poll. Where oh, are we? What, how are we doing this wrong that we're, like, not as beefed up as we should be? Like, why don't we have level three crew? Are we supposed to? I don't know. I don't know. We're terrible. Yes. Why do I have this? <laughs> That's where we are. Oh, okay. Right here. Yeah, but I... So you've not been writing any notes, eh? Of, like, what we've done there. Should we go back there? That's what Nobody's should... told me. What am I writing? I don't know. Exactly. Just like what we've done. Like, should we go back? Can we go back? Like, you know what I mean? Well, we, that yeah. kind of stuff. Where's my pencil? So George A says, uh, hey, George. Um, at this point, I'm partway through Tainted Grail, halfway through ISS Vanguard, and have Frostpunk unplayed. Oh, oh, you guys are talking about oh, all talking the games. About, yeah, yeah. yeah. About getting Hoppo and stuff. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, this War Mine now that you say it is my favorite Awaken Realms game. Oh, 
Frostpunk, I'm not sure about. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe one day we'll try that game. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, the bomb saying, find a new planet to explore. Use level two crew because that gives you the best chance of getting six success tokens in the first visit for rank up. Okay. Well, I yeah, can't sense. do that yeah, because that, that's where we're falling short is not leveling up crew when we're done the planets. Like we're never getting enough success tokens. We did that at the very beginning of the game. And then we thought we'd get cute by sending players that had good abilities that are low level so they would level up. But maybe we're focused too much on using our level two crew to do things in the binder versus in the book, you know? I don't have a level two recon character that I can even take. So, I mean, it is what it is. She died. Pontus says, I think that the weird, the thing that was weird for your playthrough was that you took the short path to the ambush. Oh, well, thanks to the but chat for that. Yeah, we were just <laughs> doing boating and stuff just like to see where to go, what to do. Like, yeah. Oh, so there was a longer path that we could have That's done, people, which makes yeah, sense. Yes, there was some comments about that one that people were more prepared and got there and actually had a better chance and did more turns and saw more things and almost won or did win. Um, but we just got wrecked. We barely got anywhere on that thing because we were not prepared for it at all. No. But that's neat that the game can do that. That's neat that that can happen. I think that's cool. It adds to the more like open world nature of it. Doesn't feel so linear. I like that. Never trust the chat. I know. What were we thinking? That's why we do the polls. Is so like if there's some people that are like just maybe making weird decisions, it's like well. Yeah, because it was a consensus. You know, like hopefully they're in the minority. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> It's fine. Click mm -hmm. whatever. Do whatever. It's all fun. It's a game, right? We're just testing the waters, going wherever. Let's see what happens. Uh, all right. Okay. So what's our options on this thing? Well. Do we still have uh, one discount? So we obviously landed here last time, right? Do we want to, like, go back? Oh, we can't. We got to do this objective 0, 06 to 11. Do we have? What objective are we on? Oh, now we have six. We didn't have six so before. So yeah, whatever this little side mission is, we need to collect all these objectives, and then finally we can go do a bunch of things that we keep getting locked out of. So there will be some revisiting of planets and stuff. So based on that, let's just go to a different planet, right? So I don't know where we came from. This Mel doesn't really mark How, I... on the... To put little arrows, man! Get crazy! Where's your clipboard? Get the clipboard. Start scratching and writing all over that thing. Okay. If I did it, you wouldn't be able to read it. So you're going to do I it. I can do it. I just Come don't on, necessarily man. know what I'm writing. You're right. So we we visited once. Could go back. Need objective 06 to 11. Maybe that's what that asterisk is for. <laughs> and I don't remember why. <laughs> uh... Oh, uh, we're back now. Um, yeah, so uh, Mel is going to try to take better notes. Yeah, that's it. I'm not really sure what that's, this asterisk or this little jibble jabble I have there is for. So, okay. I'll take better notes. You're right. George says, well, there are three different missions you could do on planet Gal Galici. Galici. That's where we are. That's where we are, right? Yeah. Is He's there, helping us Is here. there three different missions, though? Uh, like, is this, or, or you're saying, like, when we land, there's missions. Like, I, I, do I care about all this? Like, this is just about getting discoveries. Like, I know we should be probably doing some of that stuff. Uh, but like, I don't even know why we need it yet. Like, <laughs> like I understand later in the game, we get some cool production thing we want to do, and then we need to farm those kind of things. And then we go here and do these things, right? Last episode, when you landed, you had a choice of three missions. Oh, yes, I remember this now. Oh. There is another mission on that planet. There is still uh, unique discoveries. Yes, we don't have the unique discoveries. I did make a note of all the stuff from the planet. So should we do that? Is that a I don't know thing? if it's worth going back for it. Yeah, no. I, I don't know if we I've should I've not come played, back. though. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's Minnie. fine. Minnie, That's no, fine. we appreciate it. We don't know either. That's the thing. We just keep pushing forward. We're not really going back, which maybe we should. I don't know. And I know people watching the stream probably want to see something different. So if we did a poll, more people are going to say, go to somewhere new and see right, what happens. Right. You know? 
versus like let's see the same planet over again which may not be anything interesting it might be just more grindy and getting more resources which is like a fine i like that in gaming so george says so you need to decide whether to do one of the other missions on the same planet while you are there go forward to harder planets or mm -hmm. backtrack and do the earlier planets you skipped this might be a good time to make sure you can rank up some more level one crew but so we have to get lucky with the card to, that we draw. <laughs> but then to rank them up, we need to take level one crew to the planet, right? So then we have less chance of getting more successes. Then we can't level them up. Well, I can only take level one but, recon. Well, I know on the upgrade cards, it is easier to do level one upgrades, right? Because you only need like three successes or something, maybe. Yes, Matthew, that's what I want to do. Let's go back and do a skipped planet. Okay. So what is a skip planet that we've done though? Like let's we did like this, this could one. take a while to figure this out, right? Like so on your map would probably be the best way. So can you like hold it up or something? Okay, so we are here. Did we come from Leonis? Because it is the easiest one. We didn't have to yeah, because we didn't to. have the yellow. So I think we had to follow along the path where we weren't going what? like go what back to Leonis. Okay. We probably did a vote here. We probably came from Kepler. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. And we didn't have this bridge upgrade. So obviously, we had this one place to go to. Yeah. So it just kept... Oh, uh... this is the thing. Like, I'm lost. I don't, because Mel has not recorded anything, I, ha I don't memorize where we've been, and none of these names mean anything. This to is me. the only one that they're saying is one that we miss. Gift four? Gift dash four? Which makes sense. But how I... do we get there? Find we out the to... least energy way. Uh, one, two, three, four. So to go. Okay. So hold on. Let's find out what that is. So back to Leonis for four. How much energy do we have? Six. Oh, we're not gonna get there. This is the thing. I don't. I don't know what we're supposed to do. We fled from Ke Kepler. Okay. Yeah. Kepler. We we yeah, did. I'm we're done. I'm Mel under the bus because like I I, I can't memorize where we've been. I didn't and, know and that. I, I need putting it on the chat to memorize I what we, we did just... a month ago. And like, I'm not remembering this game because I make the mistake of playing way too many damn games at the same time. <laughs> okay, so go back to... And I can't write cleanly. Mel is the, the, the what do you call it? You're a scribe or the uh, the record, the note taker? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So I'm throwing her all under the bus. We do have the bridge upgrade to travel one less. You're right, we do. So it will cost three to get to... Yeah, I mean, we could go, we could just start from here and go, like, where did we go from here? We went to TI. So draw. Draw a little, like, arrows, like, with a little away. And we can erase it and change it when we, like, go back. And we stuff. went to here. TOI2. And okay. then we went to okay. N4, NU4 SETI. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Because we didn't go to 81. We did go to 81 INF, but we did it like this. So then we went here. And from NU4 SETI, we went to... Oh, we did go to G4? No, but we did go to NU4 SETI. So GIFT 4 has a way we can land, but also has the make contact thing where you need the objectives for it. I don't, I don't know. Well, let's not even try to start from the beginning. Let's just go. So we went, we came from here. I just want to do something that's not pushing us into harder challenge territory. I want to just like we didn't do this. level something up. We I didn't want to like do HR 5, 7... Don't go to Maybe HR. Zero. There is trouble in HR. Right, we didn't go down. I know that. We definitely did not go to... Okay, so we did not go this way then. So let's see how can we so get how there. how do we get to NU4 SETI? Or did we go back? Would this wraps around or something? Or does this go here? Probably it just didn't fit on the page. Couldn't tell you. I maybe need to reprint it where it fits on the page. I don't know. That probably just reaches there. Yeah. That's probably a cool ending. Okay, so... Um, maybe we went 81 INF. I thought we did this, though. Maybe we didn't. Maybe. Oh, we went back. We went back. Okay. Thank you, Tim. We went here. Then we went back. Then we went up here. Then we went up here. Then we went to Kepler. Then we went down Leonis. here. And then we went to here. Okay. Okay. Those are the only planets that I know. So we skip this, and we skip this, and we skip this, and we could win up here. 
So do we just go here? Correct. Okay, good, good, good. I got so it. So LCS 17. We have the is thing we can't fly there and it is less energy. So I feel like they're trying to say go there. Because bridge, bridge upgrade C01 we have. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. We just got that. So do we go to there? Because then from there... Oh, well, but Kepler's like the bad place, right? Yeah, but if we want to avoid it, then we can come up here, and then we can even come back here. But then we're going to all new planets. Or then... Energy now. I don't know. Yeah, I want to avoid Kepler if we can. Right? We're supposed to, right? Oh, but maybe not do it today. Okay. One consideration is do if you want do to want to repeat some planets, power up. Okay. So, hmm. But what about this one then? Well, we do have the less travel cost thing, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do. What about LCS 17? The yellow. Well, when George is saying, like, doing this planet we did last time, we know it's inhabitable. We should be able to get more done there. Oh, you don't have to avoid Yeah, Kepler. we can fly through you if can. we have enough. Okay, okay, let's figure this out. So, what is the cost reduction we have? It's like every travel thing is one less? Yeah. Down to one? Outbound systems, yes. Outbound systems. So, we can, for one energy... Let me see the page. Oh, sorry. Uh, we can fly here. To LS17. Okay, one. one energy. And then LCS17 is somewhere in here. Which probably had a page number on it. Uh, nine. Okay. Okay, then from there, holy options, uh, we want to fly through Kepler. Okay. So let's see if that's, oh, three in a row. Oh, we can't. Yeah, requires the can't danger. go through it that way. Okay, so requires then now we have to go back. One. Go back to... No, but then we can fly. Where's the other one you wanted to go to from there? S1. That also is a block. Okay, so, so we going can't go there. Bad. Okay, so we have to go back this way then. So go back to here. And Your if... head is pounding. All right. Uh, this get to this is... one is... It'll cost us three. Now, uh, Leonis. Yeah, okay, so we're at 12. three. Page 12. We still have three left. From there, Kepler is only one. Okay, so it'll still cost one. Okay. okay. Uh, that's page 10. Then we'd have to get to M. That's only one. Okay, that's one. So we're at five. And then we have to. Then, uh, I was going to MP. What, yeah, and we have one more if we can eight. get to. Uh, yeah, because we would reduce the cost of oh. uh, the jiffy. So we can or, get we can get there, but it costs all of our our energy. So then we can't and do the planet scanning thing and like right. try to land safer and all that stuff. What about HR five three zero five seven? Where is this jiffy fort on page six? Um, oh yeah, landing's always free, right? Yeah. Oh, it has the make contact thing too. We can assign two crew members to gain an energy there. Maybe we can do some of that stuff along the way. Yeah, we can still scan spending crew, yeah. Oh, yeah, and spending Oh, crew. and if there's zeros, yes, if there's zeros yeah. on any of those planets, we can do them. Should we do this? Is this crazy? Is this silly? I never thought of flying around like this much because I feel like it just spends so many resources. In most games like this, it's like, just do things that are close to you. You'll save resources mm -hmm. and you'll still get things done. And the other option is we can go here. I want to see something new too. And if we're seeing something that's a little less difficult that we can help catch up and level up, uh, I feel like we satisfy both needs of let's build up a bit, but also I want to see something new. Okay. Even though it's easier, I'm down. Uh, and we, let's try it. Like, like this is maybe not the normal way to play. Okay. So they're I'm, saying, I'm good, like, they're saying gifty. Okay. So then let's go back and, yeah, yeah, and do okay. it that way because maybe there's some zeros we can okay. do along the way that'll give us. Now, I will tell you though, uh, George A, Bob Bell, there'll be a few people if this uh, turns into be an ambush planet and you guys all laugh after because we find out this actually screws us over because oh. it's like a planned bad story event. Uh, you will all be permanently banned from the chat. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. If you're all scheming right now to send us into some spiraling loss in space thing again. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. It's all good. <laughs> mm. It's an ambush! <laughs> Trap! 
it's a trap <laughs> damn it sorry <laughs> i know you guys are working with aliens i know what's going on they're like i don't want to see them play this game anymore let's send no. them into this ambush and then they'll stop playing no it's truly it's to show us the coolest stuff in the game of course uh, okay so start again from where we are uh, and am i yes. supposed to make any notes like was there anything yes. i'm supposed Do to the make? arrows we're flying back okay so we're flying back now through uh, so you could say visited once could go back to find more unique discoveries or something like that. Two, like, uh, two unique discoveries left or whatever it was, you know? So we know, oh, okay. Uh, also, uh, the objective uh, zero, uh, the six dash 11 thing, put like a symbol or the six dash 11, put that beside all these planets that could be revisited once you have that. Okay. Because then we know like, oh, once we have that, let's go back to those planets, you know? Okay. All right, so we're going to... Oh, also, we have that whole new side mission thing. Isn't this this game that we made that choice in the side secret envelope, and now we can go, like, build... Yeah, um... but that's at the end. It's at the end. Like, it's way back here, so I don't oh, even remember. New, new yeah, thing, it's yes. the new thing, yeah. Wow, I completely forgot about that until just now. I did take notes on a separate piece of paper before, but I think that was for something else, and it's, it's not in my notes. I... It's all good. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh... Yeah, it was the embassy or something, yeah. Yeah, we're building embassies. We're being diplomatic. I don't remember how, but sure. For 06 to 011 object, or 6 to 11, you only need one of those cards. The dash stands for three. Yeah, so we have. Oh. Yeah, we don't need all of them. I thought you need to collect every single one, Bob, and then you can go back and do that stuff. No, we just need the one, and that allows us to get into these planets. As long as you have one of those active, which we did not last week. Oh. Are you sure? Requires objectives 6 through 11. That's how I read that. You need every single one. But you can only have one. Because it replaces itself. No, but I thought, like, completed. But there's nowhere that you're tracking that. You're not ever? No. Oh, okay. Well, that's I, my understanding. I'm understanding it that way as well because you can only have one. I, I am enlightened. Enlightened now. I just, yeah, the light bulb just went ding. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yes, yeah, so we can do it now if we want. Should we just do this here? If we did, if we did do that, I would spend some of our stuff on. Because here's here's the problem. So making contact costs energy, right? So I'm thinking if we're going all the way to Giphy Four. I don't know, that sounds so funny when you say that. Uh, <laughs> oh, ever to make contact costs an energy. Which we can't do, we have to just land. But we're just going there to land, right? Then after we can make contact, like, another time? So then it's silly, because then we're going to be like, oh, let's move oh, forward. All it's doing is placing a planet card, Giphy 4B, in the awaiting envelope. So that next time... But what's a planet card? Oh, that's us collecting the embassy things. Did oh. we get that divider, the planet card divider? Did you get that and put that in there? Yeah, it's already. We oh. did that last time. Okay. They're already in there. Okay. And then in that one is the one we didn't take, and then the old save sheet. Uh, hmm. This this changes things. Do we just? Hmm. Because it's going to be the same thing, right? Where next time, because we only have enough energy to get there and land, we'll explore the land, and then we'll be like, oh, okay, well. Next time, let's keep moving forward. We're never mm. going to make contact, if that's the case. Mm. What's the benefit of getting the planet card? We're not sure. It's built, It's the embassy thing, I thought. I think, but we don't know what it does. Like, I didn't read any of that to know yeah. how it helps us or benefits us in any way. Can we look? Yeah, it's like at the very, very end. Right before the save sheet. Embassy district. Add new planets, take all connected planet cards from the awaiting envelope, insert into, and insert them into the empty slots on the page, ensure their connected planet side is showing. Uh, send envoys. You may choose to establish diplomatic a relationship with another planet. To do so, choose a connected planet card in the next page. You must then remove them from the game. Available crew members to meet the rank requirements that puts it on the card. These crew members are now stationed on the planet you cannot remove the last available crew member on your section this way and examples trades and gifts choose one of the three keywords ally allied colony embassy gain the bonuses from all planet cards with the chosen keywords in order of your choice so 
to your next facility. Turn to the ship. Oh, wait. Because it's something we this do when we're we wandering around the ship. Yeah, yes, we now have new that. Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought this was like literally at the very end. So add new plans. So if you go to visit this thing by spending command points, take all connected or contacted planet cards out of the waiting envelope and insert each in an empty slot on the next page. Ensure the contacted planet side is showing because they also have that other kind of card. We could have done the whole uh, like a military thing, right? Yeah. Instead, we did diplomatic. So there's numbered pages on the right. Um, yeah, it's just one side. So we try to like, we're trying to collect all these planet cards, right? This is like our new little side quest ish thing. Or maybe it's main quest. I, I don't know. Uh, let's do this. Okay, uh, then we can send envoys. You may choose to establish di diplomatic relations with other planets to do so. Choose the contact planet on the next page. You must then remove from the game available crew members to meet the rank requirement depicted on the card. These crew members are now stationed on the planet. You cannot, now I know why there's so many crew in the, in the box. Yeah. You cannot remove the last available crew member from your section, of course. Example, uh, level one and a level one, or a two means the planet requires two crew members of at least rank one, or a crew member of at least rank two. Return the rank sleeves of any crew of any removed crew members. Flip the chosen contact planets on the other side. You may repeat this entire step any number of times. Choose one of the three keywords, allied colony or embassy. Gain the bonuses from all planet cards with the chosen keyword in any order of your choice. So you are like building up a cool little way of gaining things by going here and you're like pulling resources from those planets you've created bonds with. Right. Uh, that's neat. Mm -hmm. uh, then trade get so gain bonuses from all planet cards with the chosen keyword in any order of your choice any bonuses that require you to discard a discovery discard a success token or assign a crew member is optional if you have sent envoys to all nine planets go to log 922 you Whoa, win the game then we win because we are you we, beat the game no i'm just joking. they're all friendly know. with us and then four is choose your next facility okay i get it Oh, this is neat. That's neat. Okay. So, like, now I want to collect them all. I want to get all my Pokemon. What's on the back side? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. So, if we can gather the nine planets, which is why we need that objective, we grab the we planet have. card, we throw it in there. I'm getting it now. It's all coming together. Man, okay. I'm learning today. Okay. I did not expect this. So, then let's do it. Let's make contact. So then right where we are right now, we should just spend one energy and do that, is what you're saying. Yes. But then we can't get to uh, Giphy 4. No, we can't. Um, and then can we, we make gotta... com contact at LCS 17? Which uh, is... No? No. Hmm. Just looking to see if there's another way to get more energy there. There is not. Yeah, see, Minion, that's what I'm thinking. Can we make contact in any other ones? There are other systems you can get to where you can make contact. She said, then spend crew members to get one energy and contact Giphy 4. Yeah, which we can do on Giphy 4. Yeah, so let's just do it there. The only problem is, George, I'm thinking like we're leaving the one we're at and already one is staring at us right here. Yeah, so, so now we get... gotta waste time and energy to come back here to pick it up. That seems weird and inefficient. If we're trying to catch. But we do need to revisit this planet anyway to do some other things here and get those unique discoveries possibly. But again, the game then told us if there's any unique discoveries that are important to story progression, you will just get them later anyway, so don't stress. It told us something like that before. Tim says, go to Giphy 4. All right, let's go to Giphy 4. Let's forgo this one. Let's do it. We're just going to have some fun. Let's do it. So, let's sorry, just go, go crazy. So it costs three to get to... It costs us. So here's what we're going to do. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's follow it then. Just because I, I want to... Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm putting the arrows in the right direction. All right, so, so we're, we're going, going to... to... Oh, I don't know. L LCS 17 for one? LCS 17. I think. For one? Yeah. Because we got a discount. Yeah. Okay. And we have the yellow thing, so we can travel there. Okay. Page nine. And then at LCS 17, is there anything that we want to do for free? No. No, everything costs the cash. Okay. Uh, okay. Then we're going to Kepler, right? Uh, we don't have the red, so we can't go there. So maybe we went the wrong way. Oh, we went the wrong way then. Yeah. I think we had to go Starting through. Now. 
This is why I just want to spend. We already went through all this process. Yeah, but so if I'm making kinda... notes, I don't know where I'm making oh, notes. Oh, okay, sure. Because I don't know where it's... Did we spend like, I think we went to Leonis because we spent like three at the beginning. Should we ask William Shatner, says one, Matthew? Two, three. So I just went one. Okay, so we're going. He is one of the one. coolest Canadians. So maybe asking him would be good. I don't know. All right. Okay, so we spent three. We're going there. Oh, yeah. Three to Leonis, uh, which is page 12. Okay, we're at Leonis. Kepler costs one. Kepler costs one. So then we're going to Kepler. Okay, that's page ten. Oh yeah, let's check. Then Kepler. we're going to MP twelve. I mean two one two two one two. Uh which, which is costs one, one. Right? Yep. Going to page eight. Okay. We're now at MP two one two. Okay, then we're going down to Giphy four, which costs one. Uh yes. And now we're in Giphy four. And we have none we have nothing left. But we can, for zero energy, uh, a methane ice giant with a dense atmosphere scans indicate as no core and no geological activity. Assign two crew members to gain. That's energy, oh, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. We should do that. I'll do that. I have purples that I can scan. Sure. Because I have. Do what you got to do. Do what I want. That one and that one. Okay, I'll send. Oops, I'll send okay. these two. And then now. We're going to make contact for that one spare energy. So and we're going to place it. planet card Giphy 4B in the waiting envelope. Giphy 4B. Yep. What is this fun you see here? This is not fun. Uh, right? Whoa, that looks cool. We're supposed to have it eventually on this side, right? And then it shows the requirement. So two level ones or a level two. Embassy district. Contacted planet. The mites of Everstorm didn't seem too intelligent during your first contact. Or later studies of the complex instructions provided, proved otherwise. And then when you visit it, I'm just looking at this one. I know it might be spoilery, but I just want to see how it works. I, I like, don't care. But there's the bonus. So this one, if you chose, what are those keywords? There was no keywords on that one. Yeah, but there's supposed to be a keyword on this side, right? Wasn't the whole mechanic like pick a keyword? Or this one just happens all the time? Uh, and this one looks like it's passive. Yeah. Allied colony or embassy. Oh, that's embassy. It's embassy. Oh, I see. I see. Embassy. embassy. I see. So we would choose embassy and we get to fire off any card that said embassy. Oh, we I get see. to fire off this bottom effect. Okay. Got it. Starting with the rightmost, move all production projects in the chosen production queue one slot to the right. So it's, yeah, it's just more like, yeah, this is neat. Just getting more stuff done. This I get neat. it. I see. Okay. This is cool. So now this drives me to find more cool things to build more advantages for when we're on the ship and we have the command points. You can visit here and call to your planets basically to provide you with more stuff. So that's going in here for now. Okay, that's neat. Okay. Uh, okay. And then now we're going to do the landing, right? So that ends whatever this stuff is, right? Yep. Star map. Need... Star map and be done. What lander card do I need to so say? We're... Is there any, like, read this or? Return all landing card currently in the planetary scanner to landing cards. Place landing card L4 in your planetary scanner and go to the next star map step. L4. And uh, for a GIF 4, something with the system emitted a clear, strong signal as we approached. Using the same incomprehensible encryption as the message from the Eye of the Void, a large artifact of the builders must be nearby. Da -da -da. Black Shard, Everstorm, and Giphy 4C. So if we go to energy, we can go to Black Shard. We can't. So we're just doing this. We already did the bottom one. Gargantuan mounds protrude from the raging storm that covers the entirety of the planet. We have never seen natural structures of this scale. Closer investigation is required. So we're going to land. Go to the next star map step. I don't need that. Both star maps, right? Scan planet. Mm -hmm. That's what you just did. So now we can, we have to do this one. 
Take the scanner, flip it so that the side of the energy cost is visible, then follow the instructions on the scanner to scan the landing card. You may assign one or more available crew to a scouting mission. Each crew member assigned reduces the energy cost of revealing the next part of the landing card by one. So the problem with spending crew is I'm always going to spend the crew that have the symbols that we actually need, what is shown on this after. Matthew, thank you so much. Matthew gifted five memberships. Listen, you psycho. Matthew, thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, Matthew. I appreciate thank it. You. You're too kind. So Matthew just basically like hit the join button, like already is joined to the channel, but hit it five more times for random viewers. Uh, so you are now officially supporting the channel from Matthew's bank account. If you'd like to keep supporting the channel, you can keep the gifted or the membership going beyond the month you have it. Um, but if you guys want to check out our Discord, because you are members, join your YouTube account in your Discord. Go link YouTube to Discord. You can Google how to do that. And you'll get to join our Discord of other producers and chat when the stream is off and send us messages, check out Mel's painting, all that stuff. Um, but thank you. Thank you for the thank support. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. You're too kind. And Minion and Billy are both in the chat and say thank you so much. Uh -huh. Matthew, thank cool. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for supporting the That's channel. That's awesome. Yes, we do need to save some for situations because situations are bad. Oh, yes. Okay, so this but, costs zero energy, so we can just do this one, right? Yep, yeah, we can just look at that one. Landing, hurricane winds and energy storms, so agility and sensors are the jam. Okay. They're advised. Now, one energy for the next one if we want. Hmm. I can spend somebody. Uh, I have two shield people. Okay. Uh, I'll spend her. Okay. Oh, she's level two. Oh. What am I supposed to? Oh, I have two. I have a security keeps going, so they've like got levels all over the place. So yes, just get it rid of her. I don't even care. Okay. Don't even care. She's done good work. But do I get extra levels out of her or no? Maybe this is dumb to spend a level two here, right? I don't know. But then my level one, it could be we could need the sciency symbol. I know. We have no idea what we need. Ah. Uh, this game is not fun anymore. We have to make tough decisions. Not fun. No, I'm just joking. That's the best part. I don't know. I mean, it's fine. The only one I think that it matters is like training new crew is when it matters, but I don't think I don't remember what that. that like levels them up or something. Mm, but we need like level three, I think, to do that or something. Yeah, so I, th I don't even think it matters right now. <laughs> uh, decisions in a board game. How dare they? Uh, <laughs> what do you got over here? Uh, this one I... I can't see all your symbols. Oh, sorry. Okay, so what I'm going to do, yes. I do have one no, of... it's fine. I'm going to throw it away at level two. I know that's going against every efficiency I should probably think of. But I already have another shield, and she only does it for the green. And this guy's red, so reds reds are my security people. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're paying this. Yep. Well, the next one only costs one. Okay. So checks are alien and weightlifting. Uh... And the biomes, again, I don't, you know, whatever. Okay. So alien. I don't have alien, but I do have alien dice, which is good. I don't have strength over here. They must be sleeping. I don't have strength either. You must have but died. I have it on a die. I have it on a die as well. Okay. So I will put in... I will put in maybe this I guy. I can't put in my weenie guy. Yeah? Unless we see that that science stuff have, is on the next part. I have this. Oh, I have, I I have it that. as well. Sure, He's whatever. level two for me, so I'm trying to save him. Who cares? Okay. Let's see it all. Global conditions. Unpredictable weather. Prepare for an extended stay on the surface. Prepare for A rolls. I hate A rolls. <laughs> Anyone who's an A roll to people, just stop, man. Stop just being an A roll. Get out of here. Yeah, stop being an A roll. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Rob, you have one with the Xenology alien symbol from engineering. Oh, that I know. I know Elizabeth. We've bonded. That's why she's a, a level two. Elizabeth knows what's going on. Yeah. All right. So we go like this. And I put them in here so, so I don't here. accidentally spend. Uh, and then this one. Okay, then we're going to go to here. I mean, if we're rolling danger dice, ignoring the results of a danger die based on what it just told us seems to be a thing. Yeah, okay. Adrian, get in there. All right. 
So here's my spare peeps I can spend. I'm not even things. sure who yet, so... No, I'm in. Locked in. I don't want to accidentally spend them and get all excited and forget. So I'm locking them in-ish for now. All right, what are we doing? But again, we could go to the barracks, but I don't think we do this time. Now that we have more fun stuff to do, we can only go to three places. I think we need to go to Situ the situation Situation. Room. We maybe so, don't need to do the planet visiting thing because it maybe it's better to go there and we have like a bunch of planets in the waiting envelope and we can all load them all in. You're like, right. Like in the add-on facility. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Surprising they give us a sticker for this or something. Hey, I this, think this gotta bounce. You may have gotten me interested in this game though. Oh, because I'm so sorry. <laughs> we haven't even actually started playing. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> That's I need awesome. one more on my shelf waiting to be played. Yes. <laughs> yes. Board game Add problems. Add your collection. Yes. You have like a space on your Kalax. It's just like some, you can see the wall behind it. And you're like, I got to put something in there. That's, oh, those problems. I understand. You lose sleep at night about those problems. Oh, I was. Cool, Chris. <laughs> Bob is saying barracks for a situation next production or research. But what about if we ignore barracks and do situation production and research? That's kind of what I was thinking. Well, we still need more people, right? Because then we're still recovering so from the like. So then we should like, go there first, so that we have the more mass knowledge. loss, maybe. I don't know. And now we can assign people to embassy planets and stuff. So we're gonna like permanently lose people. Bodies, Bodies are, are good. good. Okay. <laughs> so then we'll go to the barracks first. I spent one. We go to the barracks first. Yes, I'm down. Okay, so, uh, barracks. Yeah, Edgar's saying, yes, more bodies. 16. George is saying, I do barracks first, then situation production. I'm down. Guys, this playthrough, I'm down with you guys driving it with some, like, let's just see if we can, like, build ourselves up and then, uh, see what happens with the four squad. Uh, eight, five random. One, two. Don't we get, like, extra five, because of morale or something? Or it's only when it's on? I don't know yet. I didn't get that far. If your current morale is high, take six cards instead. If it's low or very low, take four instead. Or no, medium. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so five. And if there's... Security chooses. Sure. <laughs> then in an order chosen by the security sector. Okay. Nice. Things are backwards. So this guy's got the, uh, I don't know, like anime Japanese fighting game from the 90s hair going on or something. Uh, that's what I see there. Oh, I can't even take a level one purple. Oh, that sucks. So, we have an alien here. Nobody that has the strength one I wanted. Also, yeah, let's check card sleeves. We should check. I only available. have one pink that I can take. I can't take yeah. a purple. Oh, I can take. How many are we allowed to take? One each. One each section? Yeah. Okay. I have two I can put in security. And two in engineering. So what happened there? Why well, we don't have two spare? Because my purples haven't died and my others have. Oh, death. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything here you want? Uh... I can only take it for a pink, so something with a green dye would be preferable. Uh, so one of these two? Yeah. Uh, so much harder to gain a discovery from a deck with any... Yeah, I'll just take the blue for here. Yeah, I'm not even looking at abilities. Don't okay, even... I'm going to take this one. It's like I find the abilities that are like situational and like they don't always happen, but this is like really important. So these ones we're not taking. Uh, one sec, where's oh, my sorry. security? Oh, sorry. You're going to drop there. Um... Let's take a wrench. Okay. Okay, so these ones were not. Take it and go. Take it away. Okay. And then choose our next one. So then we're going to... I think we go to production next. Uh, right? Was go with it? what? Go with what the chat's saying. Eric's... Like oh, Bob situation. Edgar, oh, situation, so. situation. We need to go situation. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, so throw some people away for that. One we get to do for free on page 17. I'm just going to open this to the right page so that we do. Um, apply the one resolved effect of one situation card. And okay. then we have to assign crew for the other ones. So I can, so just look at I the can symbols. assign, I can assign a, a TV or a computer. A TV. A monitor? <laughs> a monitor. So we don't need to do this one for free. A terminal station. 
Oh, I have two I could actually send. Okay. Um, I now have an alien I can send. This one is probably the hardest because it takes two. This, right? So okay, if we... so boom. There's your two. Well, let's do this one for free. Because oh, it takes two things. I These are just it. one yep, or the yep, other. Yep. So this is the one we'll do for free. So when... A and then alien does this one. And then done. monitor does this one. Done. Okay, so this one, uh, shuffle this card into possible situations. Look at us putting out the fires. Okay. Playing play our little that. pandemic co-op aspect of the game here. This one. Putting out the fires. Uh, when resolved, you may assign one crew member to raise morale. Shuffle this card into possible situations. You want a crew member to raise morale? Sure. Right here. here here's a crew member. This guy. Like, if anyone's going to raise morale, it's this guy. He is, yes. Okay. Mm. Maybe. Yes. I mean, what did it say? Definitely this guy. Possible, yeah. He doesn't look sketchy at all. Definitely this guy. He's yeah. a party dude, you can tell. I'll raise it in one sec. We'll just do this one first. Uh, if morale is high or media, medium or high, it will be. Take one crew member from the resting crew into the corresponding sector's player hand. Otherwise, okay, so what happens if it doesn't tell me then? So this doesn't tell me where this goes. So morale's high. Take uh, one crew member. Otherwise, shuffle. So w when they're done, so this is they, just done, they leave right? the game probably. So it's out of the game. I would assume. This one, okay, so we get one of these back. Or no, they probably go to the situation. No, they can't go they can't to the... go to future situation because they're already yeah, done. No. I'm going to just raise morale. And it doesn't go to possible. Yeah, I'm not sure where it goes. We're going high. When it's solved, it gets shuffled back into possible. But they always, they say that. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, one sec. One sec. We'll Let me just do one thing at a time here. It only said otherwise. Yeah, it said, like, if I... Oh, it's a typo? Oh, is it? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, where did I put that? Right here. What's it called? Uh, unfinished business. If morale is medium or high, take one crew member from the resting crew into the corresponding sector player's hand. Otherwise, shuffle the card. So it should just say, then shuffle this in? Because the other ones all say that. Oh, the other ones is a typo. We'll okay. just go with it. I trust George. Okay. I trust George immensely. Okay, so all three of those we'll are gone go back. It. We'll go with it. Now we can pick one more thing. So we can pick production or research, I guess. I think if I remember correctly from the last one, if we if we select production, we will get the Pelican. I don't know what research I, will give us. I'm looking in the FAQ and I don't see it, but... Again, my FAQ is from September 2022, version 1.0, so maybe there's a newer one. Yeah, this is all I have. Or box known issues. Chip book, situation rooms 1 and 2. Log book 799, log 800, and cards, food shortage. There might be a newer FAQ, maybe. Because this is just 1.0. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. I shoveled it back in. No worries. No worries. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. All right, let's keep so rolling. we still have one more. So do we want to go to research or production? Pro uh, Whatever they said. Um, I think it was production, right? That Bob said. And George said, I think they said the same, which I was like, that's a good sign. Uh, no. Oh, right there. Barracks. Production. Versus... Okay, production. Yeah. Let's production. do it. Production. Yeah, I think we get. Okay, so these are the ones that we're going. Production is 12. Uh, it's down the hall to the left, second door. <laughs> All right, awesome. Uh, gain new production projects, which is this one. So I guess we can, did I put that? Okay. Which is take all production project cards out of the waiting envelope and insert each into an empty ready for production slot on page 13. If there's not That's enough. where I have trouble. Oh, I just am now pulling the whole page yeah, out. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. Can't do it. If there's not enough slots, return any remaining production products to the envelope, which we have enough. Then we're going to install production upgrades. Take all production upgrade cards from the awaiting. Do I have any? I do not. We don't need to worry about that. Regress current projects, which is on the other side. Uh, move all production projects in the production queue slots on page 14, one slot to the right whenever a project moves right from stage three slot so get the pelican lander yes grants 
Lander. So I have to find the, oh, you have the Lander card, right I here. think. Right here. Compared to the Space Ranger, Pelican can deliver more supplies and equipment to the planet. Unfortunately, it's also fragile oh, and less maneuverable. Move the following card to the waiting envelope. Pelican Lander. Which I think is in the big ones. And then B07, Lander facil Facilities from Production Projects. Production Projects. Pelican Lander. Look at the load on that. Uh, oh, look how long it takes to, to land. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. I don't like this one. No, no, no. Nine supplies is good. Two I utility mods is good. I see what they're doing. This but I cool. don't want to roll the dice that many times. Discovery is maximum of seven. This is when you're, like, going and farming. But if, if you have enough defense and sensors and you're, like, attachments, because uh, you can put on two utility mods and a structural mod, mm -hmm. you might be able to just do the whole thing where it asks. Do you have seven sensors? And you say yes, and it goes, okay, you landed for free. Who knows, like, what happens, right? That's okay. interesting. And then, sorry, where did that say to put C It's a converted freighter and handles like one. <laughs> the following. C07 oh, lander facilities. These are in the already. From I got production it. project. I got it right here. So, lander facilities. Grants a lander mod. So, those are going in here, it says. And what happens to this? Just remove from the game or something? Yeah, I've just been putting them back here because we can't get them again. Why not? We might destroy it and have to get another one. Okay, and then we can... This one shops the right? All of them, yep. Okay. Move all production projects to the done. right. Okay, it's, then... It's 90% done for anyone keeping track. any number of projects on page 13 and place them in their listed slot on the available production tool oh, on page 14. Game. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so... If the listed slot is occupied, you may place the project in an empty slot to the left. And we don't have the bottom part, right? We don't have this upgrade for the no. second queue. No. So we do have one that's uh, stage three, which is ceramic plating. Grants a lander, a, la a lander mod, and it's got some boost to it. But again, we're blocked on three. So, so would... we would have to put in two or one. So hold on. We got biome suits, which grant equipment production project. We got uh, dual production lines. That's what we need. Yeah, dual production lines I think we need. Read second card. Yeah, oh, yeah. there you go. Done, yeah. Done, just done, done. And what, Don't what? even care what the rest say. Going in right there. It's Who cares? Stage two? Uh, oh, that means it's only stage one if it has nothing on it? Yeah, probably, right? Okay, whatever. Whatever. Can we not We do have a stage two biome suits or stage three where we can put them in. Uh, this one says requires tech level four. Oh, we have tech level four. E expert section tools. Expert section tools, which is equipment. Do we need? Oh, more sorry, equipment? something's wrong. Oh, something's wrong. That shouldn't be there. It's an upgrade. Whatever you just put there. It automatically becomes active. Oh, it's an upgrade. I see. I see. I see. It's got a different title, and there's slots on this side, so it just goes in. Okay. Here. That's what you're saying. I get it. Okay, hold on. I'll get it in there. All right. So this just goes here. That's why it looked weird, right? It didn't have a starting. Like all these have starting. But, uh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I think we take the tech because we have, now we have double production lines active. Yeah, yeah, so here's what we do. We Let's throw this in number one. Okay, this that starts on two. I'm going to put uh, here, why not? Mm -hmm. And then this one that's on three. Oh my gosh, look at this. Man, we're running a well-oiled factory here. Wow. If I can get the card out. All that training with baseball, hockey cards as a kid, and you know, all those Pokemons that my <laughs> daughter got. Here, isn't it? I can't even manage this properly. <laughs> I can't get my big fat fingers in these little page holes. Again, I was a younger kid when I did this stuff, right? So. Okay, show it. Let's see that we're right here. All right. Biome Production suit. has begun. Starting stage. It says one under there, I swear. Yeah, there it is. And this okay. one had two on it. I swear, I swear it has two. I'm not showing you, but it did. Okay. And then three. Okay. And then this one's on three. Ceramic Now we can boost three. it. Yes. Now we can boost it if we want. Uh, so can we boost this one? We can. I think I have. I have this. So we can get he heavy mission yes. equipment. The Ed Edward Lasso oh. knows. He's saying, is this Isla Nublar again with all the organizing? Yes. Yes. This, yes. Is, this is worse. Yep. This is just like Jurassic Park, the legacy game, 100%. Sorry, all this stuff. we also didn't finish the other thing that we get one of these guys back from that situation. You, okay, do whatever. Grab but I don't know who want. we want. Someone with the symbol we're looking for. Strength? Do, we have do a, you need a blue three? Do we have a strong arm? I mean arm? a blue two. You already have a blue two, right? Do we have someone with the strong arm, Mel? Someone with the strong arm, no. Oh, okay then. Sorry. 
answered my question. Sorry. Don't but I'm care. Just asking take, if you want a blue too because I don't know. I don't I don't know what we need. Just take whatever. I'm not going to stress about it. Uh, just grab whoever. It's too much choice. I know. Pick someone based on art or ability or something. Right, Maybe bring a level one. You want to level up. I, I don't know. Okay. Or, or level two that we can throw to some other thing. Okay. I like variety in the symbols because it, it seems to help with boosting and like this. Like it helps us with all these choices and stuff. Right? Yeah, which now we can boost. So let's flip that. Okay. So we can boost these, both, both of these. Do we care? Well, then we get them now. Okay. I, I don't know. Sure. Can't take all these people. Take who you want. I can boost with this guy, this one. Can we boost as many as we want? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. Boost. You may assign available crew members to work in assembly. Choose a production line, or sorry, a production project on page 14 and assign available crew members whose convert icons match the printed icon on the card. Then move the card one slot to the right. The slot must be empty. Whenever a project moves right on from stage three slot, take the card, flip it, resolve its text, and remove it from the game. Oh, you may repeat this step uh, any number of times. Okay, sweet. So that one will do. So yeah. now... Heavy mission equipment. Whoa. Whoa. E06 through 11. Move the following card from production projects to the awaiting envelope. We also need C10, planet side outpost. Okay, hold on, sorry. We need these from the available equipment. B six, seven, nine, ten. Oh, 11. except eight. There's no eight. There's no eight. No, nope, <laughs> I don't have eight. Edgar, come on. I was trying to get extra equipment. Okay, then move C ten from Planet Outpost. Where's that? Planet side outpost. What's that though? What's a C card? I don't know. Production? It's like, maybe it is. C oh, yeah, C10? from production projects. Yes, C10 from production projects. Okay. Oh, that's going to go in our waiting, anyways. We don't need C10. Clean inside and pose. Okay. Okay, here you go. A waiting envelope that These are going to the waiting. These are going to the armory. Available equipment. Okay. Okay, then let's do. Hugo Lens says, think this is cool equipment. Wait till you see what they do. Uh, portable lab, dehydrated supplies, mining probe, zip line, and live streaming rig. Oh, I oh, know what the live that. streaming rig does. <laughs> I have one of those. I'm using it right now. I can spend this girl because it's a shield or DNA. Oh, yeah. so I have a I shield. Can... Okay. Do you want to do it again? Sure. Or... Bam. Or did you want to do this one? Whatever. Now I'll just take whatever. Ceramic plating. I want to do but ceramic. Then we need a strength which we don't have, so you oh, can do okay. this one. Oh, okay. So then we'll do that one twice. Bam. You do it twice like that, or are you only allowed once per visit? No, it said you can do it as many times as you want. You just move it. Oh, okay. As many times as All right. I was so sure. Now we get this one. I'll, I'm down to play it your way. Okay. <laughs> Here, this one's done. I think that one's done. Because you got all the cards, right? Yep. Biome suits. Equipment. This new generation of armored suits will make your away team capable of superhuman feats. Move the following cards from unavailable equipment to armory four times. E19. Four times E20, four times E21. Then okay. move the following card from production projects to the awaiting envelope C13, advanced biome suits. Okay. Matthew says I made a sandwich and I missed the planet. Matthew, <laughs> listen, this is ISS Vanguard. We might get to the planet in four hours. Like, relax, okay? <laughs> You're you good. You could go to your grocery shopping. Uh, you know, you Cook could... Thanksgiving dinner. You could play your own game of ISS Vanguard and then come back and we'll still be here doing this stuff. Don't worry. <laughs> That's gone. Don't worry. You could go visit the planet in your game too, probably, and come back and we'll still not be on the planet. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so now if we have a wrench and a pickaxe, which I technically do, we can move that one. I don't have a defense in a... We can move this one one. Wrench? You need a wrench? Do we have a second pickaxe? I no. got no pickaxe for you. I got double wrench. You got double wrench? Okay, I'll take your wrench. Whichever one you want. Yeah, don't care. Okay, and then we'll just move this one one. Alrighty. That's all we got. We're done there. So now what does it say? When we're done, where do we go? <laughs> Auntie's going to go for a walk. Okay. 
I think we're getting close. Uh, oops, wrong one. Uh, page six. Oh, go to the hangar. Bob says, now that you have 18. the biome suits, this finally makes sense. I've been waiting for this. Like, why do they keep telling us about biome symbols on these scanner cards, right? What now the... now they matter. Oh, because it's probably in the equipment that... Because we could probably, ups. like, block them or stop time from moving, maybe, oh. or bad things from happening or something. Okay, installer lander. I gotta take this thing out, I think. Take all lander cards out of the awaiting envelope and insert them. So if you want to put that into lander the queue... Uh, so, okay. Install lander mods. Take all lander mod cards out of the awaiting. So lander mods are these. I think that's all I have. Yep. Lander mods. This is... Doesn't matter, I guess. Yep. I'll keep the structural on the first row and utility on the okay. second. Repair landers. We don't have to worry. Choose a lander. After reviewing the information on the revealed sector on the lander card in the planetary scanner, decide which lander to use for your next planetary exploration by choosing a face-up lander on page 19. I think we still, do we still take the space one? I like, think so. I don't want to take the other one. I don't think it's that great. Yeah, because either one doesn't give us more structural mods, which we would need to like increase our like survival stats. Um, I know you guys can't really see, but we have plus two sensors, we have plus two agility, we have plus one defense, plus two sensors, plus one agility. Or plus two defense. And they want sensors and agility. So we kind of want to do that. Yeah, which is what we've taken. Okay, multi-spectral okay, so, scanner. So we're going to take just a space ranger. Our but basic. we could take two utilities if we took the other one. Um, the one utility we have is warning system. Crew members may spend any color die to re-roll one danger die once per roll. Or emergency broadcast system. Crew may discard one charge each to move this mod to the waiting envelope and gain two supplies. Yeah, we want Yeah, that's supplies. what we usually take. Well, we took once, but yes. Okay, so we'll take that and that. Sure. Uh, go to page 23. Mission launch procedure. Record your current planet board. What? In the planetopedia, it is not open. Go to step three. Oh, yeah. What? This is just setting up. I can move it and... Prepare the away team, load the lander, oh, all this stuff. Oh, yeah, man. but hold on, hold on. I can, uh, if we move this, and then I just take that page out usually. Okay. I don't know what page we're on. But the Planetopedia is not open. So no. we're going to step three. Prepare the away team. The information on the revealed part of the landing card in the planetary scanner may provide you with information about what awaits you on the planet. Use this information to assemble the right away team for the mission. Each player selects one of their available crew members to take part in the away team. If playing solo, you must select at least two crew members. But if you have people watching on stream, they're probably going to tell you to select four crew members to play all four sections, or else the game is not as good. Um, if there are not enough available crew members to form the away team, each section may draw one random crew member from the recruits, place their card into the rank one sleeve, and add this crew member for, to their available crew members. Then check log 991 to mark the first unmarked box. No, we're not doing that. Otherwise, each section returns one chosen section die to the box. No, no, no. All right. Return any remaining crew members in players' hands to resting crew. Go to sleep. All right. And that's in card tray B if you're unsure. All right. Each player then takes crew board for each crew member in the away team under their control and places each crew member on the crew board. Each player fills their crew board with section dice from their section compartment following these rules. Section dice may only be placed in the matching colored slots. Slots depicted, uh, depicting a rank are only available to, if the crew member is of that rank or higher. If you have more section dice than available empty slots, choose which dice to use. Any remaining dice are placed back in the corresponding section compartment. Each section player creates a section deck of at least 10 cards from your section cards. Only cards that have the rank equal to or lower, uh, or lower than the crew member can be chosen. Each section deck is then shuffled and placed next to the corresponding crew board if you have the table space, because it is a lot. Uh, place the indicated number of markers in the changes slot of, or charges of the, the each crew board. Okay, let's do that. So here's your charges, oops, sorry, and your charges. Section rank. So this guy is level two, so now I can look at like level two cards. What do I got going on here? Yeah, okay, let's see. Level two. See, this is the other thing, managing the multiple sections. Now I gotta look through multiple card decks and try to remember what's going on. Ah, not a fan. 
Oh, there's a whole bunch I can't here. Look at level two here, so I'm good. Man. Serenity now, serenity now. So these you are could the just threes. take all of them. I know, but then you dilute it. Like, I, I only want, like, what... I mean, yeah, I guess I could take all, and who cares, but... Oh, I could take all the level twos, right? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I have a ten-card deck, and we're good, right? Yeah, and then I think what I did is, out of the ones that are optional, I took, like, one of each of them, unless I liked them. Those ones I take That's off. probably not... I mean, I don't know. Now this one I can look at level two. <laughs> yes, we're playing four sections. That's the whole point of today's playthrough is to experiment. We are trying all four sections on the planet just to see how it goes. Obviously, it will be a longer episode now that we're like managing four things, but you know, I'm going to be lost, I'm sure. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, these are good. Sure. I'm going to just do it. Poor Amir. What? Poor Amir? Why? 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 Amir poor? He took the place of his twin brother to escape captivity. Oh, he did? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, George. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a story on the back. Oh, oh, something happened to him in my game. Oh, oh I see, I see. <laughs> I see what you're saying. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so yeah, section deck, sure. All right, I'm going to try that theory. No level one cards. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if that's smart. I don't know. Okay. This looks like it's too big. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I don't want that one. And that one. Okay, got to shuffle them up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know I should probably be looking at all the level ones and like building them based on the dice I have and all that. I know I can get really crazy with it, but I don't really want to, so I'm not going to. I do appreciate that they have colored symbols on the back so that I don't mix them up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do a little shuffling every day. Mm -hmm. okay, whatever. All right. What are these? These are these. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Take all equipment cards in the armory, card tray B, and place them face up on the table. Each crew member in the way team may choose one small equipment card and place it next to their crew board. Okay, let me separate these out. Sorry. I gotta say, I don't like the first section because I can never get them out. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I should separate them out by just the small ones. The small ones, which are these, yeah, right? Yeah, no. These? Yes. The little, little capsules. Oh, one second. Uh, I'll be right back. We actually might have more items. BRB, BRB.
All right, we're back. We are back. Okay, so uh, Awaken Realms. Uh, I shared this on our Discord, actually. I'm sure they did this with other content creators. I didn't want to make a big deal about it. But they sent us, like, out of nowhere. I just got this, like, shipping notification right before Christmas that was, like, Realms Distribution is sending you a prod product. And I looked at the tracking, and it was coming from the same place that our other Awaken Realms stuff they sent us comes from. And I was like, what the hell is this? And then this box shows up and it had multiple boxes inside full of basically it's like they were clearing out leftover promo items. And there was some candies and other things in there. And I was like, okay, this is nice. And there's a little happy holidays card in there. And it's cool. Like we were working with them on and off over the years and they're nice. They reach out, you know, when you like this game, you want to try this game, whatever. They're, they're cool. Um, but I was like, man, is this like some kind of bribe or is this just clearing out their warehouse of the junk nobody wants? Uh, I don't know. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. Um, but ethically, it's like, uh, we don't really review the stuff, so it's fine. But um, in there, they get random promos from all different games that we don't own and we own and whatever. Um, but we got this equipment promo. Five. Add this card to the armory. So I, I don't know what this is, little pack. Um, but I was going to do a whole joke that like, uh, you know, we were being paid to play this game and or bribed, you know, and then uh, they, they, you know, I got my Awaken Realms mug to drink my coffee out of, you know, but I don't know. They just sent like little swag and stuff. But yeah, it was kind of them, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a little weird, but thank you, I guess. But of course, I want more stuff in my game, I guess. I mean, it's just promo stuff, but so this stuff is more small items we add in. I didn't look at what these are. I'm sure these just come with, like, most people got these in, like, their stretch goals or something. Um, a dog tag. If you gain a success during your turn, you may return this card to the armory to refresh all dice. If this makes it easier, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> a weird word generator? Word generator? Move any number of lead tokens from any discovery deck. Lead, sorry, lead. Tokens from any discovery decks to any other discovery decks and return this card to the armory. And that is spending a green die, obviously, that you can't see. Spend any die for this mobile warehouse. Oh, there's a great wall promo here. Oh, yeah. Trying to advertise their other game. Uh, discard one lead token from mineral discovery deck to progress any number of equipment time tracks by one, then return this card to the armory. Energy Spear. During a threat dice check, you may place this card in the roll pool of any crew member in your sector, including yourself. Add four or three, sorry, three vanguards to this roll. Wow. After the, yeah, okay, this is like That's cheating. a good one. What is this from? Is this also, um, uh, this is probably from one of their other games. Is this like from, um, Great Wall also? Is this from, um, one of those, uh, what's the one with the Greek mythology? Then they redid it again with a different mythology. I always forget those names. And picture the box. I picture the components on the board game table, seeing it at our board game store. Hellas? Lords oh, of Hellas? Hellas? Lords of Hellas. Is that where this is from? Lords of Hellas? Oh, weird one is Tainted Grail. Oh, is oh, it? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I guess that's the... Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's cool. All right. And what's the other one? Flickering Booster? Move any uh, move to another connected sector, ignoring path icons, and return this to the armory by spending a die. Okay, so we're adding these in. Lords of Hell, but there was a new one, like Lords of Ragnarok or something, right? Was there like the reskin or redone version of it or whatever? So how many of these we can take? Uh... The weird generator was referring to you, Rob. Says Matthew. <laughs> thank you for the super chat, Matthew. Matthew. Thank you. But yeah, I just remember when Mel pulled those equipment cards. I was like, oh, I forgot to get, put the promos in. We can take uh, one of these each, right? So, 
I think Awaken Realm sent them because they saw us playing and they were like, these guys are struggling with the game. Let's send them these promos, but let's hide it with a bunch of other promo stuff. So they don't think we're telling them they suck at the game. And they'll think it's just part of a bunch of random promos. And uh, yeah, so that was their kind way of being like, get, get better, scrub. Matthew, get thank good, you. scrub. Matthew, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, those are the two I'm taking. I don't know which ones you want. Whoa, look at all these options. I know. No, too many options. I know. Okay, where's the broken ones? Yes, this one's broken. Security is taking the energy spear all yeah, day, every so day. Yeah, that's so good. Mobile warehouse sounds fun. Portable probe. Oh, yeah, where's my streaming gear? Is that a different Oh, thing? that's not here yet. Oh, Hold okay. on. Hold on. Now, I knew we're in space, so probing is going to be a thing. Oh, live streaming rig is mine, actually. It's a pink card. About time. People have been asking you to stream by yourself for a while. Oh, is that you so. on there? Live stream rig. Look at this guy. Whoops. If only he was wearing a blue shirt. Other crew members may assist you from other sectors. So it's like doing a, it's doing a Zoom call there. Uh, I'm dealing with a uh, skill check. Uh, can you roll a die? They're like playing the board game over Zoom, basically, is what's happening. <laughs> can you roll your die and tell me what you get? Sorry, but that's not for yet. Portable probe. During a dice check, you may place this card in the roll pool for any crew member in your sector, including yourself, to add a pickaxe, a shield, or any red die. Okay, I like those ones that just help you with skill checks and stuff. Same. You're getting that on your board? Uh, do I take that one? I don't know. Whatever one you want. I like that one. Yes. We're taking the portable probe. Yeah, I like these options. Dog tag is cool, though. Dog tag is where it's at, though. Really, that's where it's at. That's good because it also doesn't go away. Yeah, so it, does. it says return this card to the army to refresh all of your dice. Oh, never mind. You can take it like every time, but... Never mind. Yeah, it's all about the promo stuff. This is not a promo. Promos are broken. Take promos. Oh, okay. Give me the promos then. This one. Traveling by just getting rid of a die, you can ignore all the crap in between. I know, I was just trying to make symbols in case I needed them, but... How dare you playing trying to win? <laughs> I'm playing trying to break the game. And then the generator. Okay. But what does that one do? Maybe it's not as good. Move any number of lead tokens. No, screw yeah. lead tokens. This one, this one gives me. me uh, this gives me some symbols or green die. So do you think, think you'll get a success token on your turn? Because you can pop this to refresh all your dice. I Although, mean, how, how do you time that, right? Yeah, I have no idea. I'm just gonna take this one. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, screw that. it. All right. No okay, dog tag so this then... time. All right, now we can take... Yeah, where's... Uh, yeah, that's different type of... That's your pile. We Those were, are just the... We were just looking at small equipment. There's also, like, mission equipment. And, and then there's vehicle. No, or, that um, is the vehicle. I well, there's, the there's these symbols, like the vehicle symbols. Yeah, it's mission equipment. And then there's the small equipment, and then there's the helmet ones. Yeah, which I don't so, remember. Personal. I don't know. Personal equipment. Yeah, so now... personal is the helmet. The Metroid head, that's uh, Samus Aran's mask, uh, is personal. Okay, so now we can bring a personal each. Let me give you, these are your colors, and then these are generic. I'm just going to look at my colors. Whoa, look at this. Look at this choice. Well, some of them are the same. Like, look it's just, at this. No, no, some of them are the no, same. No, look at There's so many, Mel, so many. <laughs> no, these kidding. last few are the same, just one for each of us. We're nowhere in the game, and we have already this much choice. This is insane. This is a stasis suit. Let's, what, what let's, let's look. Yeah, because I might want that. Oh, now we need to look at the biomes. You may only carry one suit. Roll one injury die less in those sectors. So what, what biomes are we in? Uh, Not those ones? Sponge and, and fan. Not, Not those, those ones. That one looks like it's very earthy. Okay. Okay, here's the one with the sponge. Mobile suit Gundam MK1. May only carry one suit when traveling from sectors with sponge is what is there. Add one die to your travel action dice or ignore one spend die on the icon path. Nope, I'm not taking that. Okay. That's it. No more. Oh, there's another suit. No. Yeah, protective suit. Oh, uh, there's the fan on this one. Uh, whenever you roll a danger die in sectors with 
this, this, and that, you may care. You may spend two dice to ignore that rule's effects. I don't know. Maybe that one. Not taking those. I don't think I want any of How many are we allowed to take? Four, one each. Well, I guess they don't have to be yeah, one each. Yeah, they don't have to be one each. But... And there was like adrenaline shots, roll of skin C on the danger. But I can ignore the result of one danger die by spending a charge. Yoink. I did poo poo the suits, you're right. Yeah, how we'll dare see, you we'll poo poo see, the suits? We'll see what happens. I might change my mind after I think about it. I like this stuff, construction arm. Just having that ability that we normally try to pick crew for. But that's neat. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that there's things that let you do that. Okay. Uh, stimulants. No. Okay, I'll take a suit for one for fun. I don't know. Okay, this one I'm taking this one. I might take this, but I'll just want to quickly glance through the generics. What suit are you taking? The protective suit? I don't know, like... Because it has one of the symbols of there, and you can just spend two dice to ignore the rules effect. So, like, I don't know what the rules effects could be. Mm -hmm. The mobility suit? Yeah, or the mobility suit. When traveling from sectors with that, from... Add a die to your travel action dice. I mean, Check. I guess the ignore, but... Or ignore the spend symbol on it. Yeah, that's huge, right? Yeah, I'm going with the mobility suit. Okay, I'll see it in action, and then I'll unpoo poo it. Oops, sorry. Can I look at those quickly? Yeah, maybe I'd do that, too, with the adrenaline shot. I don't know. But I like the refreshing of all dice, I think, is good, without wasting supplies. No, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Too many choices. <sighs> and then also, how many times am I traveling from those sectors? Maybe I put it on this guy and he never even leaves one of those. Add one die as a virtual die for those movements that make you roll a die. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I get it. Yeah, you're basically like ignoring the cost. One time, right? Or is it every time? It doesn't go away, right? No, it's all the time, but only okay. for those sector types. So, I mean, we might get lucky and see some of the other ones, but... Okay, I'll try. I'll, I'll unpoo-poo it. I'll take a mobility suit for pink. This one is going to take this because this was so clutch in a previous... I don't know if it'll even work, but whenever you make a dice check in a fully explored sector, you may roll one from your spent pool. This was really helpful in previous games. The biomes were reported... According to Bob Bell, we're rocky and void, but I only see sponge and fan, so <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's what I see. Okay, these are done. <laughs> it will be sponge and fan. <laughs> the live streaming rig is awesome. It is awesome, but... Super awesome. So you can uh, be like, I'm doing this check, help me, and nobody needs to run over there. Now we can bring two... <laughs> Cookie and fan? Yeah, okay. Oh, cookie. It could be a cookie. I, I see sponge as well. Yeah, it could be a cookie. Could be a cookie. Could be some Swiss cheese chunk. I don't know. It looks like a sponge. Yeah, I just unpoo-pooed the mobility suit. You're right. Now we can bring... I see chocolate chip cookies, says Michael. <laughs> Michael, we know you have a problem. <laughs> we now know. We can bring two of these. This one was yours. I don't know num, 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 num. if you want chocolate it. Chip cookies. Zip line. Mining probe. So spend a red or a blue place mining probe token in your sector. This counts as an action. When the timer runs out, gain two mineral leads and reset this track. Oh, that's neat, actually. Oh, I'm maybe interested in. How the... many are we allowed to take for this? Two. Two total. Two total. How many we got to choose from? Four. Oh, give them to me. Let's go. Oh, okay. Let's let's. Start. I want to hear you guys will tell us. Okay. Okay. Mining probe. Okay. One of the four options. It's mining probe token. Okay. Dehydrated supplies. 
Spend a green or a blue. Gain two supplies and return this card to the armory. I mean, that sounds good. Seems kind of like what we need. Uh, because we're slow and we can do more things on the planet, get more done. The zip line. Spend a die. If you're in a lander sector, place a zip line token in your sector. This counts as an action. Moving to and from the lander sector with the zip line token is free. This counts as an action. That's cool, but what's the zip line token? Do we literally have tokens for that or it just connects it to somewhere else, probably. Oh. That's cool. Somewhere in here. Or here or here. Probably okay. in this one. Probably in this one, I'm gonna guess. Oh. Matthew says I think Rob needs to unplug and plug back in. Oh. I don't am do I? Or are you joking, Matthew? I don't know. Maybe he's joking. Probably because of the voices I'm making. Oh, maybe. I don't know. One sec. I have now been replugged. <laughs> Matthew's probably trolling, and I... Oh, but maybe there's, like, static on the line or something. Because we did unplug to go run and get the cards, and maybe I didn't plug back in properly. No, we literally have a token. Okay, we'll figure that out if we need it. I'm liking the supplies one. Medevac drone. Spend a red and a blue. If you're in a lander sector, place medevac drone in your sector. This counts as an action. Whenever a crew member receives a fourth injury, you may ignore the injury and immediately place them in the lander sector instead of performing an evac procedure. Return this card to the armory and discard its token. I mean, this could be a possibility. <laughs> but we're on an easier planet, so That's true. I wouldn't think okay. to go this far. We, we are smart we'll enough take to know later. To That's true. Oh, Matthew, no need to be sorry. I misunderstood. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand. <laughs> I didn't even realize he's making voices I understood sometimes. Matthew's humor. <laughs> I don't hear I the voices. I understood Matthew's humor. I'd like to take the supplies one. And maybe the zip line? That might be cool. I like Just the idea of supplies. Yeah. Also, mining for goodies would okay, be fun. Okay, we can do the mine. Yeah, I'll take the supplies. You choose the other. Mining probe. Zip yeah. line is great. Yeah, yeah. I, I like these two for this one. What we're doing right now, but the zip line sounds fun. Yeah, it just makes it cool to get back as well because it's free. Uh, zip line could be good, says Minion. Uh, makes it easier to explore out since you don't need to worry about getting back. Yeah, exactly. Getting back, it it's helpful. So hold on, how does this work? So I can spend a die if you're in the a lander sector, place a zip line token in your sector. This counts as an action. I don't get it. You're putting a token on it, and now when you move to and from it. Where are you putting the token? If I'm in the lander sector, I'm putting a... In your line. sector. So where's your sector if you're in the lander sector doing this action? Colon. It goes in the lander sector. Okay. So fine. when you're moving back to the lander sector, you're like using a zip line. Moving to and from the lander sector with the zip line token is free. This counts as an action. So you're just bypassing whatever the travel cost is. So you're zip zipping back. Zipping from where, though? Anywhere on anywhere, the whole planet? No, I, oh. Yeah, where? Like, I, I don't know. Okay, hold on. Let's see what we got here. They place it at the start, and it becomes free to get back. Yeah. From that point on, travel is free, but counts as an action. We put it on the lander sector. To and from the lander So anywhere on the map, I can so zip only, back? No, no, only from con connected sectors, right? I wish That's it was a little more think. clear. I feel like just when you're on your way back, you need one more space to go to get back. This just helps you get back without getting in trouble. It doesn't help you get from all the way across the map to zip line all the way back. I think it's just skipping like what's Once, connected. Yeah. yeah. Zip line just saves. But I would assume it, yeah, it like, does not let you teleport back to the lander. You put the token in the lander space to remind you that you get to move to and from the lander sector for free connected sectors. And Minion says, yeah. oh, I assumed it was teleport from anywhere. Yeah, because see the way it just says moving to and from the lander sector. So obviously it's just to and from connected places. But it says yeah. with the zipline token. Because you're putting the token in the space. There could, so there could be multiple spaces connected. Multiple landing sectors, I think, is why it's, it's, it's specifying that. Because there could be multiple lander sectors on the board. We've seen that before. Yeah, we've seen that before. So it's just saying you slap it in the one you want it to be in, and that one you can get back and forth from any connecting sector to that one. You can travel on the zipline. That's fine. I got it. 
Do we take that? I don't know. It doesn't seem that great. But I understand, like, it could get us out easier. Or it could get us from there, too, right at the beginning. Yeah. We can avoid some trash. Yeah. Depending on what's there, yeah. I feel like there's a pole involved here. But we're definitely taking the supplies one. I mean, we don't have to if people no, think other ones are better, no, but I, I do are like... taking the supplies one. I do okay? like the supplies. So Just with either zipline or mining probe, I think. I'm going to ask in the chat, you guys decide, zipline or mining probe? It's in the live chat there. Okay, there they are. We just talked about zipline. Mining probe is we, we spend a blue or a red, place it in your sector, counts as an action. And then I think it just sits there. And when time tracks increase, which we know is a thing, it will gain us two minerals and we reset it. So if we're there and we survive long enough for six, which is why I want to take the supplies, so we can just last longer on the planet. I see. And then it'll gain us. Oh, it's just leads, though. It's not cards off the stupid deck, right? Right. Oh, I know that bothers you. Yeah. Uh, leads are just tokens that don't do anything. It, I hate that mechanic in this game. I really do. I understand there needs to be a way to not get cards. But like, I wish it was just you dig and you gain it. So would you wish that some cards maybe were blank? Yes. And Instead? you draw from the deck, and this says, you found a piece. You have to collect a set of these cards, and it becomes one thing, yeah. one rare thing. Trade right. it for this card. I don't like this little convoluted pull from the bag. Half the tokens don't do anything. Maybe if that bag evolves, that would be neat. I don't know. There's just something with that part of the game, because I feel like every time we just pull crappy tokens, like maybe it's Arkham Horror LCG ruined it for me, but pulling those tokens from the bag and we feel like we barely get anything for it feels like a big waste of time. It's not as fun. Edgar says just take out the zeros. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd rather just, if that mechanic was simplified where it's just draw a card off the deck. Okay, we gained it. Draw a card off the deck. Like Yeah, maybe they were harder but to I get. I understand but... thematically traveling through space. We're on planets. We have no idea. Our tools maybe suck. We Whatever. We might not find stuff. I like the thematic idea of that whole idea of making it harder to find things, and when you do, it feels so good. Yeah. But it's just like, you only have so many actions on a planet, I'm not going to waste them pulling tokens that do nothing from a bag. So I, I kind of, that part of it just makes me not care for that part of the game. But, uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. I just, just give me the name discoveries. Because already, they already have a rarity system in them. Yeah. So why make it even harder to get them and then I just get junk like, you know, but then that's part of the fun of like going and mining again and leveling up and grinding. Some people say you don't need to grind, but I like that makes that system makes me feel like I need to grind it to get the discoveries needed to do whatever the hell in this binder we need to upgrade with those things. Get Without that mechanic, ship. you could very easily get all the discoveries you could unless they made some that were blank. Yeah, I know, I know they need it that way, but you can rework that whole mechanic and put some dead cards in the deck mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. set collection and stuff. Yeah. Um, but it, it's neat. It's just least interesting to me. I just don't care for it. And I don't know, if, like, obviously I'm probably the minority, but... All right, I'm going to end the poll. Just being honest, just being honest. Okay, uh, zip line is 60%. We're taking zip line. Okay. Done. So not that one. Yep. Once I read leads one. on there, I don't even want that anymore. <laughs> you talk don't even care. Talk yourself out. Okay, so we're but taking I like those. the way it's I like the way it's working on its own and doing it, so I don't have to care about it. You know? Yeah, that's true. I don't have to go somewhere and try to pass tests to try to pull tokens that do nothing and feel like I wasted my turn and my dice and my supplies and I'm bringing nothing to the table. Okay. Uh, right. I think we're done all of that, right? And then we just fly. Uh, the part I hate the most is the flying. Okay, place a marker on the appropriate space of the supplies track, which we're just going to use dice, right? Oh, yeah, I got dice. Okay, let's put a six there for now. Yeah, because then we Yeah, we're going to, we're going to probably, oh, we can probably fit it still. We probably can fit it, but Yeah, we'll we can see. probably still fit it. Yes, because we'll zoom out. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we are zoomed out. Okay, you get it. All right. Uh, okay. Number of supplies and lander equipment limit can be modified by lander mod cards on the lander. Okay, good to know. Strap in. Check the upper part of the landing card. It can, contains the number of the log with the briefing. 60. 60. Captain's log. 
Entry D-4-3-2. Despite many findings gathered on Palisade, our first exploration of the world marked by the Builders was hardly the success we'd hoped. The contact with extraterrestrial intelligence still eludes us, and I'm afraid this new world we're about to explore will change little in that regard. It's hard to imagine an environment more hostile to life. A giant cold planet with a thick, super-rotating atmosphere. The never-ending storm lashes the surface of basalt and glass and carries razor-sharp shards with velocities capable of shredding anything in their path. Yet a set of incredible structures extends past the planet's stratosphere, like claws reaching out from the storm. And each of these claws, made of an unidentified substance, is several kilometers long and wide enough to break apart the winds, creating small pockets we could potentially explore. And explore them we will. No one aboard Vanguard has the faintest idea how structures like that could occur naturally. Does your lander have at least four sensors and five agility? You no. bet it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Okay, uh, place our lander S-track business. Okay. Oh! Danger die, here we go. Part. Here we go. I hate this part. Two. Two. Gale Force six. Endure. Each crew member spends five dice, but reduced by agility. Wow. Our agility is three, so we have to spend two. Wow, we don't even know what we need. Well, I guess we're gonna go with. Hey, do right here. Aliens well, and strength. Don't don't get rid of those. Done. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh my god, I don't want to roll that ever again. Yeah, we're going to when we roll the stupid danger die eighteen times on our landing. Progress the landing track, move the marker one space, but not be on the last. Are you a landing no. successful? Of course not. Roll the danger die. Loopity loop loop. Oh, okay. Quick, quick, quick. Four. Four. Favorable current. Follow the current. If it th three or more sensors. We have three. If is three sensors or more, progress the landing track twice. We have three. Oh, that's good. Progress the landing track twice. So that's it. Okay. Then progress the landing track one space, but don't go beyond, or it'll fall off into the abyss. Don't do it. Okay. Okay. We, we, yeah, yeah. Is it? You yeah, betcha. Hundred percent. Wow. On the Planetopedia at pages ten eleven, Everstorm. Open the ship book at page twenty four and perform the begin planetary exploration procedure. Proceed. 10 and 11, 24. Right, do we, we can put 10 that. 10 and 11, 24. 10 and 11, 24. Begin planetary exploration. Prepare the planet board. If there is a planet record sheet for your current planet in recorded planets, card tray B, start at step 1A. If not, start at step 1B. Populate the right side of the planet board with the indicated unique discoveries. Place them face down in the order in which they're listed. First card on the bottom, last card on the top. Lost discoveries. This slot will be used by the planet's special rules. Okay. Huh? C. Populate the right side of the planet board with the listed mission cards, global condition cards, or follow any planetary specific instructions printed in the mission and global condition card slots. So mission 50. Mission 50. Squall. Gusts of wind pelts us with razor sharp shards. Defense. Move all accidents to your spent pool. All dice checks gain the following special effects. Accident, roll a danger die. Travel is spend a red die or roll a danger to move to a connected sector. Mission 50 is life in storm, M50. We would never attempt a landing in such a hellish place. If not for two reasons. First, the structures are jutting out of the super rotating atmosphere are unlike anything we've seen thus far. Second, this was marked on the star map, though we find it difficult to believe life could exist here. Oh, I'm sure we'll find something of the in the token bag that lives here. Objective, explore the planet looking for signs of advanced life forms. Completion, 
When you fulfill the objective, you'll be asked to discard this mission. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry. We I can put that on your side too. It doesn't matter. Don't care. You. Okay. Never. Uh, oh yeah. Let's okay, keep reading. He's back. Place the lead bag next to the planet board. Ensure it contains twenty tokens. They're there. Shuffle all five discovery decks separately and place them above the planet board. If they are not already there, take them from card trade A. A lead. Shuffle the event deck. Place it to the left of the planet board. If it isn't already there, take it from card trade A. We see Injuries deck to the right of the planet board. If it isn't already there, take it from card trade A. Then we disembark. Just give me a minute to... Unless your lander has already been placed on the planet board, as indicated in the briefing log, place it in the sector that depicts the landing symbol. New subscriber, Nicholas, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Welcome, thank you. This is now referred to as your lander sector right here. Okay. Oh, whoops. I landed upside down. Oh, well, oh I almost mean, broke the game. I'm sure that's something almost broke happened. the game. Uh, All right. So if the crew member minis of the wave team have not yet been placed on the playboard, place them in the lander sector. Yay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Take the rank up cards from card tray A. Shuffle them and draw two that you can't complete because they're always the wrong ones you need to draw. I wish they just escalated in a more difficult way. Uh, as a group, choose one of them and place it incomplete side up in the indicated space next to the lander board. If players cannot agree, the science section player slaps their hands and makes the final choice. Return the remaining rank up cards to the card tray A. Those are the two I just randomly picked. If they're bad, I'll just put pick again. No, I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to start doing that, actually. Uh, any time during planetary exploration, so we got the left one, is uh, do a little dice check, special action, prepare breathtaking footage. Only in a sector with hills with the sun, snowflake, fan, or magic crystals. Gems. We have fans. We have... You can spend uh, flex, compass, and monitor <laughs> to flip the card. So we're all level Doable. two, right? No, I'm not, because I don't have a level okay, two. Okay, well, either way, we're probably looking for six success tokens here if we can. Yeah. Either way, on both sides. The other one is anytime during planetary exploration, flip this card when you have at least one lead token on three different discovery decks. Oh, Serenity, no. I think we take the first one. But that's hard to get a flex, a compass, and a monitor all at the same time. Oh, you have the three vanguards, don't you? So you can just make it happen. But I want to save this for the boss guy that comes out of the, the cave we go wandering into. I mean, well, it's up to you then. I don't want to choose then because... Oh, oh, actually, my recon guy could get with a uh, flex a... He does have the die for a flex, a compass, and a, and a monitor. Yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, this is only for a threat, yeah. Oh, it's only for a threat. Never During mind. a threat, dice check. That. Yeah, yeah, this is for me fighting the boss. I could possibly get that, but we got to get the six. Tokens. The left or right? Left or right? I'm thinking left, right? Yeah, I'm thinking left. <laughs> right, left? <laughs> right, left? Left. I right? think you're right, left. Left, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Right, all right, left? Okay. All right, all let's right. go left. Mel wants to go left. Everyone in the chat's going left. We're going left. Okay, we're just going to put these up here. Let's do it. Thank you, everybody. I think we might be able to get this one. I'll just put this here. So we remember. Oh. is right. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> you are breathtaking. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. I'm knocking dice. You just got me flustered. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to give you these. You had a mobility suit. Take them back because remember how they do the... I had a mobility yeah, suit. What, yeah, we might lose them. Yeah. Okay. I put my just like to see all my text. Note: If there are no more rank up cards in card tray A, <laughs> yeah, right. Take all rank up cards removed from the game, shuffle them, and add them to the rank ups. Players divide personal equipment cards and mission cards between them. No crew member may carry equipment cards of another section. If players cannot agree, the recon section makes a decision. Each crew member 
places a turn token on the crew board, turn available side face up. Which I'll forget to use, I'm sure. Uh, okay. Might matter more now, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, each crew member draws a number of section cards indicated to their crew board from their section deck. The recon section player chooses a crew member to receive the start token. And then we can start exploring. Yay! Two and a half hours into the stream. I'm just kidding. One hour was us not doing anything really to the game, really. But yeah. it was fun. I know. I think I think I go first as the pink player with the zip line. Put the zip line out right away because then we don't have to worry about that travel business rolling. Yes, sir. Okay, so she's gonna start. Oh yeah, gotta draw my cards. Gotta draw my cards. Yeah. Three cards, right? Two cards oh, I'm here. My side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's only a level one, and he's level two. One, two, or so he gets three. It's going to be a challenge, but we'll make it work. So my engineering player, just for fun, during a dice check, move two dice of any color from the roll pool to their owner's spent pool. Turn one other die to the vanguard symbol. Move one die with an accident result from the roll pool to their owner's spent pool so I can get rid of accidents with the safety protocol. Excuse me, during a dice check, if you are in a sector with mission equipment, ignore the bad things. If you're in a sector with mission equipment. So if we plop down the zip line oh, or had funny. the mining little probe there. I didn't even read that stuff, whatever. But as a way to draw three cards. I don't know. Yeah. I can always discard this when I draw and stuff. Don't care. All right. She's going first. Spend a die of any color. We need to just look at what's going on here. On the space, we need science or DNA to gain two live specimens. A red and a green gains us one success and one live specimen lead and replace that card with P000. End your turn and draw two event cards instead if you don't get it. Okay. Well, red and green. Oh, so. we're doing advanced events now? Oh, yes, we are. Which are probably worse, right? Maybe I shuffle them better. I don't know if I did a good shuffle. Right, we got rid of a whole event. Yeah, there, they're right? all in the out-of-the-game area. Do they think we're advanced? Like, I don't think we're advanced. I don't know. We pushed too far, I think. Guys, this is not good. We, we swam in the deep end when we didn't have our floaties on. And now we're drowning. <laughs> Okay. I wanted to do a drop <laughs> shuffle in case there's like back to backs or something. Okay. So I'm going to spend a blue die then for this. Place a zipline token in your space or in your sector. The sounds is an action. So this is action one. Is there one that looks like that belt? Yep. Oh, okay. Right here. Yeah. Cool. So that's in here now. So we can zip. Zip around and moving to and from. So technically, it's not telling me to get rid of this. There's probably only one token, though. Well, there's only one landing space, so who cares? Well, I know, but sometimes there's more than one lander sector. It's fine. It doesn't tell me to get rid of it. Yeah, so. I would just keep just it. Hold it? Yeah. Okay. Now I have one more action. I should gain a success. Or do I move? Get more info, info for you guys. Uh, red and green. Probably me is the best, right? Yeah, let me do this so then you guys can move away from, from here for free. So let's spend... Hmm. Okay, let's do a dice check. We're going to do at least one red, one green. Accidents don't matter here, so that's fine. So if I get a vanguard, we can do the first two. What are you doing? You're looking for life? Yep. Yeah. But we're allowed to leave here, right? This one didn't trap us on the first one. Nope. And That's you it. can zip out of here for free, but I'm just doing this so that you guys can keep and going. One way to go, right? Just to this yep. one? Okay. Yep. Which doesn't have a log. Interesting. I don't care about the accent, doesn't matter. Uh, I don't think I want to reroll. I could reroll the green. I need that success token. Yeah, let's reroll the green. Let's do a discard pile. What are you trying to go for? The little space symbol if that I can... gain two lives? Yeah. Uh, live specimen leads? Yeah, if I can. Nope. Okay. So we're not going to worry about that. Uh, 
So we're just going to gain one success. Oh, she had that dog tag. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, and one live specimen lead. Zero, but we gain a charge. Does somebody benefit well from charges? Uh, Any time a crew member in your sector would gain an injury, spend one charge to discard it with an injury die. To discard it with an injury die instead. Sure, whatever. Do whatever. Okay. I got these two are sad. Okay. She is done. All right, let's look at this fun business. We got gem and mountain. No, it's fan and sponge. Okay, so we're just increasing time. Oh. Do we have tokens, time tokens anywhere? I don't think we even have any. Oh, this oh, is interesting. This is fun. Okay, no time's advancing, right? No. Okay, I'm done. I don't know who wants to go next. Weird. Okay. So we got all day here. This is a really nice planet. Oh, I sorry, like, I got to do this. I like this zero, one. Zero, zero, zero. Oh, I should probably used it up. Yeah, I did. So you can't farm success so can't. tokens. Lame. Yeah, nothing interesting here. Nothing to see here. Keep moving. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> but now you guys can move forward. Or... Uh... This is actually maybe not bad for me. Actually, it doesn't matter. What are we going for? Our mission is just to explore life here? No idea. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, I guess. Just explore the planet looking for signs of advanced life. Yeah. And then the discoveries will just tell us when we get them. We don't yeah, know. Okay. Guess. Uh you want me to go next? My, my yeah, sure, character? do it. Yeah. Okay. Gonna just move for free into this. Well, not free, but like Does an action. Does he have the suit? No, but this, uh, this, the zip. He's gonna oh, zip. Oh, the zip, yes. So it's still an action, but he doesn't have to do whatever that is. Okay. And then this is nothing, right? There's. I guess not. Okay. Doesn't say go to log something or other. And from here, I can only go straight. Yeah. So I guess we're just yeah, gonna... only this direction. We're just going to do that. Hopefully that's not bad. All right, so i got to spend a die. Mm, let's spend... So this has fan, sponge, skull, and flag. He doesn't have the suit. But that's okay. I'm just going to spend a die anyways. Yep. Let's spend a blue one. He's going to move to here. So you've now reached the Shattered Plateau. The wind is barely noticeable in the shade of the structure, making it perfect place to set up camp. The holes are too regular to be natural. Uh oh. Each crew member who performs a dice check in this sector adds a defense die to the roll pool. Whenever you refresh any dice in this sector, refresh one more. Whenever you draw any section cards in this sector, draw one additional card. Oh, what's a defense die? Sorry, am I blanking? Is it the this one? The shield. Oh, add a shield, add a shield symbol. symbol. I see, sorry. Add a shield symbol to your roll. Can you not see that shield in the middle of the Yeah, I can see it now that you said that, but I didn't, yeah. I wasn't looking right. at you. Okay, and he's going to draw an event. Is there any symbols on this one? There's the flag? Oh, no. So there's no symbols here, so no tracks. So we're good. He's done. Okay, so this one can... Uh... We'll do the two actions, right? So I have a mobility suit for engineering, so I can ignore the spending of a die or zipline, zipline, right? Yeah. But now you can use your oh, you can use your mobility suit here. Yeah, yeah. This one works. Okay. That's two actions, right? Yeah. Move, move. That's and exciting. Then this just flips, where there's no symbols, so. Oh, yeah. I'm not reading any of them, so it's still spoiler when they copy. Okay, then the. This is blue guy, mm -hmm. blue guy zip lines, and then blue guy wishes he took mobility suit, but he will just spend blue die. Done. And then flip one of these, and we're good. Weird. Okay. okay. Then we flip back, and we do it all again. All right. So from here, who's going where? 
we have symbols we can see, so we can kind of decide which, uh, this one's a study blue dice or need up there. Who's got the most blue dice? Purple. Purple's going so there. Purple needs to go that oh, way. Oh, actually, science, maybe. Sure, engineering can go that or way. engineering. All right, so engineering will go first. Uh, I will move this way, and I have to do the, uh, roll a danger die. Um... Way to avoid it all? No, not really. Hiya! Oh no! Oh you no! You might be fine. You might be fine. Oh no! I got the three pips on table A. Three pips. Oh, you're good. No, not yeah. three. Oh, okay. It does nothing. <laughs> all right, cool. Okay. You travel freely. Boom. Now I'm there. I can do the special action. So this says Sun Eater. Sun Eater. I know you guys can't read that because we're zoomed out too far because we're forced to play with four characters. Uh, you guys made us to it. Um, not my fault. Uh, the gaping mouth of this metallic starfish aims toward, aims toward, this is so far away, aims toward the small sun above as if to swallow it. And it's tiny text too. Uh, okay, so this has uh, Twin Peaks and Fan are the biomes. Uh, special action study, which I'll roll against table A and some dice. And if I can get two blues, I place one marker in the sector, then go to log 288. Oh, and then probably based on how many markers, so you might have to do it multiple times. Now, remind me if, like, can I roll four dice and spend it twice to place two markers, or no? I probably only do it No, one. I think you can. Uh, I don't remember the... Checks. No, uh, maybe you can't because it's a single, but tracks you can. I don't remember. Oh, maybe, yeah. The tracks you bump. The tracks, yeah, yeah. then you can bump up multiple okay, times. Okay, that's but... fine. Um, all right, so study. Uh, so I'm going to roll danger down A. I don't know, I'll just roll this. No, I need that for alien studying. Computer and gear. I don't know. Sure. Oh, I got the three. Oh, no. Oh, it does nothing. Okay. And then so, I'll spend these two dice. Place one marker. The marker there. And we're going to log where? Uh, 288. It's asking if there's a marker in sector five. Oh, down oh, here. Oh, we haven't even been there. Oh, no. We got to go there first. Idiots. I oh, told you to go here first. Man. Oh, you guys can't see that. Sector 5 is down here. It's asking us if there's a, a marker there. And there's not. So there's a puzzle in order to things, I think. And we made a mistake. Maybe. The machine was ancient, as old as life itself on this planet, and bore a striking resemblance to the builder architecture we saw in the Eye of the Void. Its structure extended deep underground and to other parts of the planet, though its purpose was unclear. According to our preliminary research, this structure originated a millennium or two ago. Our scans woke something deep inside, emitting small bursts of energy. Then it went silent once more. Game three, alien tech leads. Do you want to pull them? No, I don't. I hate this part of the game. Hate it. <laughs> a two. Oh, okay. We might actually get one. A zero. Oh, never mind. And a two. Oh, so you actually get one. Or whatever, man. So this one's going to go back in. These two. I'll just make a little pile over Tell here. That's how you really feel about the leads. <laughs> here you go. You got one, though. Great. We got a plant based generator. Ship management. When unloaded, you may discard this to draw one random strange flora discovery. Okay. Okay, sure. Uh, where do we put the discoveries? Right here is fine. Oh, yeah. I think they go we under, but even, I'm just going to... We might put, not even get away with this. I'm just going to put it there. All that awesome pulling, and I might not even... We might not be able to leave with that if we have too many. We might have to dump that. Oh, we could have done that. Yeah, we can put the two and the two on first and leave the zero out. So it doesn't oh, yeah. go back just in. Do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. I forgot. It's like pull them all, then do them one at a time. Yeah, so let's do that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Smart, smart yeah. plays here. Again, I totally don't respect that whole 
mechanic and engine and whatever. But oh, I like it. It's 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 neat the way they did it. I understand why. It's just I don't care about it. Uh, all right. Okay, that's silly. I don't get it then. Well, here's what's gonna happen. Now at other places it's gonna ask here at five, mm -hmm. is there a, is there a, a token there, you know? Yeah. And okay. stuff like that. So you're like based on what's happening here, it's gonna change something, which maybe studying that after this is done would have been bad or you know, never know. All right, ending turn of this person. Mm -hmm. Flip card. Draw an event. I think you got this one. Uh fan? Yes, fan. If no, I, okay. Lose a green die or roll on table. I don't know what that is. Is that an H? H, I, H is probably I really feel like bad. that should have been bigger. Is yeah, that a yeah I know. Those are very illegible. Green die or roll on table H. Green die. Boom. Done. Okay. Well, I can go down here with Pink Recon, who does have. Who does have um, this, but how can I get there? <laughs> this, I think. Start year 28001.4, Captain's Log. Rob clicked the wrong button, and all life forms ceased to, cease to exist. <laughs> oh, you know what? Where is Pink? Oh, Pink is over here. She's mm -hmm. not doing anything. She is not doing She's anything. playing with zip lines. Almost 11 p.m. eating my breakfast, says Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. We'll try to speed it up for you here. Oh, it was exert. Oh, it was. Is that what that is? Sorry, yes, you're right. Oh, I see. Yes, it's line through it. We were just excited. Oh, I see, I see. Do you Hold want to on. roll on 2H, maybe? Let me check. So it could gain me a panicked injury, lose a supply, lose a helmet item or exert a, yeah i'll just exert it whatever okay yep i don't know it's a good die but whatever oh actually can i exert from my spend pool yeah that's a thing right yeah 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 see ya i don't know okay where is this person going yeah because the yellow line it's like this yeah yeah i get it we can't even Helen back thank you so much for catching that One, two. And then down. Just trying to think of where to send purple. I could go uh, to log 38 if he goes up here. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Table Just do A. something. All right. I'm going to do something, please. He's going to move up here. I'm going to roll on table A. Blank. Nice. And then we go to log 38. Away team, exploration report, TF-19. The surface of the mound is made of an organic compound, so even our best equipment cannot break the crust. At first, we wanted to enter the structure, as scanners showed hollow spaces inside, but it proved impossible with our limited tools. However, we successfully secured samples of the compound, and we will try to replicate it once aboard Vanguard. We also mentioned to the aerodynamics team that the area surrounding these mounds was almost serene, with little wind. They began to study the mound's effect on the airflow and quickly discovered all are in the perfect position to ensure the safety of the largest possible surface area. Gain a mineral discovery, yay! Nothing. <laughs> you put that sound effect on this one too. And again with the bag pulling. Like Bam. All right, I have one more. Hold on, there might be more. Oh. You're right. No. No. <laughs> oh, discovery, not leave. Did it say discovery? Oh. We're just assuming. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Discovery, discovery, discovery. Okay, let's pull one. Sorry for reaching. We officially suck at playing this game. I, I'm just not, yeah, it's all over the place. And Without Sable's the chat, our game would be so broken. I right know. <laughs> well, maybe we would have played more carefully. So broken. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. For sure. Like, we would have taken a break when we're tired. And I would have gone back and re-farmed planets till I've got everything done there, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Oh. Unstable nitrate. Planetary exploration. You may discard this card to gain charges up to your starting number. So whenever we want to do that, if somebody, we can, someone can gain charges up. To, so like if you spend all three, you, we can discard this and you can gain three charges back. So we'll see. Think of us as mission control. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, guys, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> Turn the ship around. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then I have one more action, which I guess is just to move back because I can't from here. I can't get anywhere, right? Oh, yeah, it didn't add anything, no. I just was hoping it would. Danger die A roll. Okay. Unless you have the spongy suit. No, he doesn't have a spongy suit. Who has the suit? She does. Oh, okay, okay. Pink. But she's just hanging out over here. Okay. In the oh, four is good. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Uh, so he's done. Event. Event here. But he's got no symbols, so we're good. What's the flag symbol? So if that ever comes up, oh, I don't know. Okay. But... Uh, I think pink is just going to move, so I can yeah, go, yeah, go next. Ahead, go ahead, so please. it's just going to zip line and then spongy suit here. Okay. And draw an event. Nothing. No symbols. Done. I think you have one more person, right? Yeah, security. Red and green. Enter the structure. Broken Fang, one of the mega structures yielded before the power of the storm, offering us a tantalizing glimpse inside. You can enter the structure, which gains one live specimen lead, and go to log 247. This one is descend into the hole, perforated mountainside. The holes are too regular to be a work of this planet's chaotic forces. Descend into the hole. You may perform this dice check only if another crew member assists you. Oh, I didn't even read that. I was going to go there with my pink because my pink has the best chance. Yeah, but we'll just go with someone else who also can help uh, with uh, flexing your compasses and no accidents. Flexing. So security should go there with pink. Yeah, because she has like all the and she changes to a compass. So I, I could just move security there and then like uh, refresh up some dice or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so security. If you want to ref, oh yeah, because it's better to refresh there, but. But then I lose then, two yeah, dice, yeah. so it's like. Never mind. Half my dice is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I still get four back. I'll spend two. I'll be at one. Whatever. You can just refresh again when you. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I move there. I lose two dice. Whatever. I don't know. Not flexes. Yeah, yeah. But then I'm going to rest, right? Spend a supply. And then that gets me back this. Whoops. This. This. Uh, these are all. I don't know. This and. This one, do. I don't know. Guys, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Um these are any color. Okay. Uh and then I draw uh one card, right? Mm -hmm. On a rest. I need a refresher. Let's draw one section card. Turn your dice check if you have one or more injuries, roll to no discard. Okay. And then event, you're good. Yeah. Flip. Oh, you got a sponge. Heat fracture. Oh, get rid of two. So like lose two dice or to gain a mineral discovery. Mineral discovery or is that what letter is that? I. I. It's I. Which I on the table is gain a wounded injury, gain a wounded injury. Spend two dice or lose something, or like maybe I get blank or whatever. So what are the options? Can I see the card? Oh, sorry, lose two dice. Man, do... yeah, these are terrible. Yeah, I know. Whose idea was it to get the advanced yeah. events going? That sucks. I'll just roll on I. I don't know. Yeah, uh, gain a wounded injury. Okay, that's not the worst one, so that's good. It's is 
It is okay to gain one injury. It is, but I, I mean, don't know. I, not... wouldn't, I wouldn't know. I, I avoid he them. He usually like, doesn't get them. I, I do. avoid them like nobody's business. <laughs> so wounded uh, is droplet makes me spend a die. It's not the worst, but not the greatest. Okay, uh, that's all of us. So refresh all of these. And then I have to refresh before I go down there as pink, which is good because that let me go on pink to go. I can't actually do anything yet because I have to refresh to you. Yeah. Okay, she'll go. I'm going to rest. And I think you said when you rest here, you gain an additional die. Uh, whenever you refresh dice in this sector, refresh one more. Whenever you draw any section cards in the sector, draw an additional. So on the rest, you'll get to take two cards or whatever. Okay. And each crew member who performs a dice check in this sector adds a defensive shieldy symbol to their roll pool. Okay, so I get to refresh all five because I have eight, so I would normally refresh four. Oh, yeah, sorry. This guy is the spend a charge. Yes, I'm so sorry. Spend a charge I'm so what sorry. happens? Uh, yes, I keep reading this guy, but then she was doing checks, and then it's like, yes, I forget who has what. Again, playing two-handed in games is not my strong suit, of course. Oh, so you don't even need this? You just no, spend a charge? I spend a charge. Oh, the yellow die. Uh, yeah, and I ignore uh, the result of one danger die. Thank you. Yeah, that's the whole reason I brought this guy, was because we got warned about the danger stuff. Then I guess thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Mass Flare, I would do that all day, every day. I just forgot that it was this guy that could do it, and he was doing the action. Yeah, I'll get messed up doing this whole back and forth thing constantly, trying to like r understand who has what abilities and who has what a cards. It just adds to the gameplay time too, which I'm not a fan of. But we're still gonna try it and, and play through and see how it goes. I like this idea of having four dudes out here and trying to work together and assist more and stuff. I think that part's awesome. Refresh yellow. Oh, this. Oh, thank you. Um, so this one here, I'm going to use this, so I have to spend a die to move to another connected sector, ignoring the path icons, and return this card. This is the, it doesn't say it counts as, a, as an action. Am I correct on that? All the other ones say? I would assume so, yeah. It doesn't say it counts as an action, so I would say so. Okay, and then I remove this. Yeah, this back yeah Mark R is, uh, Michael R is asking about the promo card helping with movement. Yes, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, so that then I'm going to get rid works. of a blue, that one. Okay. And then that will be yeah, pink. Yeah, because you are spending stuff for it. That makes Move sense. to here, because then I still have one yeah, action. you're losing a card, and you took an item card, you made it here, you're losing that card, you're spending a die. Yeah, yeah. I, obviously, okay. yeah, that makes sense. So now we'll and trigger promo, this. so it's broken, of course. We'll trigger this. I do have a reroll of any color and a reroll okay. of red. I'll put this one in. Okay, I will put in Here you go. This. Boom. Oh, no. That's fine. <laughs> I have a reroll of red, so we'll see. Oh, no. What other symbols no. do we need? We need compass, so let's put this one in. Oh yeah, I can spend one of these cards too, right? One, three, four. This might be, if I get greens, I can convert them to the compass, but I only have one reroll any color, so this could be bad. But let's YOLO. Okay, ready? And you already rolled that. Oh, I got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. I think well, no, you don't. Like, you're only moving it twice. You, you have, Oh, you move it three. One, two, three. You need one more. This is it. This is a... Oh. Yeah. Boom. Got okay. it. Okay. And Boom. no accidents. No. We're pro. Okay, Just so kidding. go to log 28. <laughs> yeah, you used so much skill. <laughs> no luck. Just skill. Is there a marker in Sector 8? Yes, like you, you said. Vanguard, I think we broke it. Uh, please repeat, away team. I think we broke the planet. The ground shook as the Sun Eater opened its maw wider, entire mountains falling into its depths. It roared, belching forth a hurricane, a torrent that soon reached the upper atmosphere, glistening with nanobot swarms. As we focused our efforts on standing fast against the winds, the sky above shifted. Awestruck, we watched as the artificial storm counteracted the real one. 
slowing until the skies cleared and the glass shards fell like rain. In less than an hour, the world transformed before our eyes. Before we could come to grips with that, the ground broke apart near the mounds, and strange creatures resembling enormous termites emerged as if they had been eagerly awaiting this moment. George A. has been banned from the chat. <laughs> you guys knew this was going to be bad. You trolls, you're all trolls. <laughs> oh my okay, god. So move all minis and stainies from the planet board next to the planet board. So we're going to like a whole new place. Yeah, we're falling or it's like crumbling. <laughs> all minis and standees from the planet board. Oh, okay. Sorry. So then oh, let's so that, leave that yeah. and that just for now. We'll see what it says. I think this would be a standee, but I'm not sure. No, that's just a token. I don't know. Okay. Take all lost discoveries from their slot on the planet board and place them next to the planet board. We didn't get any. Oh, yeah, nothing's there. Okay. Uh, discard all cards and markers from the planet board, including your current mission and global condition. Okay, so these aren't those. This. Discard. Discard. I'll put them away in a minute. No more zip line, just gone. Wow. I mean, I guess we all get to use it. So discard all mission equipment tokens from the planet board. They may be placed again using their equipment cards. Oh, okay. Oh. If you discarded the PET or pet this way, return the die to the owner's spent pool. Open Planetopedia. Pages 12-13 Everstorm Stage 2. <gasps> oh my goodness. Tricky, tricky. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's kind of neat. Okay. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. <laughs> well, I, I like the, the evolution, the changing of things. That's I like that. Surprised that's cool. me, that's for sure. Uh, uh populate to the right side of the Everstorm stage two with the cards listed there. Unique discovery and mission. So we need unique discovery 33 and mission 52. Also, we have a new little 33, we don't look at that. And then, sorry, mission, which one? 52. 52. Mission <laughs> 52. Mission 52. Scale the spire. The rescue team cannot land in the vicinity of hostile mound mites. We can't risk another lander and crew. The only safe evac zone is atop the nearby mound. This means a long and difficult climb. On our way there, we should be on the lookout for any samples and discoveries unearthed by the storm. Objective, climb the claw in Sector 6 and reach the evac zone. Okay. It's a straight Arkham Horror we're playing here. <laughs> Completion, when you fulfill the objective, you'll be asked to discard this mission. I feel like we just like fell through the ground. I mean, I guess it makes now sense. there's termites everywhere. <laughs> they were all who were hiding in the holes. I knew there was something bad in there. Okay. All right, now what? Away team, please check on your lander. We've got some worrying activity around it. Copy that. Initiating remote checks. It seems that... Structural damage detected. Engines compromised. I have the camera feed. These creatures, these mound mites, are swarming the landing zone. They're taking the lander apart. Get down there on the double away team. That's your only ticket home. Negative, we're too far to get there in time, and we're not geared for an open conflict. Please advise. What the F? Wow. Uh, what, what the F? Could we have done something different, or is this? Shh. It's okay. We'll be oh fine. Oh my god. If you have a lander board on the table, select this option. We do. If there's no <laughs> lander board on the table, the lander was already destroyed earlier, select this option. Oh god. Oh, we know it's just about to get destroyed. Log 360. Place all mods from the lander board in the awaiting envelope. Oh, we didn't get to use that one. <laughs> no, we didn't get our extra supplies. Uh, move all discoveries from the lander board to the slot. On the planet board indicated as lost <laughs> discoveries. No. <laughs> discoveries are so useless, I told you guys. 
such oh a waste. If, if we didn't even try to get these and we ignored it, we wouldn't have this problem right here. They're going to go, I guess, lost discovery. Oh, it's just to the side here. Oh, okay. It's like uh, this little section. Let's put them right here. <laughs> ah, they're here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. All right. Uh, discard the marker from the supplies track. <gasps> so gaining extra supplies wouldn't have mattered. Okay. So forget that. Forget that wine. Uh, move the rank up card and all success tokens on the lander next to the indicated slots on the planet board. Success tokens. Oh, rank up is at the top. Rank up. Okay. Open the ship book at page 19. Hanger card holder and flip the lander card representing your current lander to the damage side oh. unless it's the basic. So you can't. Oh, no we don't could, have to no worry about that. Break our basic. Yeah. The lander board should now be empty. Return it to the box and discard the lander standee from the planet board. Yes, it was a lander standee. All okay. right. Discard it. Wow. We have no way home. Oh, we found our ending. We're just going <laughs> to die here. Good thing we flew across the galaxy to go to Giphy 4. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is so bad. We have a whole bunch of A-rolls in the chat. <laughs> I'm surrounded by A-rolls. <laughs> Why do I have so many A-rolls? Alright. Uh, okay. Lander's destroyed. Liftoff is no longer possible. Reset the lead bag. Returning all lead tokens there. Okay. Great. And any new discoveries you gather from now on in this planetary exploration should be placed directly on your crew board. Oh. Crew members may use discoveries placed next to your crew board as if they were in the lander. Okay. Because, okay. yeah, we don't have anywhere to store them. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, Vanguard, the game that keeps surprising, exactly. All right. Anyways, uh, okay. So I reset the lead bag. We did the discoveries. Oh, I think you're just proceeding. Proceed. Let me scroll just to make sure. <laughs> this is the captain. As you are likely well aware, I have no good news. We are preparing a rescue operation, but we can't risk losing another lander and another crew. We can't touch down anywhere near these creatures. The evac zone will soon be on top of your closest mound. I know, that's one heck of a climb. However, the creatures don't seem to be able to climb these surfaces, and we will be sending an unmanned probe with some supplies to help you reach this new evac zone. Supplies will land on the central plateau shortly. Move to intercept. Place all crew members in sector three. Where's three? Okay. Teeming plateau. Oops, sorry. The teeming plateau, we can't leave it, has no exit. It says rivers of mound mites now cut through the once quiet plateau. We can do a special action, a skill check with no danger die, it says. Navigate between the mites. If you get the alien, you get the yellow amaze ball success, which says gain one live specimen lead, refresh one die used in this dice check. And then you automatically get the next one, which you could if you only get the next one. It's a green and a, a red get spent. Place your crew member in sector two, four, five, six, or nine. So that's, you can pick where they go. Uh, oh, and the bad thing, I guess if you don't get either of these options, is place your crew member in sector two, four, five, six, or nine, and go to log 148. So, like, this is how you get out of here, but it could be a rough getting out of here. So, if you have green and red, that's awesome. If you can get the alien, that's awesome. But otherwise, you might be in trouble. And it even blocks the exits on purpose. 
Yeah, so we have to jump there. Yeah, so we can't move normally, so that's crazy. And then what can we do? Yeah, we just go. So we got, uh, what is it? Two is here. here. Nothing. Five is here, log 416. Uh, four is over here, sorry. Dead forest. Previously shrouded by the storms, this area... Uh, this area of the surface reveals the remains of another long lost world. We could study the ecosystem, special action, just a dice check. Uh, looking for pickaxe plus uh, science or whatever. Gain three strange flora leads. And then if you just have two green dice, you get the green option. Replace with a random card P171. And if you don't get any of this stuff, you're rolling uh, danger dice A. And this is sponge, 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 sponge sponge and mountain or something sponge and sponge so a lot of sponge okay so if you brought the sponge suit mobility uh you're rocking um okay uh in we we can't get to one but that's the lander space deconstruction we can go there from if we go to yeah two. go to two okay so we gotta like make a plan kind of right mm -hmm. um so deconstruction with the wind stopped a scene of destruction uh unravels before your eyes the lander meticulously cut into pieces by the mound mites so we could salvage our cargo here for a special action rolling a dice check uh if you get compass plus monitor you gain one live specimen discovery refresh up to two dice used in the dice check and then you would gain two success tokens place all lost discoveries next to your crew board and replace this with p000 so it's all used up if you miss any of this stuff, so you could get shield or uh, like DNA symbol or whatever, uh, you would, you, if you don't get that, you go to log 148, which who knows what would happen. And log 148, I think, was the same one as failing on this. Oh, so that's bad. So mites come and eat your stuff, I bet. I bet mites come and eat your stuff. And you start losing uh, equipment and things. Or discoveries, maybe. Okay, then uh, number five uh, is the log 416. Number six is up here. Lone Claw, without the storm that shrouds its base, the claw-like mound seems even taller than before. If we start scaling it, there will be no coming back. Uh-oh. So you could begin the climb, special action, roll a dice check. You may perform this dice check only if all crew members are in this sector. So, so that's how it. we leave, but we have to yeah, leave yeah. together. Yeah, and if you roll an accident, the red says gain a wounded injury. Um, so you wouldn't get it done. If you have strength plus compass, you get to refresh a die, and then you gain a success. And you replace that with card 172. Or you can spend any two dice of any color to gain a success and replace with card 172. So what do we want to get done before we leave? We want to get our lost discoveries. So going to one. Oh, to the, from there we got to go to two. And then we can come back to go here and then try this again to then... Get out. Uh, but then there's also nine. Nine is up here. And then from here you can travel spending two dice to go to log 144 and space seven. So like what is there? That's probably unique discovery 33, I would guess. Because that seems like the hardest one to get one of them is also going to be our supplies remember they're like we're well, that already we already read oh supplies remember they said in the thing that they're dropping off supplies central they said like central so i think it might be here oh maybe yeah 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 i don't know what to do hmm wasn't there some more setup before you start playing yes it, there yeah was. there was we're just trying yes, to understand yeah yeah we're just playing the game the way we play the game and mm -hmm. i like uh as soon as we got new information let's study such things yeah. But yeah, I still have it open. I still have it open. So we place all ourselves in, crew, in Sector 3. All crew members refresh all their dice and oh, draw two cards. Love it. Okay, good. Draw two cards for this one. I only hold two, so discard those. Keeping that one. Okay. 
Uh, flip all turn tokens to their turn available side. So if anyone took a turn that made all that happen. Oh, that's good. I did. Begin the new round of planetary exploration. Make sure that success and rank up cards are located next to the indicated slots on planet board. Make sure all the discoveries that are not currently on the crew boards are located next to the lost discovery slot. Important. If you don't find a way to retrieve your previous discoveries from the lander before the end of the mission, they will be lost. That's our goal. Okay. Okay. See if we can do this. Okay. So... She is best to... Oh, we can't go to one. Okay, security is going to go. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to roll uh, this on my skill check. I'll probably throw a red in there too. So can you just tell me this? Is this bad? Like the travel? Oh, yeah. Uh, so the little, little ability on here, you can spend uh, DNA plus an alien to gain two live specimen leads. The travel is a dice check. If you get an accident, you go to log 148, which we've Same seen 148 one. Okay. is over and over again. It's bad. And here you just spend a die. So if you have a die of any color, you can move to connect the sector. Yeah. Oh, and the time track on here actually will eventually get to log 148 also. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we that happens. So whatever 148 is, it's like, yeah, it's gonna hit us eventually if we take too long. Yeah, I can go to, I can go get to one and put the zip line there. Because I do still have it. But I don't know if that's helpful. It's helpful to get back out. Yeah. But it's, it's like, might as well. But only one person should go there to try to get that stuff. It is yeah. two successful. Which is actually her because she has the monitor compass. and compass. Do you have shield and science in case? Uh, but yeah. I guess you'd be going but I would, for But I would be going yeah. for the compass and the... Okay. Thing. Um. So security will go. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to go to try to go to this, I think. Yeah, that's where I think the supplies are. Yeah, I'll try to do that. That's my guess. I I'm no also debating going here, but. All right, so I'm doing this special action on here. Yeah, we do want the success tokens for sure. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So I got uh, not an alien. Mm, I want an alien. Who are you playing? Uh, oh, yeah, security. Right, They oh, had yeah. alien on that die. Whoops. Oh, yeah, they do. Any number of red? No. No. Now that I have space, I'm just going to do that. I guess I'm fine. Yeah, I don't care. I'll just spend these. That's why I did the red in there. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to sector five with blue. I'm going to log a 416. Away team, exploration report 6-1-C. The holes belch flame and exhaust gases that turn this place into a furnace. We can't move any closer, but it seems the mound mites hate the heat even more than we do. They do not dare approach, making it the only safe, if uncomfortable, place to rest. Replace the POI in the sector with card P075, P075. All right, there's more than one. Okay. Let's throw one random, that's fine. Oh yeah, I guess I'll show up. Oh, 175? 075. Zero, okay, that's right, yeah, okay. that's what it is. Yeah, I see Bob reminding us about our upgrade card, taking that breathtaking picture. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Barely holding back the elements, treacherous campsite. Whenever you rest or exert in this sector, refresh all dice. You can make camp here too as a special action. Do a skill check. You can get one of those symbols. Uh, you are an assistant crew member. Discard one injury die. You are an assistant crew member. Just draw one section card. Okay, whatever. I don't usually try to do our rank up card until we have some successes. Uh, yeah, true, right? Yeah, because it's like, why am I going to waste the... Because that's how it works, right? If we... Don't flip it, then it's like nothing happens. I don't know. I don't like this little mechanic either. Like, feels lame. Uh, flip this card when you have at least one lead token. Oh, we can't even do it. Did yet. we? We took this one. 
I thought we took the breathtaking picture one. Oh, maybe we, maybe we made oh, one. Whoops. It's the breathtaking picture. Like we did the left and right thing, right? I don't know. Maybe you handed me the wrong one. Yeah, I probably did. I guess. I don't even know. I don't know. Yeah, it was like this, right? The only problem is we can't do it anymore because the sponge is gone. There's sponges everywhere. Oh. No. Nah. I mean, oh. I mean the sponge the is fan. not on the card. So we lost fans. Sector fans. So we need to like make new sectors. Oh yeah, we can't even do it. Yeah, that sucks. Void is there too. Uh, no, no void. Um, no, this symbol is not on the board right now. Maybe it will. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. Like maybe it will on like one of these. Yeah, sorry, get rid of That's that. Good. My bad. I don't know. Don't I messed worry. up. Of course. Oh man, I don't know. This game's too much for me. I think. Too much. Too much uh, going on here. Okay. So you just moved there. Not really much to do there. Yeah, stupid, pointless. Uh, hmm. Hmm. That that was a waste of time. But at least we know. Which is annoying because you can't. You have to go back. Yeah, and I will. Uh, I just will. Okay, I'll just go back and spend a die. Like awesome, great. Okay, cool, done. Uh, flip this. Draw me an event, please. Which there are no symbols there. Okay, so, so just time track. Time track, of course. Boom. All right, go next. Uh, yellow uh, engineering. What do I have for this? I don't. I, I don't know. Uh, okay, I want to get stuff done here. Get moving. I can go with recon then while you think if you want. Yeah, if you know somewhere to go, just go. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna. I need a green and, and a red. I'll just do this and this just in case. So. I'm going for. Yeah, I, I want to go with the suit, uh, the yellow to ignore like this stuff, right? I can ignore like one of these icons. I think that's what I do. Yeah, I think yellow will go that way. Accident. Accidents are bad in this one, or no? No. I'm just going to reroll this. There we go. Double alien. Okay, so I can gain one. One live specimen lead. Lead, not discovery. Okay. One live womp, womp. specimen lead. One live specimen. And then. Wait, I can pull these down now. And then, sorry, I gained the lead. What else does it say there? Uh, refresh one die using this dice check. Mm. And then place yourself at one of those places. And I'm going to two. And then I'm going to use my my suit to travel from there. I'm going to travel here for free. And then... Uh, yeah. Advance. Uh, no symbols. Or I'm only on sponge. So we'll do that one. Okay. All right, uh, yellow, I'll just do this check. Oops. Oh, I want this blue. Hopefully the reroll blues. Let's go YOLO. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, I got it. Alien. So live specimen lead. Refresh a die using the check. Zero, but someone can gain a charge, which I think uh, you card, use. A card, a card, a card. Oh, a card, a card, sorry. A card. Uh, I don't care. You do it. I can take Whatever one. you want. Yep. Okay. And then that gets me a nine. Okay, then from here I'm going to move. I got the mobile suit. 
So uh, I will go there and then just get rid of a die. Wish I knew what was gonna happen here. I get rid of this red. I don't know. Okay. Uh, log one one four. Away team exploration report TF two nine. When we reached the broken top of the mound, we noticed it was no longer deserted. We found fresh trails of mites leading into its depths. We followed, only to discover a large chamber full of old, dried-out larvae. The mites present in the chamber regurgitated some strange greenish substance into a pit in the middle of the room, taking great care not to waste a single drop. Then they submerged larva and the substance, one by one. Remote scans show an extremely complex organic composition to the slime. Taking samples could be profitable, but risky. All players discuss and choose one. In the case of a tie, the science section player makes a final decision. Take the samples or don't risk it. I know what's happening here. We're going to put it on the chest. Okay, I just put a poll in the live chat. You guys watching live, you can decide. Uh, either way, I'd probably want to take the samples because I'm crazy. But then I have a feeling I'm going to be digging for the threat of the, the termites, uh, the crazy mites threat, and then they're going to start chasing us and things are going to get, uh, time will be shortened and uh, we're going to have to rush out of here. <laughs> Edgar <laughs> says there's the correct answer and the you all die answer. I know, right? I'm okay with we all die. That's fine. I think it's funny. Get hot, get caught with our hand in the cookie jar, maybe. Maybe. We'll find the mother of the mites. Oh, no. The mother of the mites will appear and say, get away from my babies. And then we got to fight them off. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, I'm closing the poll. Uh, 89% say yes. Peter's here. Greetings from Slovakia. Hello, hello. Peter. Greetings from welcome. Canada. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Michael, don't even. Michael says, please turn to a new page in the <laughs> Don't even, Take Michael. All components on the board. <laughs> <laughs> you are dead. Move to new planet. So we're taking the samples. Yep. All right. I don't want to. We all it, gain a wound. It. Oh. Gain unique discovery thirty three. I called it you actually. Did. You I did. said that. I said down here. I bet is this. I even said it. Yeah, you did. Are you guys jelly that we got the royal jelly? Who's jelly? You jelly? Oh, I mean, it looks gross. Royal jelly, bro? You jelly? Planetary exploration. When you gain this card, each crew member refreshes two dice. Oh, that's not as helpful as it could have been. Uh, but you or, keep it beside your board. Oh, my, I, my guy has it, right? He only has one. She only has one die to refresh. None. Refresh? <sighs> okay. Uh, uh, hold on. Um, I mean, I guess. Refresh, refresh. Colors we need here. Any color, any color to get out. Any color, any color. Red and green. Yes. Leave blue out. Okay. Okay. Event? Do you have any? I have a bunch. But it's not the one. <laughs> what happens bad when... Oh, we got to Oh gosh, we got to rush. The mites come and eat us. We got to get out of here. Oh, they're coming. Uh, just science. So where do we still need to go? Four, right? Oh yeah, there might be more. Hold on. Oh. oh After yes. action incident report nine six F. We quickly learned our scent and appearance irritated the mites. Each time we met, they released pheromones that seemed to warn other mites of danger. And with every meeting, they grew increasingly aggressive. We knew it was only a matter of time before things turned ugly.
Is the marker in the final time track of the close encounter global condition? No. Oh, wow. The mites begin to notice our presence. We must tread lightly. I think we need to get out of here. Do you agree? I thought it was going to make us move the token. Oh, yeah. I was going to be like, is it on the last spot? No. Okay, move it five spaces to the right. You screwed. I, I legit think we need to get out of here. Obviously, but we still need to find our stuff. What stuff? We need success tokens. I don't care about that if we die. I... No, we're push. It's an easier planet. We're not playing the way we normally play, where it's just run away. We get nothing done. We spend more time in the stupid binder, Pokemon collecting card binder. Versus running around on the planet. Like, uh, let's do the planet stuff. Let's push okay, our luck. Okay, okay, okay. Who cares? These He's are... going next. I don't care if Elizabeth and Adrian die. I got a whole card deck of their grandkids that'll come and work for us, too. And those grandkids and those grandkids. We got, like, tons of them. These are meaningless people that are going to build, push forward humanity. If some people are going to die to improve humanity and, and, and build relations and... But who do you rank and, up and, if everyone's and buy, dead? And buy a bunch of real estate to build embassies on. Like, this is the, the goal of humanity. We got to do it. So We can't rank anyone up if they're dead. Don't care. But it will never rank anyone up if we just run away either. So let's push it. Okay, okay. okay. Let's push it. All will be lost, no? Yeah. That's I don't fun. know. But, okay. But we gain nothing if we just leave. What do I get? A unique discovery, 33? <laughs> I don't know what that me that is what we need to just get out. <laughs> push, push, push it real good. All right. Uh science. So purple's gonna go next. <laughs> Tobol, how's it going? Hello. We were talking about your comment on the last video earlier. It caused the rant, but I appreciate it. But not in a bad not way. Not in a bad way. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What is the point of pushing if you get nothing out of it? Right, that's what I'm thinking. But aren't aren't we like don't we need these lost discoveries and our equipment and... Uh, but if we die, I don't know, like, those will be lost. But you don't know if we'll die. You're right. I don't know if we'll die. Okay, I'll... I don't know. Should we be building up success tokens to buy more dice at least? You're there on the spot. I'm, yeah, I know. Do it. Well, I sh she can't go Do yet. It. It's this person's turn. Oh, I got a Vanguard. So I can do the first one, which I will say that that is the alien. So gain a live specimen. Get your discoveries back. Exactly. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Nothing but a charge. Uh, your charges let you block when you take danger, right? So you do that. Then I get to refresh one die that was in the test. Do we still have supplies? Is that a thing? No, we have no supplies. Oh, we haven't found okay, them or okay, we haven't got okay, them. Okay, I see what's happening. So let's refresh this one. And then this is bent. And then I can go to two, four, five, six, or nine. Maybe I just go to four then. Edgar says I'm 120% sure you will lose not only your characters, but their equipment too. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, but maybe we can... They're termites. How bad can that be if they get angry? I don't think I need to go... I don't think we need to go here. <laughs> Nothing is telling us... There's no, I know that, so but it's a random card. Here? It's like a random card. You're studying an ecosystem, but again, that could be the place. Where we else? We could try. Where, else go? where do we go already? I've done nine. We've that, done that five. Off. We've done five. Two, Two we know is goes nothing. here. Nine is nothing. So six and four. Six we know is the exit we think. And four is here. Okay, so we'll go so here. Maybe four. I don't know. And I can do this again, right? Because it's a different card. Like, because I did the special action there. I can't do a special action. No. Here, right? Okay, so then... You can rest. You can prep. I think I can prep, because then I can get cards. Yeah. And I don't think I need to do a dice check. Oh, yeah, or you can do that. I don't want to waste uh, the dice. I'll just prep. I just get to draw... Uh, prep, prep, prep. Is there? Draw one sector card. Okay, we roll over. Like, we still have, like, one... You're about to do this again. One, two, three. Like, I well, don't know. Well, hopefully it's like, a sponge. Okay. Like, will He's we done. fail when it hits that or not? You know, like, what if we're on this space? Is that okay? Or do we literally need to be out before we hit one, four, eight? But like, we could have hit one, four, eight already on here, like multiple times. I don't think it's the first time you hit one, four, eight. Yeah, I think it's I maybe that's, the next that's time you hit one, four, that's eight. That's what I'm thinking. So I think we might have one. 
Janice says, oh, must be playing ISS. All I hear while painting is mom and dad are fighting, <laughs> lol. <laughs> I just want on record that I think we should leave, but I'm willing to try because if he's right, then we'll get more benefit. But if he's wrong, then I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Okay, so we're we're pushing. Uh, I'm on only on sponge. Time track goes up by one. Oh no! Half these don't have sponges. Hurry. Okay, that's everyone. Yeah, but okay. this also has the mountain though. Oh no, where are you? Only sponge. Sorry. Where? No, okay, flip all these, and now it's anyone's turn. So I guess I go here. Do I go first with this? Yes. Okay, so I need a t uh, TV, a monitor, and a compass. And I can reroll. It checks if I need it's to do... on its last space of 148 time. Yeah, so maybe it, I don't know. Move one from the whole pool to the spent pool to turn one into that. Oh, I see. And we should run. I don't know. <laughs> well, do it now. Let's just see what happens here. But either way, we're all in one space I know, away. Like, I know. Like, how are we getting there? I was just going to move him there instead of doing this, but it's fine. You can if you want. No, no, no. But it's we fine. can't do anything until we're all there. I know. I was just going to put him there as prep, but it's fine. This is what we've done. So I'm doing this here. I need to roll three dice because I have to do the whole changeover. Like this guy I'm can't in. get back. He's got to wait till next turn. This guy can get there right now. He's the only one. Oh, wait, are these guys in the wrong spot? Yeah. This guy went here and then came back. Oh, yeah. This guy's down here. Wow, I have the wrong miniature in the wrong spot. Woo! All right. Yeah. I think it's the last time I'm playing with four characters. Okay, we did get this. I need to reroll this die. Keep that just in case. Oh, that's not what I want. Dang it. And cards, do something. I did, that's all I have. This, do abilities, what's this? Got anything? No, no. No, I have nothing. No. No. So charges, do you have charges to spend for something? When you get uh, injuries. injuries. No. Oh, no. I was hoping that this has. So what can you do with this? Look at all these TVs, and I didn't get it. I can do nothing. So I think I gotta go to 148. <gasps> no way. I rerolled it. You it... suck. I rerolled it. Nothing I can do about it. 148. Here we go. It's all gonna fail because of Mel. It's got three monitors on it. I rerolled it. I rolled fault. it twice. It's all Mel's fault. Uh uh. -uh. Yep. And she was already there doing that. This wasn't me telling her. No, to go I would have left. No, you wouldn't have. No, I probably wouldn't have. After action incident report nine six F. We quickly learned our scent and appearance irritated the mites. Each time we met, they released pheromones that seemed to warn other mites of danger. And with We must walk around an unfriendly group of mites. Spend a die. Okay, so it just increasingly gets worse, Harder. probably. Okay. See, we didn't die. It wasn't insta-death. But it will be once this is at the end. Oh my god. Okay, she's gonna she's gonna move and she has a spongy suit, so I yeah, think that's just roll one die, right? So I can uh, ignore. Yeah, you're good. Okay. No, it's not roll one die, it's it's spend a die. It's do a dice oh, check. Oh, so then I can use it, my virtual die. Yes, yeah, okay. you have a virtual die. Okay, and then please be a sponge. Please be a sponge. Oh, it's not a sponge. Dang it. Okay. Oh my god. Is there any way that we can move that back? Like, does anyone have cards to do that? We, I don't know. Probably. Edgar, probably. <laughs> there is. We'll see. Okay, so that was her. Okay. Um, he could probably get out. Yellow just will go. Yellow is going to use the suit to go here. I'll get rid of one die. Wrench? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, yeah, wrench, sure. Uh, okay, then can go here. Boom, done. Event? Event? Uh, nothing, because that one has no symbols. Oh, what the hell, man? This is super lame. I, I thought we can't, end, we, something wrong. we can't end on those spaces. Okay, so he's going to go up here. 
So he's gonna. I just want to see how we could have got out, quote unquote, anyway. Even if we just literally stop I, what we're doing there. No, I know. I just don't know if when you start this, if because everyone has to be there. Mm -hmm. If it, I don't know, we'll see. Like it kind of just moves everyone. It's not whatever, like whatever, man. Let's just keep going through. So I need it, to like... spend a die to move. I gotta roll a die, I guess, right? Yeah, the objective is to climb the claw in sector six to reach the evac zone. That's our goal right now. Which one is any color die? Okay, so I have to roll to travel with this guy. Okay. But no way we're all dead. I think we'll just be a threat of the mites and we have to deal with them. Or mm -hmm. run or whatever. He's going to do this. But I'm just going to use this. During a dice check, you may place this card in the okay. roll pool to add an okay. alien. Yep. So this is gone. Yep, yep, done. Okay, what? Um. Then so to, uh, I gain where? a live discoveries. I'm going to go to six. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gain one live specimen lead and refresh one die used in the dice check. Two. Oh, so we got it. Okay, so maybe this will be helpful. Maybe. That's cool. Shipman. We found a Pokemon. Oh. Telepathic to tor tor toroid. Ship management, when unloaded, move research project R11 telepathy into the awaiting envelope. If present, then remove this discovery from the game. That's okay, cool. So he got that one. Told oh. you guys, I love this, this discovery mechanic. This Just is cool. This Getting the discovery is awesome. Lead tokens suck. I didn't spend any dice, so I don't get to refresh any die. And then he's moving to here. And then I'm going to draw an event. Please be a sponge. Please be a sponge. Please be a sponge. Please. Oh, there's lots. But no sponges. So lame. Oh Log 148. God. Here we go. Oh, my God. After action, incident report 9-6. Wait, the, the track. what? Yeah, it's giving us, we're okay still. We're yeah, okay. we're still good. It knows how many times we're clicking it, so. The mites try to chase us away. Yeah. Each crew member in this sector has to spend two dice. So let's keep one. Let's do those two. Okay. Mission control to team. Get the f out of there. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying. We're trying. Okay. Who's still left? Just yellow. Or blue. Blue. Sorry. Blue, blue is left. So blue can just do. I'm just going to roll this die, right? And get an alien first try. No, I'm going to throw red in there too. Just in case. Hiya! No alien. I suck. Mm, do I have re rolls? Not the green, right? Oh, sorry. I was in this sector by myself, so it was good. Yeah, I don't care. I'll just spend these two. And hi -ya! Mm -hmm. Flip. Event. You could prepare if you wanted. Uh, Prepare. Why? You draw a card if you... Prepare I don't know. sucks. I might as well refresh. Yeah, resting. We can't. We don't have supplies. You can, ex yeah, we don't have supplies. Don't care then. Okay. Oh, I do have roll against C to refresh all dice, but obviously I'd wait till I'm in trouble. All right, give us a sponge. Oh, uh, no sponge. They took the sponge off the market. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, so that's track. Boom. All right, now everybody refresh. We have lots of time. We're fine. Ref <laughs> uh, flip token, flip token. Okay. Uh, so just pink and yellow need to get there. Okay, so. yellow is going to go, and yellow is going to do the little special check. I got a chance to get an alien on here, but only on two sides and a vanguard. So three, 50, 50. I'll throw red in there. Oh, yeah, blue helps me get alien also. Uh, sure. I don't really think. I feel like we'll be doing checks over and over again here. Yeah, because yeah, it did say it was like a fun. grueling climb. Hopefully we have dice remaining. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'll do the Vanguard die, which will gain a live specimen lead if you can do that part, please. And then I'll refresh one die used in the dice Ooh. check. And I will just get the green back, maybe. This one's spent. And I'm here. Plow. Okay. Flip. Okay. Uh, sponge. Nope. 
Is there any sponges on here? Who cares? Keep going. Then she's going to go. She has the suit, so we can move her free here. Mm -hmm. And then I need to get an oh, alien. Oh, we should have had her go first. Because we've had two people go there that didn't have other actions. So we're going to pretend that she went first. Oh, I see. So she's there. I see. And then the other two will go back and redo their second turns or whatever. Who cares? Okay, I just need to do a green yeah, yeah, and a yeah. red. Because I don't have any. Did this guy already do all this oh, stuff? Oh, Vanguard. So then I'll say that it's a, yeah. I get a live specimen lead. I don't know. Zero. I get to refresh one of the die. I'll take green. Yeah, because then we could have had uh, with all three of them, right? Yeah. Dude. So then yellow could go pretend yellow yeah, went yeah, now because yeah. you'd still have an action to do that. Okay. So it's a skill check. Uh, you may perform the dice check only if all crew members are in the sector. Yeah, because we totally ineff inefficient. I didn't realize that this one could get all the way there. Like, uh, that was possible, the uh, last one. I think. Okay, so, um, looking for any two dice can be spent, which is fine, but you get to refresh a die if you get strength and compass. I don't have anything other than I can give you. And an accident does gain a wounded injury. Hmm. Oh, you're right. Hold on, hold on. Blue didn't go this turn. That wasn't a thing. Okay, I thought I just forgot to move it. Was blue already there? Okay, one second. Sorry. Uh, blue, strength, and compass. Didn't you already do a location action this turn? Oh, yeah, to get out of here. Oh, you're is right. Long, so it we doesn't can't matter. Do that. We can't do that. Thank you. So thank we you, can thank keep you. it the same way. Did yeah. I draw my event card, though? Never I mind. think I did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We can't do it. Did I draw my event card, though? I don't For know. My pink? I don't know. But purple or blue, or I don't know. I don't think I did. So blue can still do it this turn. And so can purple. So no sponge, so. Purple is already there too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, it's all blending together. So this goes up one, sorry. Now, um, so you can go. Uh... Okay, so blue is going to go and try to do this check, yeah, right? Yeah. Strength and compass. I don't have anything I can throw in to help you, I don't think. Other than vanguards. Could throw in a red die. Take a risk. It's just any two dice is fine. I don't care about refreshing. I think. Oh yeah, I guess. Yeah. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. Oh, strength. Um, oh, I guess I could have done. Hold on, some trickery. Move two to make. Uh, oh, I see. So what I could have done. I have trickery on these level two cards. Yeah, I think I can manipulate it with this. So if I just roll in the one and don't roll this one with it. No, you got to roll. So you have to roll three to do this. To move two from the owner's roll pool to owner's spent pool. What's the roll pool? This. Oh, okay. So you need okay. to roll the green one I plus thought it one was more. This. I thought it was this. Okay. Uh, so this was like this, right? Yeah, and then, and then just one more. So I would throw one more in, but I don't want it to be an accident. So I don't roll the Vanguard one. Like this one's bad. It can, it can be. No, I don't want an accident because accident automatically gets wounded injury. I don't want that. I don't think it will be there. Oh, but I can spend it? Because you're going to manipulate it first. But then if I could just get the Vanguard. Sure. Okay, whatever, man. Oh my god, it's all spend. Right? Because it's not like an instant. Yeah, it is an instant. Yes. Okay, yeah, well, don't do that. Sense. That's dumb. Okay. Well. Oh, you need to have four total dice for this to work. Sorry. Because you're going to move two to change. Oh, this really sucks. Then, yeah. Right? Yeah. So maybe you just go yeah. with your first roll. Okay. Yeah. 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 Duh. Because you have to roll four. I don't even remember what that the was hell there. I had yeah. here. So dumb. Okay. You just gain a success. Spend two. Done. Gain that. Oops, sorry. And then replace this with what number is P172, please. P172. Please, please, please. Please be the end, but we know it won't be because this one refreshes dice, so they're obviously going to be keep doing more checks. The climb. More climb. Oh, we just got to keep replacing cards until we get to an end. So we reach head spinning heights. The end is nowhere in sight. Oh, so climb again. This one. This one's so hard. Three. Three dice move at one. Yeah, wow. I'm not going to have enough dice to do this. 
Yeah, how do we do it without supplies? I have an adrenaline shot, but like, how are you supposed to do this normally? I can gain two supplies, but like, I don't know where they go and where we're tracking them. Like, I can spend a die to gain two supplies. Yeah, like, but how like, do we lose all supplies? Like, we lost Exerting, I think, yeah, it's our only oh, way. exerting is the way to do it. Yes, okay, that makes sense. All right. We only have so so many. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I forgot about that part. I forgot about a lot of parts of this game when we take a break from it. All right. Climb to the top. We now have a fan. Yeah. For this. Oh, yes, we do. Breathtaking footage. We've got to roll all that, though. Oh my god, I don't think this we can do all so this. This is so dumb. This is dumb. Yep. I, I don't know what we're doing with this. <laughs> this whole rank up mechanic is lame. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just so weird. Like, I wish you just, like, I, I wish they just, uh, too many board game designers and publishers are just trying to copy Gloomhaven and think, like, they want to be Gloomhaven, so let's copy what it does. But not everything Gloomhaven does is great. And, like, man, I just wish we earned XP points that we could spend and like this this little success tokens i think is fun mm -hmm. but like having to earn them on the planet is the rough part. or that they carried over yeah like, like they do carry over for buying dice but they don't yeah. carry over for rank I, I just don't know what maybe we're doing it completely wrong but it's like never getting to level up feels bad man it doesn't like drive me that much to play but i like buying dice though that's fun though but yeah the rank up mechanic like we just picked the wrong one but like we didn't know like too much unknowns when you're making that decision. And then it's all luck and like pushing your luck and stuff. I don't know. It's weird. Not a fan of it. Not a fan of them ripping off battle goals from uh, Gloomhaven for their level up mechanic. And it based on like heavily based on luck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a fan. Not a fan. Just need to be XP that you earned. Like you play more planets, you push more things, and they just keep giving you XP to add up a number. So if I, we did push our luck, give me more XP. If we ran away from a planet too quick, we get less XP. Right. You know, you find a cool discovery, it gives you some XP. Everything should be XP on everything. And I'd be... Just, just why... Like, I like the way they try to experiment and do cool things. But sometimes they just copy something. And, like, too many companies are doing that now. Or, like, trying to be the Me Too to the Gloomhaven stuff. But, like... Yeah, sometimes you don't want to do all that stuff. But anyways. It's personal preference. But, yeah. Just, just rambling. Don't listen to me. All right, let's carry on. This guy shouldn't have this because he's got cards up here. I should. Oh, yeah, it just frustrates me too much. Have that one. Uh, okay, that was blue. You have one more action. But I can't really do anything. I, I don't know. Uh... Nothing. I'll draw a card or something. I can't uh, prep. Yeah, maybe. Just draws a card, right? Mm -hmm. No, that doesn't. Yeah, I definitely should build my decks because my cards suck. I, that's my bad. I should have just took all level one cards because they probably were better in this stuff that I'm doing. All right, okay. Event. We do have two symbols now. Oh, this got lots of symbols. We got a fan. Lose one supply or roll on table G. You want to lose a supply? I don't know if we can do something I we can't we do. I think we can't, yeah. So we're on table G. I, I don't know. That's you. Just... There's table G. One. One. Lose a item, which is... Oh, there's my adrenaline shot that would have got me all these dice back. That's gone. Cool. Cool beans. Okay. Uh, Then purple has to defend three dice. Oh, oh, Bob says, I typically try to meet the rank up requirement as soon as possible because you just might not have time later. Yeah, we yep. should have probably done the other card, right? I think we probably would have. We probably would have had the of... yeah. Yeah, maybe I don't know, but then it cleared but we all need the six successes to rank up you guys, like the, know, all the. So it's not we would have never gonna happen. I, yeah. I don't understand. All right, purple like, we're is definitely doing the... playing wrong. Like something is wrong. We suck. I I don't know what it is. All or right. we're still early and it doesn't matter yet. Maybe success tokens will be easier to get later. I don't know. I don't think I even want to try to re-roll all these. So let's just. But spend all three, three dice of any color to make it go up one. Okay. Yeah. And then I will exert 
which is free. Let's exert. I don't think I need this one. To refresh five, I need uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I will just prepare. Mm. Bring a dice check if your sector has at least two biome icons, reroll two dice. Yes, we're taking that one. Okay, done. Event. Uh, time track. Okay, I think that's all of us. Oh, blue just went, right? Yeah, blue went before me. Okay, we're all done. So refresh them all. She says, I agree. Gloomhaven definitely ruined the board game industry. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, the photo one was a good one. Pick says, Bob. Mass player says, like, suggested level one cards have a lot of generically good rerolls, and I do miss those. Uh, while the other cards are more specialized to whatever the section likes to do. Yeah. Yeah. I just picked because I was just like, I don't really care. The cards always just sit there, and like half the times they're useless because they're very situational and drawing new ones and replacing them. I do like that. Uh, definitely, I should take more time to build a deck, though. Don't play the way I'm playing. Definitely is wrong. But I just wanted to see some of these cards because some of them seem like really powerful. But it's like, man, maybe I don't. I could have just had some rerolls that have been happier. Now I know. Now I know. It's good. Thank you, Master. I appreciate it. Uh, Minion number Q says, I wonder if you could have done more quickly before breathtaking the planet and you happen to do it quickly. Yeah, I think we should have tried to hit it faster. But again, like we didn't know what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Um. And then Ponta says, yeah, I would spend more time building the decks instead of just taking all level two and three cards. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, most playthroughs on this planet seem to trigger the mites in about the same time frame. Okay. Oh, okay. And I actually play Arkham Horror 2nd Edition wrong for years. Oopsie. I feel like it's easy to miss the little rules that can have a big effect on a lot of these games. Yeah, yeah that's sure. true. Absolutely. Colin Back, who I thought was going to bed. Um, <laughs> they want to see what happens. What I here. often forget when playing is the dice check bottom ability on cards. Don't know if they're helpful here, but don't forget. But I do. I, I know, I, I know. Completely. Because that whole spending to do things, like I look at this and I'm like, spend this to draw cards. So I'm losing a die. But yeah, it might be a die that I'm going to spend anyway, right? Or lose anyway to draw three cards. Okay. But I already have cards in hand. I'm good, right? But mm -hmm. if I'm low on cards, it never seems to happen because I don't use them draw three cards okay cake that's creative and then uh this last one here a vanguard symbol which i usually would spend that on doing the check or like i, I wouldn't the whole idea of like just doing a prep action spending a vanguard to get this done or during a skill check you'd have to be rolling extra die and especially in this yeah. case where we don't have supplies i just it doesn't like it, i don't know again maybe later in the game we have lots of dice and we're really good and tons of options we're, we're just like specialized Mm -hmm. Maybe this is like more of a thing I lean into, but use the dice combination effect from a chosen card in your hand. Discard that card as normal. Yeah, I usually also prioritize the rerolls and stuff at the yeah. top. Yeah, same. Like I, I like these cards for just a top ability. I don't know. I'm, I just don't like this thing. I don't. I feel like it's a waste. I don't know, but I might be wrong. <laughs> Matthew says I'm hoping Rob's frustration will get us back into dungeon crawlers. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but I'm having fun. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> You don't like adventure games, Matthew? <laughs> That's so funny. I like when adventure games mix in dungeon crawling. That's what I like. But yeah. <laughs> this adventure game stuff. Yeah, I don't know. In sci-fi. Eh. Thank you, Matthew. That was funny. Matthew, thank you. This game is super cool. It's uh, yeah, it's definitely super cool. There's a lot here. But maybe streaming it is just a little hard. I don't know. It's like too much and I don't know. It doesn't I don't know. It's just messy on the screen. You got it's, it might be hard to follow along. I get lost in it. I don't know. It's a weird one. Cool game, though. Maybe not great for streaming. Um, does effects make it... Does effects make it worth it to put more dice into important roles? Ah, okay, okay. For sure. Uh, George is saying, for, so, for example, if you have a card that tells you to discard two dice to turn one to a chosen result... Oh, sorry, George oh. was saying... Hold on. Those are better later in the game. Like I thought, okay. The idea is you have those level two and three cards to let you spend extra dice to turn the dice into the v or the brackets result 
So you roll extra dice, but if you don't need to use the card, you spend the extra dice on the dice combination bottom parts of the card. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like I just felt later when we have an abundance of dice, we're rolling with level two and level three guys, and we have a we have our dice slots all filled down here. Then I'm like, yeah, let's do crazy dice checks. Let's let's push it, right? Right. Or sometimes yeah. you just throw like one extra die in if you're gonna refresh or something. Yeah, very cool. Very but... cool. Again, I'm 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 excited to see like where this game evolves to and like how we evolve and how planets aren't as intimidating maybe and like get into some crazy situations. See where the story goes and the surprises. But uh right now. I could easily just put this game away and just forget about it and move on. I'm like still like kind of in both situations, but that's just me. Again, remember, it's not a fantasy themed game. You know, it's it's like generic space. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never something I've really been into, but. Um, but yeah, I love adventure games. I do love adventure games. We play Lord of the Rings, Journey of Middle Earth. Again, has Lord of the Rings IP, though, has the app stuff integrated. Love it. Planes of Galzir, a little more light, but again, it's roaming around, dice checks, story decisions and stuff, pushing your luck. Uh, it's there, it's just in a lighter package. I don't know, explore it. Another adventure game, but just has some new things to it. It's also fantasy, so it's just, that's just me. But I, I like that this exists for people who love, who love like Star Trek kind of stuff, you know, and spacey stuff. Game is really cool though, really neat. But yeah, it's just I personally, I'm just like, I could take it or leave it. This is not a game I would like must have in my collection. And it's still even playing it a bunch. I still I am going back like I wouldn't have backed it for sure. I would still would have waited for retail and then looking at it on retail. I probably wouldn't have bit the bullet on it just because of how many games we have in our collection. I just don't need one like this, but I do like it. It's cool. But yeah, it's just not like blowing me away or anything. But uh, yeah. Uh, Pontus, we don't have that game. I probably wouldn't even get that game ever. Uh, I did look at that quickly, but that game just doesn't look like something we'd really, yeah, mm -hmm. really need in our collection. It looks like a knockoff of a, like kind of a Familiar Tales kind of style game, right? Or not a knockoff, but just the same category. Yeah. And uh, yeah, don't need some of those games right now. But, uh... Yeah, just the art of it even just makes me not want it. <laughs> the graphic design of that game just turns me off. But uh, yeah, that's me being superficial. Yeah, that game is not even, yeah, not even a consideration. All right. Uh, minion number Q says, this game seems cool, but not enough to justify the price in my opinion. i definitely pick it up if it got a digital version like Gloomhaven. Oh, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, yeah. this 100%. I would play through digitally, hundred percent. That would take away a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Again, Kickstarter itis, Kickstarter itis. Just more, more stuff in the box to make you feel like you're spending your money and getting more for your money. Uh, this is like right here. This image you see on your screen. This is Kickstarter itis, right? Just more stuff to have stuff, right? But uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're you don't even see it all. You there's so much more. But anyways, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. How do you like the game, Mel, so far? Uh, so it's interesting, actually, to think about that. The game is interesting. Sorry, you... sorry is asking from Finland. No worries. So you have to answer. Thank you. From, welcome from Finland. Hello, sorry. Um, Hello from Canada. <laughs> the, the game is neat. I do think it's interesting. Um, I guess I'm at a point where... Like we played the game, it's cool. I'm not a, I'm not a uh, sci-fi fan. I'm not a space theme, whatever. I don't. I could take it or leave it. I don't really care. Um, so I think this is kind of to a point where if Rob was like, I don't really want to play it anymore, I'd be like, okay, sure. But if he did say, let's play it tomorrow, I'm like, okay, sure. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm. I'm not like. Like it's not a bad game. It's not a bad game. It's fun, it's, but it's, it's not one yeah. that I'm like. I need to see where this goes either. Yeah. There's like no characters. No characters I'm attached to. The yeah. story seems kind of neat. Um, I like that it's different though. Yeah, it's definitely different. Like it's unique to some things we play, but it's very similar to other things we played. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I do have to. I'm not gonna lie. I think my favorite part is actually the ship book, more so than this part, where you're probably the opposite, I like right? This part. Yeah, yeah. 
Where me, I'm like, let's yeah, make the like, things push it. and have the people. Yeah, and... yeah. I'm like, hurry up, just slide the cards over, pick some damn <laughs> things, put some things in the card holders. Yeah. But I just want to get to the damn planet and then push our luck and have a monster jump out of a, a hole and try Which to get us. Which is weird because this for me is so random. Like, yeah, know, it tells us what symbols we need, but it's like the right person might not be on the right one when I you know. flip it over because yeah. before it's just blank, right? That's, that's the idea of the unknown. We're going on planets we've never been on. We're scanning them and we're barely knowing anything. So it has to be kind of random. Yeah. It has to be guesswork thematically. It just has to be. Yeah. It has to be random card decks of discoveries and stuff. But the ship book, to me, yeah. you can manipulate that. So I like yeah. that part better. Oops. Which is weird. I do like the shipbook stuff, the, the progression of time in the shipbook. Like, who the hell sat there and went, how are we going to show the progression of projects, people healing, uh, memorializing the dead? Like, how do we do all this? Who the hell was like, you know what? They're sitting over there, like, looking through their baseball card collection, and they're like, hey, we could use these sheets mm -hmm. from this binder I have. You know? Like, who? Uh, that blows me away. I like that. Creatively, that is genius. Whoever did that needs a raise. Whoever thought of that idea. Yeah, I think it's very clever, yeah, very yeah. unique. I yeah. think it's a great. Yeah. I think it's a great little system. I love that part of the game. I'm not saying I don't love this part of the game because I do. Um, I just like that part better. Matthew says, "I think we're watching a campaign die in real time." <laughs> I don't remember where we are. We're starting our yeah. turn with whoever but I say, wants. To I go. say this every time. This campaign may just end out of nowhere. And I'm okay with that. Could you imagine anybody that has no idea what's going on, right? And they're like, I'm just going to see what Rob and Mel are playing. They open and they see this. They'd be like, what the heck is yeah, happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is a lot. Yeah. I do appreciate everyone that watches. I, yeah. I, I see the numbers are okay. Like, people love hanging out and watching this game. Um, surprisingly, more people watch it than I assumed would keep watching. So yeah. I'm interested to keep pushing. I still know we're still early in the game. Like, and I bet the coolest stuff is yet to come. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Well, there are some games that Mel have painted them already. I would have easily forgotten about this game and been playing those. Yeah. And maybe coming back to this, but I mean, there's always new games coming out, so it's like hard to... And there's always old games that I want to play that are on my bucket list um, that I would, you know, want to try too, so... Mm -hmm. But I do think some of the mechanics in this game are clever and interesting, yeah. and I like them. And obviously the components, it's Awakened Realms, like, yeah. it's knock it out of the park, of course. But... For me, just like the story part doesn't grab me, but that's just me. Because I'm not into that stuff. Yeah. So sometimes when like the story's playing, I'm not yeah. really listening. Same. Same. <laughs> but it's fine. But I do well like done. I do like the yes, the voice acting of different voice actors and all that stuff. Yeah. Like, oh my god, that's so good that they yeah. did that. But yeah. if you like space, I think that would just be like a cherry on top then. Yeah, this is all cool for people who like sci-fi. Yeah. Like awesome. Yeah. But yeah, just it's hard. We we have already that working against us. But I play games with themes I don't care for. I don't, I don't mind uh, that. Pontus, do you get like a cut for sales of that game? <laughs> no, I think... Or do I you think... know someone who works there? No. you're like really pushing it and it's like a little weird. No, they. I think Pontus said because he's playing it right now. So he's, oh, like, he's like excited about it. I see, I see. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a little spammy. You've mentioned it like 70 times in the chat. So it's like... Like, I don't know how it's related other than it's its own like little adventure game, but... Pontus is excited about it. I know, but <laughs> it's like... That's weird. Um, am I still watching? Rob, I would check the stats. <laughs> we can't see. Oh, it's gone up. More people tuned in. We can't uh -oh. see. Matt, right. thank you so much. Let's so. continue. Oh, it's a similar type of game, says Pontus. Oh, and I love it. Oh, okay. okay. I That's see. I cool. see. So it is like a, the same genre. Uh... And George says, I would be interested in watching playthroughs of that game. All right, get out of here, guys. Stop. <laughs> I don't need more games in the pile right now. All right. George also says, but Mel, when will you ever break a planet? Again, break a planet. I mean, I can't believe that happened. That did shock me. Oh, was it a Nikki Valens game? Oh. See, now that has me a little now more Now you're interested. interested a little bit? A little bit more. We can look into it later. We didn't do much looking into it. Oh, Matthew also says, oh, I think this is the second stream I've watched. Saw the Marvel Champions one, too. Oh, so you're new. Welcome, then. Welcome. Oh, nice. <laughs> you are a very funny asset to our, cha oh, our is. chat and community. It is Nikki Valens. Nice. Yeah, it's Renegade Game Studios, so obviously you know, there's some, some quality behind it. They don't seem to publish junk, but... <laughs> Cool, okay. cool, cool. So I can go, I exerted, did I? Yeah, I spent a die in there. Uh, I exerted with him to refresh my die. So 
we're at the start of anyone's turn. I can go spend sure. three dice to yep, do that. Yep, yep. So, and I got some rerolls. Yeah, here. I feel like so we have so many cards to climb one, through. One. Uh, push. Two. We gotta hurry. We're gonna hit one for eight again. Three. I got an accent, but I can re-roll a green. Okay, we're good. So now I spend three dice. Just to move it once? Just to move it once. Yeah, it's tough. You didn't get any... No, I got... Strength I got or all... compass? No, I got all oh. that. Got all that. Okay. Now I can prep just to gain a card back. Let's see, like, maybe let's not waste it on that. Like, have people go who can do strength and compass because they can more efficiently get it over, and then maybe that person's more efficient on the next card that shows up. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, why'd you do that? I thought you because went because was... you had the thing. No. Oh, man. But you're gonna roll, you're still gonna roll three dice, even if you have the thing, just in case, right? Sure, yeah. I don't know. So... But it's like, what if somebody got it, like, all the way across and, like, the one... But you're only gonna, even with strength and compass, oh, a strength or a compass. Yeah, like it. it's one symbol versus, th one dice versus three. Yeah, go ahead. Carry on. Killing me, man. Uh, You're killing me, no, Smalls. No symbols. We move the track. Yep. All right, then. Go ahead. Whoever. Well, you already now wasted a time and a three dice is where I'm at. Well, maybe I didn't waste it. Uh, Okay. Maybe I just made it easier for okay. to win. I don't know. Sure. All right. Compass. Anyone have compass? Yeah, possibly. Possibly, but not likely. Oh, compass is here. I'd have to exert to get some compasses back. Yeah. Oh, you have compass and strength. I see. Yeah, oh, that person should have gone refresh. first. Why did I flip that one? That person should go first. Okay, so let me... I'll go. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'll exert with this one. Refresh all these dice. Still going to roll three dice. <laughs> one, two, three. We got one compass, two compass. Oh, that's all we need. Two compass. Boom, boom. Replace with P173. Oh, P173. I still have... The top. The top of the claw is wider than expected, but the constant winds smooth its surface into a slippery slide. Can't exit. Has a flag. So we're at the end, right? Yeah. So that means please, please be at the end. Uh, repel up. A red die, place a marker on your crew board. If all living crew members have a marker on their crew board, go to log 70. If you roll an accident, you die. You slip off, you're dead. Oh. Wow. 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 So re-rolling red right now or ignoring accident rolls or something are the jam. Okay. That's She's the jam. She's done, but then let's do a... Wow, that's not, awesome. Not a symbol. Best game ever. Not a symbol, so that is a... Do that rank up. Okay, can we even do that? Do the rank up? Oh, sorry, one more symbol on there. One more move here? Move, yeah, sorry. Uh oh No symbols. Do the rank up? We only have two. Like, who are... We can't even rank up my I level one. I think what he's saying is flip this card, and it, it then, like, it's completed, and then this card is gone, so we don't have to deal with it ever again. And then you just have to have these to level up. But I actually like that card better than half the ones in there. I don't know. I, I don't again, know. Tell, I, tell me why, Bob. Maybe I'm misunderstanding yeah, something. Explain. See, now it makes more <laughs> sense for you why I didn't just You just need there. to see. You just need to see. <laughs> take the photo as you fall off the cliff. I know, right? <laughs> Here, let me just stand by the edge and take a pic. Oh! It's, oh, it's not, not gone, gone if, if no, no one levels. levels. Oh, okay. Yeah, but so why am I why am I taking a photo though? Yeah. If I we don't, don't have it. three at least three even. Yeah. Like yes, maybe we'll get one in the in the final. Oh, I see. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. But then it would just be to rank up one person. Yeah. Who may die Part falling off the cliff. If you only have two success tokens, it won't help. But you might get one more. Oh, that's what ooh. I'm thinking. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. But if she dies falling off a cliff, then it won't even so who matter. Who can even do this? Who can even do this? She can, I Who think. Who can get the strength, the compass, and like three vanguards, basically, or like a mix of some. Caleb, thank you for becoming a Patreon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. She can much do that. What's the other one? What's the third one? Oh, yeah, she can do it. 
It is monitor, compass, and uh, flex in at the beach. Yeah. Yeah, remember to assist. I know, I know. Oh, assisting, yes. She can do it, but she'll have to do it next turn. I mean, I can try. I can throw it all, all right. in with... Can we... Well, I don't know who has turns. Everyone? Uh, these two have gone. Okay, so security guy is going to find out if he falls off the cliff. He's just going to roll this red die, and he's going to do that action. Do you have a reroll? Yeah, I hope so. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Dice check. Reroll any number of reds. Is this like a one in six that just happened? Yeah. Yes, it is. F this game. <laughs> Sending card. You might lose a two coster. Or a two level. That's all good. I don't have the book that shows their personal stories, so I don't care about these people. <laughs> Let's see you guys talk about that in the chat. Oh no! He was meant to die! Hold on. Do we have more? Nope. And nope. Oh. This is crazy. Does it say we have to read something? Um. Yeah. Go to log 850. 850. So let's leave him there Happily, for a second. Happily, let's do it. No, no. What happens if we all die? We end the damn game. Remove your crew member from the rank sleeve. Yeah. Oh, sorry. They're saying someone else could, like, I could give you a reroll of red. Because we're technically all there. Oh, okay. Should we do that first? Yeah, whatever. I have one. Uh, yeah, sorry. If you, yeah, we're all there. Okay. Yeah. I forgot all about. Okay, the I have a... I forgot about the assisting of cards. Also, I have a reroll one red die. Sure. I might need it for myself. Okay. You're yeah, alive. Yeah, yeah, you're alive. Yeah, yeah. You're alive. Whatever. So uh, then what happens? Adrian's dead to me. All right. Place a crew marker on your crew board. Oh, if yeah. all living crew members have a marker, done. Uh, go to log seventy. Okay. I assume you still Flip. need to draw an event. Should I exert, though, to get dice back? No, I don't care, right? I don't know. You're already at the top. Uh, yeah, but does everyone have red dice to use? You know, that are... Uh, I guess oh. those guys suck, so... Uh, so that's going to go to the end. You have a card. You have to discard accidents. Bob, you have a card. You have to discard it. Sorry, George, I'm not 100% sure. Safety protocol. But I thought, um... Yeah, but if I move one with the accident from the roll pool to my spent pool, then I don't have one to spend to succeed Oh, then the he check. still would die. Yeah, and then I fail, right? Because, yeah, because... Yeah, that's why I, you I don't read spend it. A red like, die. Yeah, I thought it doesn't help me. No, it doesn't. For sure? Am I misunderstanding something? I don't know. I know I looked at it right away. I was like, yeah, oh no. I need to roll two dice for that. Yeah, because this yeah. card. I need to roll both dice, and if one was an accident, then I get rid of one, but yeah. it doesn't like doesn't help. Because right? then your crew member would still die, yeah. I think. I think I still Unless do we're reading it. that wrong, but. Would have been better TV if you yeah, yeah. third accent for sure. I would have one would more reroll I could give him, Wouldn't but be the first time. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, so the, then oh, this guy can go. Yep. Red die. Oh my god. Oh, uh, he's safe. He's safe. Okay, do you got a marker? Purple cube. Purple cube. <laughs> Can't get him out of You here. can do it, Elizabeth. Oh, uh -oh. Elizabeth's gonna pull. Uh, Is it a fan? Is it a fan? No. It's a fan. Oh, it, is. it is. Floating debris. You, you may, may two, you two. may spend two dice yes. to Done. roll a D10. Where's the D10? Right here. Done. Two dice. Uh, you gain four leads of the following type. Eight. eight. I rolled eight. You get live specimens. So four live specimen ahead. leads. Yeah, you would draw from the bag. I don't want to touch the bag. Uh, one, two. <laughs> I'll roll the pickaxe. Three. Oh, look at that. Does that mean anything? Four. I don't think so, right? No. So we could do one, and that'll go back in. I guess I could have used my portable probe also there instead of spending that die. This is for you. And then these go on. Actually, we'll say that went there, Oops. too. This is a... Oh, you're oh no. There we go. Blooming Lorif Lorisifera. Ship management, one unloaded. You may discard this card to draw one random strange flora discovery. No, it goes by your board. Oh, yes. We don't have a place to store them. That was this one. That's all of us. With so my royal jelly. Are you jelly? Flip. You jelly of my jelly? I'm jelly. Okay. Then, pink 
recon will go. Oh yes. Okay, can I can I use this equipment on someone else's turn? Place this card. In. Oh, of any crew member in your sector. Ah, okay, perfect. Even better. Okay. So I could have saved this guy with that. Oh no, not with the accident though. But yeah, you don't have to roll if you don't have a red or don't want to risk it. I got. Okay, you. if you can for a Done. for red. Bent. Portable probe. So she gets one of these. That's gone. And then back to the. And then. Um. What was I going to help? Oh, I was going to prepare. I wanted to just grab a card. Okay. And then event. We got a fan. No way. Yep. Mes oh my God. Oh, uh, we're fine. We're fine. I'll just spend three dice. One, two, three. Oh probe my the God. other guy, yeah. Bend over. I got okay. a purple probe for you. Then purple. Purple can actually, because this is a Finnish planet, uh, whenever you make a dice check in a Finnish sector, you may ro roll one die from your spent pool. So I'll roll this. I can re-roll three times. Oh, yeah, Mass Flare, good point. We're good. That would have been cool, actually. We're good. Okay. And then that's gone. And now everybody has them on there. So, so right now on this check, we're going to log 70. Yeah. Oh, uh, back. Rapple up, folks. The cavalry's here. Please repeat away, team. We're losing you. Go higher, damn it. Your jet blast is cracking the surface. We're detecting additional signatures on the mountaintop. What's happening there? They're crawling out of the woodwork. Let's pull up! Fast! We're hit. I repeat, the evacuation craft is hit. They're shooting some organic webbing at us. The evac zone is compromised. I repeat, the evac zone is compromised. We're aboarding. No, wait. I'll draw their attention. Negative, away team two. Do not engage. I repeat, do not... Wow, that was intense. Yeah, man. This is like... You just like really wanted to save the team. Okay, that was epic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do. Unbuckles have. the seatbelt, jumps into the mouth of the beast. Do you have... Oh, we do, right? Do you it, have wait. Unique Discovery 33 Royal Jelly? Hold oh, on, do we or is it over do. there? No, we have it. You have it? No one's okay. taken my jelly. Okay. Court Martial Proceedings 3-5-A. Away Team Testimony 3 we were sure the defendant was going to die, fending off mites. But then we noticed the container. The defendant cracked it open and spilled the royal jelly all over the mound's top. The mites immediately lost interest in us and rushed over to save every small drop of the slime. We were able to catch the defendant with one of the tethers and flew to safety. All members of the away team strongly believe the defendant should be acquitted of all charges, including disobeying the direct order and destroying a valuable sample. Instead, we recommend the defendant for the Medal of Bravery. That was sick. <laughs> that was sick. All right, discard mission card M52. So we've officially climbed the claw in Sector 6 and reached the evac zone. Thank goodness. We gain a success. Surprise. But we lose discard unique discovery 33. Womp womp. Yeah, we, we had to use it to save our uh, Someone can't keep their oh. seatbelt on. Remove the L4 landing card Everstorm from the game. Okay, so we, here, let me note this, that we can't come back here on yeah, yeah. the board. <laughs> Dear note taker, good job. Where are we? G, uh, uh, G4 SETI or something? Uh, Giffy 4B. Oh, Jiffy. Jiffy 4, Jiffy 4. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. In okay. space, no one can hear you scream. Yeah. Or hear you spilling your jelly on the mic. <laughs> place basic lander board next to the planet board and place all discoveries from crew boards as well as your rank up card in the indicated lander board slots. We don't really need to actually I know, do that, right? it's like whatever, who cares. Congratulations. Oh. You survived. Wow. You did it. Wow. Shuffle the S13 ship situation card, food shortage. 
from the future situations into possible situations. Okay, S13. Got it. They disobeyed a direct order and destroyed the samples. Yes, a court martial hearing. That was awesome. That's okay, awesome. Into I love possible it. situations. Done. Are you on Everstorm? I mean, not anymore, right? Didn't we beat it? <laughs> yes. Are you a truthful player? What will you click? Well, who knows what the no is. Open the ship book at page 25, leaving the planet, and begin ship management. Oh. Okie dokie. 25. Now we enter the second half of the game session, uh, cleaning up all the crap. Clean up components. Jeez, this Each part I don't look forward to. Crew member returns their sector cards and sector dice to their sector compartment, section compartment. Okay, so this. No, oh, these. Here. Sector dice. These. The blue. Nice. We're not leveling up dice anyway, so we don't need to actually keep them Oh, yeah, true. Them out. And then cards purple. too. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I I need to improve on deck building, thousand percent. Uh, I need to take it more serious. For sure, for sure. Okay. Return all equipment cards from the planetary planetary board on the lander next to the crew boards to the armory. So that's all of our these. Okay, they go to the armory. I'll put them there for a second. Return any POI cards with a do not save. Uh, return any threat cards. We don't have any. Return any optional missions. We don't have any. Return all lead tokens. Okay, to the bag. Um, return all turn tokens. You just gave me all those. Time tokens, equipment tokens, markers. Crew member minis. I'm off the board. Uh... The lander, the start token, all remaining dice in the box. Okay, return all global condition cards. That's good. Component check. Make sure the following components are out. The planet board with all revealed non-save ones. Okay, that's good. So did we gain these discoveries back? No, no. right? The lost, they're just gone. So I, I don't know where those go. We're going to shuffle them back into these decks. Oh, oh, these oh okay, okay, okay. Sorry. And that goes I there. see us. Um, decks of cards, discovery deck, event deck, and injuries, crew boards, crew uh, crew member cards, no one has and any injuries, and the lander board with any mod. Gather discoveries, unique discoveries. Okay, docking. Mission failure, we don't have to worry about that. Discard excess discoveries. Uh, so we don't need to save this planet, right? Because are... we can't come back? Am I okay just to clean up all these cards off it? That's I probably, right? think so. I think so. Uh... Assemble available crew member. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, if you have more discoveries, we don't have more yeah, than me. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because we'll never come back, so it doesn't matter, right? Each player takes all crew member from the resting crew. So these go back in the point of interest, I think. Yeah, just put them right here. I got to put them away. Uh, resting crew. If you can separate those. Uh, but just leave their crew on your board. And do -do. Leave crew members on their board until, or for now. Players can control more than one sector. Okay. Crew members in your hand are now available. They're briefing. Promote crew members. If the rank up card was flipped, it was not. Create a success pool. Take all success tokens from the lander on the, okay. Add them to success token bag, which I have somewhere here. Oh, maybe we do have enough to. Oh, no. We put away all but the dice so we can get I think we, dice. we had eight dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I guess we could buy one. Uh, buy one or more dice. You may buy new dice for all sectors to do this. Discard any number of success tokens from the success pool equal to the number of dice currently owned by each section. We could technically use a crew member, but then we, if you're not playing with a level two, you will have to discard one die at the beginning. Because... Right now, we currently have eight, so we have enough for our level ones. So if you're ever playing with a level so one... So we could just buy later, is what you're saying? We could. I, I don't know, because these level twos are going to go sleep, right? Yeah. So yellow has no level twos. Uh, blue does. Okay. But we might not take them pink, based on symbols doesn't. we're looking for. Pink doesn't. Purple has one. Purple has one. But again, if they don't have the symbols we're looking for, like, might not be smart to take them anyway. I don't know. 
but only two people will be able to use these new dice. But then we get to pick the dice, right? Yeah. So we also get to choose dice with the symbols we want to then uh, put in Elise's spot. So we can get rid of some of the ones that were like, ah, I don't want that die, I want this die instead. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so then I gotta pick let's, back. Yeah, let's give us, yeah, exactly. Bob's saying uh, options for you even at level one. Yes, 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 yes. I agree. Let's give some different options to pick from, right? Okay, let me just put these back in and see what's going on. I didn't, I forgot we had a little bit of leftover. What am I doing? All right, give the little dice buckets. Yeah, like these ones are the double of something. I am not a fan of the ones we took before with like this. Like this one I thought would be cool because it's like, oh man, it has like a chance of getting all symbols on it. But like I never take it because it's not guaranteed. Like it's like just gives you a, like maybe it's still good. I don't know. I don't know. Whoops, this goes here. Hmm. But like these ones have like double. So for like, yeah, we need strength to push a green across or defense to push across or axe, you know, like the double results seem cool. I like those. But I could be totally wrong. Oh, we can take more vanguards too, right? That like, uh, you can get more risky with it. Oh, listen to this. Sorry, I forgot about this. Each time you buy a die, you may assign one crew member of rank two or three to be an instructor. Oh, so you if need we... to put the two in together. Yeah, but I think we can sell dice. I, we just never did that. So one second. You may also sell dice from each section as long as the dice does not reduce the number of dice in each sector to fewer than four. Yeah, yeah. While when you sell a die, each player takes one die from their sector compartment and returns it to the box, then adds four success tokens to the success pool. Oh, you can only sell dice once per sh ship management. Buying or selling dice, buying and selling of dice can be done in any order. All sections must have the same number of dice for after this step. So we would. So we would just sell a no, die to buy another. No, don't Just rest at level two. Yeah, okay, okay. I don't think we do anything here. Yeah, let's do the rest. Yeah, you want to max your dice ASAP. Sorry, what does the rest at level two mean? Am I blanking? Sorry. I don't know. Here, just take, uh, take her. She's two. So that, that does what we need to do, right? Oh, to get another die. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. I just wasn't sure what you were talking about. I don't know, but... But then... So, then we just pick dice, Okay, right? yep. I guess. Um, like, any oh, suggestions on, like... As well. Yeah, true. Like, what symbols I'm looking at for? purple first. He's still on my board, but... I don't think I take a... I take a blue one. Yeah, like I still feel like just going red here because red's the thing and give more choices on red. Red, red, red. I kind of like went with like red. I don't know. You don't have the muscle, right? What are you trying to say, George? What are you trying to say, man? <laughs> I, I lift all those Kickstarter board game boxes and trove chests and stuff. Yeah, who do you think puts them on the high shelf? Yeah, come on, man. I don't look big, but I got, I got strength. <laughs> Yeah, my AP, I know, I know, I know, I know, Bob. I'm looking at this like, man, I want it to be so, like, efficient and choice. Like, like think of this, Mel. We see the planet scanner thing. We see the card, and it says, bring muscle, you know, bring muscle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I look down, I'm like, oh, this guy's got muscle, and oh, I have nobody with muscle. But I could then do this. I could be like, oh, let, let me just take out this crazy vanguard I don't like, you know, because it, it's accident city, for example. I might not do that. Or I could take out, like, uh, you know, even with a level one, you know, I take out the shield. I don't care about shields. And then if I had... I don't think there's a double muscle, is yeah, there? Yeah, there was. I just was holding it in my hand. This one. Double, oh, muscle. double muscle. Yeah, you got to look at all sides. Because this is the annoying, the weak part about this mechanic of 
hey, let's put the little digits around the corners to show you what's most common on the die. Well, that's not true it's the most common because also double shield is most common. Also this, so at a glance, you don't really oh, know. You, you, you just, yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. So then we go, oh, okay, we need double of that? Yeah, yeah, let me increase my odds of bringing strength. Boom, boom. And then maybe we get a guy from the barracks that also has, turns generic of something into strength. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like leaning harder into something. That's what I'm thinking, but. Okay, purple, I mean, yeah, purple is going to take this double science, double wrench, double computer. That's his thing. And what do we got in the blues here? Oh, this guy needs to be going greens. Well, oh, greens don't have greens. any more good stuff. Yeah, they do. Start looking. You got. They don't have. Oh, Mel, get in there. Get in there and dig and play <laughs> and 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 become Good one fun. with the dice. This one, I I want to take this one for this girl for the pink. Uh, double science, double alien. Yeah, I want to take this green for this one, if that's okay. I can change them if you need. Yeah, but I'm even liking these ones, like just the basics, like getting more of the the look. This actually, you know, has more science, even though this one has the potential, I think, is a trap. This one has one regular science and one double, but if like you're going for science, you're not gonna hit it on this dice as much. I, I feel like maybe those ones aren't the hot dice. I really think like just going with like the specifics, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. You can have this one if you need it, but you didn't like that one. What is it? That's the same no. one that you have, nope. but I like that one. Yeah. I'm gonna those go... are the things that this guy does. I'm going to hope wrench. No, I'm going to hope this. I'm taking this one for here, the science-y one. Okay. Just a regular, classic, clean, less risky science one. And then over here... Are you doing the double muscle? I don't Where know. We're lacking? It's kind of messy. It's messy, I think. Yeah, these crazy dice I'm not a fan of. I'm seeing the flaws. Uh, I don't know. I know this these kind of dice that the, the pickaxe just leads to the whole uh, Arkham Horror mechanic from the bag drawn for leads and stuff. I don't know. I don't really like that. But if we're going to run into uh, trouble, maybe just walking on with more shields when shields show up is a thing too. Hmm. Oh, and we spent all these. Yeah, maybe we do this. I don't know. If I can if I can change a die to a specific side, this is when this is busted, right? Mm -hmm. So that's with the tier two cards, right? Mass Flayer is saying another benefit of the double dice is that they don't have any... Oh, shut up. Oh. I wonder how many hours of playing this game before <laughs> that would have clicked in. <laughs> It probably never How would many have. How hours does it take Rob to actually realize all six sides on a dice and put it together in his head to understand that there's like no misses? So hold on, I was rolling with a no miss one here. Is this one no misses? Oh. <laughs> we have no idea. <laughs> oh my I god. I had this the whole time and I was sitting there like, yeah, I'll never roll this. I, I don't know why I took this die. Maybe I knew it when I took it, but I don't didn't know today. Again, I don't care about being embarrassed on stream. It's all good. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yes, double dice. Mel, what are you doing? I Take took, the double dice. I took both I double you. dice. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I told you they were good. Why, why are you telling me to take this one, Mel? Um... <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> don't you even know how to play Isis Vanguard? No. God. Okay, uh, unloading. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're going to fill some of these spaces now. Okay. Uh, unload unique <laughs> discoveries. Oh, we don't have any because it got we, we lost it. Okay. Yeah. I, I just want to point out editor's comment. I made this comment before on other games before Edward. You are one hundred percent correct. It says this is why every game that uses dice should have a dice map showing all of the results. Yeah, like a. I don't know if this game does. Bones. Does this game have one hidden in the app or hidden in the in the log? I I don't know. Maybe it does. Dice masters and couriers did it right. I want even play, like too many bones, I want to play right? That does that sometime, but yeah. Um, yeah, all, all games usually do that, that, that are focused heavily on dice when it's like the, one of the main mechanics. Yeah. You should, but this game just has a lot of dice. It would be tough. Yeah, yeah. 100% agree. Oh, no dice map here. Oh. Okay. 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 Well, we just have to, we just learned something Maybe new, it was a so. Kickstarter add-on option. Just kidding. <laughs> Only the all-in pledges got one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, unload other discoveries. <laughs> These are our unloads. Just In any kidding. order, resolve the when unloaded effects of the unique uh, the non-unique discoveries. Move research project R11 to the awaiting envelope. Research then remove project. this from the game. Okay. R11. Research project. Okay. Uh, what am I doing with this card? First person to answer is what I do. Should we keep the live specimen? It's not rare. Or should we discard it right now to draw one random strange flora? Okay, here's what we have. So keep or sell. First person to say it, I do it. I don't even care. We have two alien, I, I don't know. one live, oh, okay. two yeah, there's information here. flora, and two mineral discoveries. Discard. Discard. Okay, so, Janet's so quick. I love it. I know. What did, what did, uh, what did we do? Look at our research. Oh, come on. That would no, be that would be, that would be too easy. Damn it. Uh, discard Where this here, for research, one random we? strange flora. Go to research. Go to research. No. Go to research. We're discarding. Research. This if is we production. need more strange flora, then Janet wins. Hold on. I don't know what page that's on. What page is research? Because it's Eight. random, like, we could get a rare one. Eight. And, and get rid of that one. I'm too far. I don't know how to, I don't know how to look at my numbers. Okay, what Mineral, do we got? alien tech. No, Hold on. Not either. Mineral, alien tech. Not either. Alien tech, microorganism, strange flora. We need strange flora. Yeah, that should be it. Okay, and that's all. Oh, so we need the strange flora. So okay. let's discard it. Yeah, Janet's strange right. Strange flora. Yep, Janet, then, Janet, you're right. Where do, when unloaded, you may discard this. So this is going to go back here. So we discarded it for a strange flora edible rootstock. You may discard this card to gain two supplies in planetary exploration. Unfortunately, we got it after, so it doesn't matter, but okay. it's just something we have. Adding Great. that to our ga Oops, sorry, to our gathered. What page am I on now? Here. <laughs> uh, store the lander. Return the lander board to the box. Oh, man. <laughs> Go to the med bay. Med bay. No one's injured, so we're good, right? I know, but we might have people that we can get out of here. Oh, okay, good. Which I do, yeah. Oh, good. Take all med bay cards from the awaiting. Okay, we don't have any. Evelyn Move Castillo. Any crew members from the away team with no injuries to resting crew. So that, these guys <laughs> on our boards. <laughs> Okay. Release non-injured crew members. Move any crew members from the away team with... Oh, sorry. Move each crew member currently in the med bay one slot to the right. Any crew members who would move from light injury slot are now fully healed. Add them. So that goes back to my hand. Oh, now I have a level two. I thought she was dead. Injured crew members, there's none. Make survivor checks. We don't have to worry. No, uh, Bob, I forgot about my charge ability to ignore a danger die roll, uh, so I, I fixed it, uh, yes. and I never took an injury. We don't have anybody that yeah. died. Continue. Should this not be on this one? Like, why is that the wrong way? Like, it tells you to close the ship book, but yet you have stuff on the side. Anyways. No, that's the embassy thing. Yeah, but close the ship book. Yeah, close it. When do I do that? When you do what? This stuff, the embassy stuff. It's the place you visit on the ship. We already went through that, Mel. That was six hours ago in the stream. Oh. We did chose not to visit there. Got it. We were hoping to get more planet cards, and then when we go there, we'll get Got to it. fire them all off. I forgot. You know? I thought I did at the end. You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, Okay, record your current planet board. It's a weird board. spot in the book. It's a weird spot. Yeah, it's an add-on one. Oh, okay, skip, skip super two. super secret. Oh, remember you were asking about that record that stuff, but it says if it was removed from the game, skip to step oh, two. Oh, okay, perfect. Yep. Return all threat cards, there's none. Return all POI cards. Return all unique discovery cards from the board, um, from the planet boards. Place all available crew members. The waiting envelope. Oh, all these guys are going to go in the waiting envelope. Oh, we're, get, we're getting into too many bones dice territory. If only we get to roll these all in one skill check. It's going to go in there as well. Place the tokens from, and we don't have any. Return any POI cards. Do that. And these are all resting people? Yeah, they're going to go in the away. Oh, away, yep. Shuffle any discarded events. I'll do that and this then close this away book. somewhere because we didn't get it. Yeah, so all these are going to go away. Uh, this is going to go in here. These are going to get shuffled, but I do that at the beginning. I mean, the place the game has a place for everything, and I do like that. It's very organized, even though it felt like uh, I threw up game components on the table we were playing because it was just a mess of stuff. Oh, oops, purple. Curves. It's very structured, and everything goes in a nice spot. I probably say that every time at the end of the stream, but it just. So crazy how it all organizes nicely into like one box. Yeah. Like all of that stuff goes into like one box. They, like the engineers of this company, man, at Awaken Realms, like the way they come up with all this crazy crap and then have a place for it to go. I uh, like, holy. 
I know it is nice when you're done to like just be yeah. able to put everything away. Yeah, very organized. Even though like it's not foolproof because we screw it up. Uh, it's definitely like human error is still possible. Oh, but definitely. again, that's why I think a digital version of this game would be really cool. And yes, I know Edgar mentioned before like no rollbacks then in a, a digital game, but also we would screw up less stuff if the game was only giving us the things, the options and stuff that, you know, we knew we were doing and what was possible. Yeah. Like less human error can happen in there too, I think. But yeah, thank you everyone for your help on that one. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, so is that it for that one? I think so. Yep. Get the cards away. This game uses a lot of my mental energy. Yeah, I'm freaking wiped. Yeah. And, and like... All this bookkeeping. Man. Yeah, yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I didn't sleep the best yesterday too, so I'm definitely like not on my A game today, that's for sure. But it's like, yeah, the game as is so many options and decisions and choices it's very overwhelming to me when i want every choice to like put 20 minutes into making but you can't do that in a game that takes hours and hours to play one session you know it's like tough um which is why sometimes i'm like rushing along like yeah yeah, yeah just pick whatever yeah, yeah yeah let's just discard this thing without looking at our research projects because i'm like i'm just done and and you only have so much mental energy so you got to start making shortcuts for certain decisions or you're just going to drive yourself insane which again, obviously, if I wasn't streaming, trying to contain this into individual episodes with the constraints of YouTube, I would definitely have this game spread it on the table. Mel and I would sit down. We'd probably do some of the shit book, play a little bit on the planet, and then we'd take a break, walk away, leave it all set up. Mm -hmm. And then come back with, a, you know, fresh, maybe, maybe some notes written down, like this is whose turn it was, this is what we did last. And then we play it later after dinner, you know? Mm -hmm. And then come back the next night and play a little bit more. That's the way I would normally treat a game like this, is have it on a table and just keep playing it until the game was done. Yeah. Again. Makes sense. So yeah, the way we play it is not, I don't think, the right way, but it is the way most people play it, like weekly with their board game group. It's probably the most enjoyable way to play this game. Join together every week with your buddies and, you know, four people fully at the table, each controlling their section, having a say. I love the way it's like, if, if the group can't make a decision, this player decides. I think it would be so fun with four people around the table. Oh, definitely. Four people around the table were like the security guys like no 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 give me those cards i pick first or like no you two if you can't decide who goes i'm the i'm the recon player i decide <laughs> i think that's so fun yeah it gets people more into it right some of the what book that didn't sound like ship book <laughs> that book is so shippy <laughs> big pile of ship um Irma set up on my pool table for now. Yeah. Oh, nice. Exactly. Nice. Yeah, that's what Bob does with it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Play games like this. I know a game like this that you just want to spread out looks beautiful on the table. Mm -hmm. Has so much going to it. You want to be able to give it the full attention, like when you sit down to play it. And if you need to take breaks to come back, you got to be able to do that. Um. But yeah. Cool. Anyways, that's it for today. Our next stream that's scheduled right now is for Tuesday evening, I believe. We're continuing our another venture game involving an app, but the app is really necessary. Uh, it's definitely integrated, definitely runs the game, is uh, Lord of the Rings Series Middle Earth. We're playing through a campaign of that. If you're interested in that game, playlist section. We played a ton of campaigns of it. Love it. Uh, we are continuing with that on Tuesday with Kyle, three player. Um, more as with Vanguard. I don't see why we wouldn't keep playing. But I'm telling you, like... It's tough. We'll see. So I know someone will comment below going, where's the next episode? Hopefully it's next weekend, but don't hold me to it. Things might change. Uh, but yeah, just subscribe, turn on notifications. If you don't see this game on the channel in the next month, then we've probably given up on it. But uh, if you see it again, we're going to keep rolling. But no promises. Not promising with this game. This game is could go on for another like months and months and months. I yeah, like, I don't even know. Are we like halfway? I don't even know. But it, it says a 20 to 60 hour campaign. So in streaming time, that's like 40 to 120 hours. Oh my God. I, I don't know. Is yeah, that what it is? So like for us, how many episodes is that? That's crazy. I wish we knew how many sessions because their math on a play session is iffy because mm -hmm. you can never trust that. And then their campaign length, is it based on the math of a play session? I just wish I knew how many sessions it was to how many sessions, you know? But then that would be unique sessions, not going back and farming planet. Yeah. Because that would be hard to figure out too. For yeah. someone to say, oh, it took me... 12. Yeah. yeah, is it 10 plus sessions of four hours each? I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. I don't know, Edward. 
And that's the hard part is the unknown. Like I like playing with the unknown, but I also like to know that if it's, if we're like, you know, getting close to an end of a campaign, I want to see where it goes at that point. Yeah. But if we're still in like the first third. Yeah. Like we're not even close. Then it's like, I don't know if I want to keep going and seeing where it goes. I'd rather kind of try other games uh, in this time slot is what I'm thinking, but we'll see. But again, you guys don't know because even if you play the whole game, it, it could anywhere. I don't want spoilers, but it's like it could could end next episode for us. We could just burn and die. Because at some point it will get to a point where it's like, you've done enough in the game that you could die at any point making wrong decisions. It has to. Well, I feel like that could have been something that happened here. What if we all fell off the cliff and there was nobody left? Like if everybody that was... one away team. We still, the Ice of Vanguard is still floating up in the air. Yeah, I guess. We're just taking landers down to the planet, and all those people are disposable. You're right, you're right. So we could have lost. That's how I look at it. Okay. So if we lose an away team, we just have to go to the barracks and get more. That's what the game already taught us when uh, all the crap hit the fan there. And, That's and, true. And those guys invaded the ship, right? Yeah. And now we're just going around trying to build embassies. Bob says there's 21 systems on the map, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and we visited what, like five or six? Um... Something like that? I don't know. I can count them. Are you? It has to be because we only did one in each episode, right? So we're well, we only did. six episodes. Two, it has three, to be only six. Four, five. It's the red shirt six. Star Trek guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. six. I think. Yeah, yeah. So we're at like six ish out of twenty one ish. Holy! And we probably can't get to everywhere. Think of it that way. Yeah, I would assume we can't. Yeah. So yeah. I would guess it's anywhere from like a 12 session to 18 session kind of campaign. Wow. It's not bad. That's a very digestible amount. Mm -hmm. It's very good for your money. But again, can, it, can you literally farm and make it stretch by going back to planets and dis like re-going to ones over and over again to get discoveries and pushing them? Or can you exhaust all planets? That's a question. Because then it could get really long. But the fact they said 20 to 60, there, there has to be a way to not... I mean, it can't be possible to farm infinitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm getting my money's worth out of the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. No question, no question. Yeah. Yeah. I already feel like I got my money's worth. <laughs> oh, wait, we didn't buy the game. <laughs> if we bought the game, though, just the yeah. core set at retail... I don't know, man. As much hours as we put on the table, I would probably still be playing, though. I would still be pushing. Only if the mites allow, yes. Anyways, game's cool, though. Game's cool. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thanks for hitting the like button. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for clicking the join button and keeping us going here. We appreciate it. Thanks for supporting our work. Um, yeah, we'll be back. Many more streams to come. Um, and yeah, stay tuned, possibly more ISS Vanguard. That's all I can say. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. -bye. Bye.